Yo, hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. Our first early look here, content creators are permitted to take an early look from today until Monday when it comes out for everybody, so we'll be trying this one out today, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for a long time. We're going to be playing this one. So good to see you all back, chat. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day so far. And we'll jump into some Farming Simulator 22. We got a lot to see, so welcome to our first look. We'll be taking several first looks as, as there's so much equipment in this game. There's so, there's so much to see that there's no way that we're going to be able to see it all. No way. No way. There's so much new equipment. There's so many new, uh, well, there's seasons now. You'll see the background actually change to fall and then eventually winter. There's new tractors and new trailers and so much more. It's good stuff. Oh, hi, Uthris. Good to see you. Uh, if you want to play Uthris, let me know. I need to send you some instructions and stuff to kind of play it early. Works a little differently than just a simple uh, Steam key for the current version because they haven't kind of like finished the game yet. There's like a few more things that they're adding, so we kind of have like a background way to test things out. But yeah, pretty, isn't it? It's very nice. Uh, so there are two new maps. There's a U.S. map and a European map. And then there's another U a returning European map from the Alpine uh I guess it was called the Alpine Pack. So we got we got a lot to do. Harry and uh, Rick will be joining me. And then eventually we'll have uh, Jerry and Alex come in too. So good to see you all back. There's like a trailer for the startup of the game too. It's basically just the, uh, if, if you remember the, uh, the trailer from the start of the game. But man, oh man, is it pretty. Good to see so many people tuning into chat. Good to see you all here. I hope you're all enjoying. You'll hop on this weekend? Absolutely. Let me know, Uthris. I'll save a key just for you, because I love to see what you can do in these games. Also, another game I'd recommend to you, Uthris, is Lens Island. If you'd like uh, to get in touch with those developers, L-E-N apostrophe S Island. That'd be cool for you. Anyway, guys, welcome. Good to see you all here. Welcome to all the new members and stuff. We are uh, having to do things a little differently here to, to get the game working, so I appreciate your patience and such, and as more people are tuning in, this is a live stream. We got a long day to, ahead of us, so get settled in. We'll be doing. A, we're going to try to do things legitimately in terms of like running the farm, but we'll cheat a little bit with money so we can see all the equipment, so we can show it off for you guys. So we'll do a little bit of actual IRL work on the farm, and then we'll do a, a little bit of a, you know goofing around and purchasing stuff and seeing how it works, and just you know showing how certain trailers are loaded up and how things are different from the previous game. So make sure you subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and turn it on to all because otherwise you're going to miss out on all the, the looks here. There's lots of ma there's two maps to look at. There's like 300 pieces of equipment. There's tons of new placeables. Um, there's lots of things to explore, lots of secrets. And we don't want you to miss out on it. Uh, Sir Joel, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg for two months. Yes, we'd love everybody to join us. Conveyor belt system. Uh, check the schedule, Uthris. You can definitely help with those mandatory setups as soon as you're ready. Good, good. But yeah, there's a, a tr actually this one would be very easy to set up all the uh, the cars onto the train tracks in the first map because it's literally just a straight line. It's pretty cool. You and the wife play this. Uh, you and the wife play together, and so you're looking to play this game too, huh? Oh, good. Yeah, that's a, this is a gr this game's good for like two or four. I think the more and more people you add, you kind of have to split off people into different jobs because it's too many people in one area. But we'll be doing some massive big O harvesting and so much more. It's going to be awesome. So enjoy. Uh, do you compete with other farmers? Yeah, you can start competitive farms and uh, you can kind of uh, compete money-wise and actually build your own custom farm too. In this game, you um, just like in Farming Simulator 19, you're able to actually go into a start from scratch mode. And uh, if you'd like to, uh, you can. There's, there'll be a way to hack in money. We'll have to show you. But I really wish they would just make a creative game where you could just do your own thing. Uh, but you can make your own. Like there'll be some flat land. You can delete a bunch of stuff that you don't like. Flatten out the land. Build and design your own farm. And we'll be doing that too. There's going to be time lapse farm building videos. I, all the stuff that we've done before on the channel, we're going to do again and again because it's pretty cool to actually see. So anyway, without further ado, I'll say uh, make sure I've got my save games ready to go. Indeed we do. 19 and 20, there's the uh, French map and the uh, Elm Creek map, which uh, we'll take a look at here. And we'll, we'll have unlimited money in these, but we intend to try to do everything legitimately and realistically. So we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, let's see. Show us the uh, U.S. configurations for the John Deere tractors. Sure, if you guys have requests, let us know. We'll we'll probably get into that in about an hour or so. But first, we're going to jump into the game. I'll host a game for my, my boys. And then we'll... Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and host the American map. When you click on the play button, on the helmet side, it gets worse. How's it going, boys? Oh, hey, guys. Hello. Uh, guys, Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, make the password the same it was the first time that we played, Harry. Okay, yeah. You remember that? Yep. And then you can just let Thank Rick know what that is. Probably not yeah. going to be a big deal, but, you know. Okay, let's see. Maximum player 16. I've got all my settings for U.S. settings, too, by the way, for miles per hour. So, Can we join you for a game when you go live or when you record? Absolutely, exclamation point, join us. Or the link pinned to the top of chat, or that big blue button next to the uh, subscribe button. This game's only out for a few people, so me and my friends got access because, you know, they reached out and they wanted us to showcase it. Elm Creek is the new map taking place in the Midwest, and it is beautiful. We've explored a little bit of this. We've had access for this to this for about three days, and we still haven't even seen everything. We've, we've done uh, about four or so recordings on some things that we really wanted to see, but there's so much more to do. And much more to uh, much more to see. But anyway, welcome. Good to see you all here. Woo! Yes, this game comes out on the twenty second. All right, let's go ahead and flip on the sounds and such. I had to turn out my audio just to fix an issue. Oh, there it is. There's also in-game chat too. You can actually uh, VoIP with people. Yeah, I can't remember the blast the um, password was. It's your name. I, oh, my actual full name. <laughs> yeah. I did that and it didn't. So this is how things will look when you first start it up. This is your original farm in the center of the map. Yeah, we're playing with mouse and keyboard. I'll, I'll probably switch over to a controller when I'm using a, a tractor. But when you're outside of a tractor, mouse and keyboard is best. In my opinion. There goes the train. You can actually rent the train. Here's what the map looks like. And we'll just be listening to like a nice little soundtrack on the background. Yeah. Look at that nice highway swinging through, beautiful. Thing wrong password for me. Same. Hmm? Really? Let me check and see if I can change it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> My caps lock was on, so fir first letter uh -oh. is lowercase and the rest are capitals. My bad. That works. <laughs> yeah, that's working. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Well, I'm gonna also passwords. I'm gonna swing things down to real time too. We're gonna try to take all the time. To do things right. So, Harry, tell me more. Uh, like, tell me some features and things that come to your mind. Like, what, 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 ex what excited you the the most in this? Uh, seasons is definitely one of them. Yep. The older tractors in the game definitely. True. Definitely is one of them. And by the way, just to mention on the seasons thing, seasons mean that you can have them on and off now too, right? Like you can yeah. you can go back and play like the other farming sim games, or you can have it on like kind of like a mod. That's cool. Turn it on and off, and plus you can like you can change it for visual effects for like what month you want it to be. So you can, for instance, you can change it to winter, pretty much. Oh, on the fly, you can just smack yeah. it to winter, and yeah. you don't have to wait through the months. Oh, that's nice. So if you wanted to like take some pretty pictures or something, you yeah, can do that. That's exactly the point. Yeah. Uh, I, lo I I love I the barn. On, I put on my COVID outfit. Oh right, yeah. We can actually uh, change our outfits at any time. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if we were going to, if we were dealing with like fertilizer, or if uh, Rick wanted to look like he was working in a secret, look at this, Rick. This is a secret lab for you, <laughs> right here. But this is my drugs lab. Yeah. So it, <laughs> that's cool though. That any time you can change your outfits, so like you can kind of fit the part if you're doing something a little differently. So like if we wanted to all go with, uh... now how do you do that again, Rick? How do you change your appearance? Because uh, that just to the, adds to, to the, the immersion. Front door of the barn. Front door of the barn. You mean the house, the farmhouse? Uh, the house, I mean, sorry. Oh, you have to go there to change? I thought it was, no, I think there's an option in wardrobe, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Uh, the... Rick, press P I'm and go, on, I need to... go to the three lines at the bottom and go to wardrobe. And you can, oh, you can change your appearance at any time. Yeah, so oh, wait, you, there too? if you wanted oh, to play okay. a different character, yeah. So at any time you wanted to change what you look like, if like, let's say you're doing, Jesus, you know. That was so quick. <laughs> Let's say one minute you're working in the uh, you're in the pig shed, and then the next you're out <laughs> you're out racing around a tractor. You can you can change any time or the beekeeping yeah. outfit. You could actually be a beekeeper. That's awesome, dude. That adds to the uh, immersion for sure. Or like uh, Indiana Jones, if you want, I suppose. 
Oh, right, you got your, uh, horse riding outfit. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be me right there for now. But yeah, that's really cool. Then you can switch over to, like, any branded... There's New Holland stuff and Fan... There you go. Husqvarna. <laughs> I'm, I'm dressed in my mechanic outfit. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there's Husqvarna outfits, too, for more, uh, themed wood cutting. There's still and there's Husqvarna. Cool. That's cool. I like that. Wear the beekeeping outfit. Yeah, it looks like a plague outfit, doesn't it? Listen to the vehicles, by the way. Nice. Uh, when I played Lens Island, that made you want to get it. Awesome. That's good. To, that's good to hear. All right, boys. Well, let's try our hand at uh, doing something legit. Should we do a little quick little uh, wheat harvest and see if we can do yeah, that? Yeah. Harry, you want to hook up yeah. the uh, the header and. Rick, if you want to jump over to the other, I think the other tractor is a Massey Ferguson. Can I, before you start that, Harry, could can I um jump inside real quick? I just want to see the interior of the tractor or the uh, the harvester because it looks pretty good. Like the the they actually like, you know, it's not painted. It looks fabric. It's like textured. Yeah. And so the version you see right now, we're playing on PC, but I'm I'm pretty sure that this is going to be how good it looks on like, you know, PS4 or PS5 or whatnot. I think that's going to be amazing. That is so cool. Are we sure we have enough money? I hope so. But, but again, remember, we're we're going to try to play this legitimate, realistic farming, but we're also going to have some money so we can... You know, it's our first day, so we want to show off anything you guys want to see and whatnot. All right, Rick's got the... Uh, oh, another cool thing. These tractors, when they're connected... Rick, was, was it uh, in the last version of uh, Farming Sim, could you actually see the like the hoses and stuff connected? I, I can't remember. Uh, some models. Because like if you connect the if you connect the uh, tractor trailer to a trailer, you can actually see all the air hoses and such, and yeah, then it connects all the electrics and uh, hoses and stuff. It's really cool. And also, of course, uh, manual uh, tractors with a manual gearbox you can now also use as a manual if you want that in the options. Yeah, and I I like how uh, you'll see the character actually switching gears too. So if you're heading down the road and, and you need to switch up, the uh, there'll be an animation for the gear switch. Even if it's in automatic. Like, the game mode is automatic, but like yeah. you'll still have to do it IRL. Now, this is the yeah, thing about starting small. Starting small doesn't really leave a lot of work for too many. It's it's definitely a, like a two-person job. In fact, I bet yeah. Harry could probably... Harry, how full are you now on your like first or second pass? Uh, 12%. Oh, he's going to be able to do the whole thing. <laughs> He'll yeah. do the whole thing. Well, that's all right. Then Rick can put it into the... Uh, into and the also, silo. Also, I don't know if you know this, but if you're on a little hill and you uh, go drive forward, it's not instant. It's like you actually need to clutch it, use the brake, and put it into gear. All right. There we go. I'm going to turn Rick up a little bit too, just so I can hear him better. Yes, I. Rick, test one, two. Hi. Uh, that's a little better. Well, I just wanted I to make sure good. everyone could hear you. Uh, do I have my wheel hooked up? Uh, no. In fact, with farming sim, I feel like I switch vehicles so often that the if I were driving like a truck, the whole like one vehicle that's appropriate. But I could try with a controller. Let me let me try plop, uh, plopping in the uh, Xbox controller and, and try. Yeah, I got my controller next to me too. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try driving a little bit now with my Xbox controller. So this is a John Deere seven no four seven five five. We're gonna do a little little cultivating. Uh. Harry, we start with just these three fields, right? Yeah, just these three, yeah. And how do we know if we own them? Oh, they're orange. So we start with 44, 45, 46, and then we could probably purchase a few other fields and then harvest their crops yeah. too, just for if fun. You press, if you press X, it shows you your farmland. Oh, so we can only do things in this orange territory. Yeah. So we, so you can't, like, now we, we tried this out earlier... Um, you can't just like dump things randomly that's not on your property. So if you wanted to, if like a, this is kind of troublesome because like if a if you were hauling logs and a tree fell off the back of your trailer and blocked the road, you can't like um, you can't, can't like uh, you can't cut it right. Yeah, you can only just pick it back up again. Yeah, oh, so my, yeah, okay. it's kind of weird. So it's it's gonna be harder to clear the thing. Yeah, the maps look great. There's a really cool highway. We'll be releasing some videos on this soon, doing a more in-depth look at the maps and uh, some other things too. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, now's a great time to subscribe to see all the things. Um, how to get all the unlimited money. We'll have a tutorial on that. We'll show off all the maps in more detail. 
and more of the uh, stuff inside. All right, now I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Very easy. I just popped it in and boom, it works. That's very comfortable. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to have to learn what the controls are. Look. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. It, just as you'd imagine. You know what I really like here, too, Harry? Is that when you have um, a weight in front of your tractor and you have, like, an attachment behind, it'll actually, yeah. like, automatically... Like, it's smart enough to know that you want to connect. So you hit hit the button once, it'll pick up the first thing. Hit it again, it'll pick up the second yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it, it is pretty cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and... Uh, Oh, also, uh, we found an achievement for... What was that weird achievement we found, Harry? Oh, for petting uh, the dog. Oh, yeah. It is confirmed <laughs> that you can pet the dog. Chad, if you get up to 200 likes, we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, buy a dog. So if you guys smash that like button, we'll, we'll go buy a doggo. Doggy. So how do I use cruise control on this? i got to learn all the controls again. So that's in and out. That switches vehicles. I don't want to go 19, but it's going to it's gonna try to make me, isn't it? Let's see. Well, I'll just set it on my keyboard. That way I know. We'll have to try to do a little hybrid between keyboard and uh, Xbox controller. There's so many, there's so many buttons for uh, keyboard. It, it seems to be easier for keyboard, but the driving is perfect here. Uh, yep, if you want to know how to get our infinite money, just make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and we will uh, we'll show you in an upcoming video. Look at that dirt, baby. Amen, brother. Brother, amen. Amen. These fields are so small, dude. So small. I'm going to try to even go slower. Oh, this looks great, though. Now, you know That's what I've noticed, too, Harry? If you look at the weather, it'll tell you wind direction and stuff. And uh, there's even, like, a, a weather thing that we can buy, and all the generation stuff is back. So we have we have solar panels. We have windmills back. We have greenhouses are back again. Greenhouses, yeah. And that's nice. And Now, we can actually make a, a placeable pizzeria in the game, too. So, like, you can... If you want to, in terms of production buildings, one of the things that I've really enjoyed to see is the ability to, under uh, production buildings, you can actually put down your own like end game stuff, which means like where things will be delivered to. So if you're looking to do like, for example, a, well, let's say you wanted to grow uh, grapes for wine, grape processing unit. They won't call it wine because you know they'd have to call the game 18 plus or 21 plus or whatever, but. If you wanted to do your very own vineyard, you could do everything you wanted in landscaping. You could make like a beautiful, you know, a slopey hill or something like that. That's what the slope option's for. So then you can make a beautiful farm up on the side of a hill and then put down the grape processing unit and do like a, a vineyard only. Or you could do like what we tried to do with the Dino Diner, except now it's in the base game without having to fiddle with it too much. So then under production, you could put down greenhouses to grow uh, lettuce, strawberries, and tomatoes. I wonder what we do. Oh, can we do canning in this game? Or jarring? Can we, can we like, make uh, strawberry jam? Because we have honey, right, Harry? Yeah, I think there's, like, if you want to make, like, cake and stuff. Oh. From, the, from like, the bakery. You have to, like, deliver eggs. You need everything to make the cake. Like Very the nice. Flour. Everything, all the ingredients. I'm going to go nice and slow just so we can take some time to look around. That is beautiful. Hey Rick, did you find a way to hide the HUD? Um, I with F1 it uh, hides your help menu, and that's about it, I think. Yeah, I'm sure there's some other button for hiding the rest of the stuff. Looks good though. Did you guys finish up with the harvest? No, it's yeah. all done already. Oh wow, yeah, and that's not a surprise. Many behind the uh, the Massey, right? What'd you say? I don't have anything else for behind the Massey Ferguson. I think. Oh, look at how dirty the implement got. Damn, that's cool. Actually, we can lit we can just buy a a harrow probably. Uh, yes, there are windmills in the game. There's three different sizes of windmills for power generation, which just go towards selling. Um, you, you can sell it back to the power grid for money. Let's actually uh, put down a placeable right now. I'd, li I'd I'd actually like to do that. Let's put down a windmill somewhere. Find a nice spot to put it. You could turn seasons off as well, so we can plant. Actually, 
Could we buy a subsoiler or a plow? Uh, we do have a cultivator. Do we have a plow? Do do we have any more equipment? No, that's it. Do you want to give us both like farm manager and then? How many days are the seasons on? Is it one month? One month a day? It's one day, yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter on uh, real time. Do you want me to turn off the seasons, Harry? Yeah. So you can... What are you trying to do? Plant. Wait, can we just buy another field that's ready to harvest? We can. What field is good for wheat? There's a field over there that looks like wheat. I'll have a uh, look around. You want a big field? Yeah, a medium-sized one would be good just to keep harvesting and stuff. Harvesting is a lot of fun, so if you guys want to keep finding more fields, go ahead. Number 49 is ready. Can't find any good spot to put this windmill at all. We could put down a solar panel, though. There are two sizes of solar panels, medium and large. Or small. Oh, that's cool. What is 49? 49 is soybeans. How do we ro Is there a way to rotate? And 49 is still growing. Uh, right click and uh, drag your mouse. Ah, cool. Thank you. 53 is also ready to harvest. Yes. I'm going to place down a couple of solar panels. So the solar panels will generate money for us. Yeah, $16 an hour. Produces power, which is sold automatically to earn you money. That's cool. I want to put down a windmill, too. For our Dutch viewers, this is for you, Dutchies. Rick, you want to give a shout out to your your Dutch fans? What fans? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, the big one there. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess technically, yeah, the windmills will be okay. I've noticed the second size is like way too big. Like we're gonna That's have to so get. That's cool. I've never noticed that. I'm gonna put like one next to the house, even though it's next to the trees. I wonder if we can cut down the trees on our property too. Yeah, we can always can. delete these. <gasps> the solar panel moves! Look at that. Who, who's in the truck? Go look at the solar panel. It's actually moving. Nice. That's cool. Oh. I'm not a fan of the steering. The steering is really slow. That seems way too... <laughs> that's too close to the house and not really in a good spot for it. But And the kids are going to probably mess with it. We have Alex's little swing set over here. But regardless, <laughs> it, it is cool that you can put that down and generates uh, power. Although... I wouldn't put it anywhere near this farm. I'd probably put it somewhere else, but uh, yeah. Okay, um, so you guys wanted me to buy some fields? Or wait, I'll just make you guys farm managers, right? How do I yeah. do that? Uh, if you go to uh, the three people. Then yeah, okay, all done. Which one is uh, 40, would you say 45? Uh, 49, 53. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw 48 looked ready to harvest. What crop is that? Oh, is that soybeans? I think 48 uh, uh, soybeans. 48. Oh, canola. Okay. Canola. I don't think it's ready yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, Filters. Sure. Oh, it is ready. Oh, it is ready. Uh, yep, ready to harvest. 48. And also 53 and 51. Which are sunflowers, I think. And maybe wheat? Wait, how do I... Is there a way to turn on and off filters? Yeah, 53 is wheat. Do you guys want to do 53? Can do. Okay. okay. Let's do field 53. Now, we'll probably have to buy, like, another tractor then for, um... For maybe or another, another tipper or something like that. Or another combine. Oh, oh, oh. Harry, should we do baling? Yeah, we can do. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, Harry, you better look at the balers, though, because power is always an issue in this game. we got to make sure we have the right horsepower for the, the balers. Can... We can do the small, like the small bales. Oh, you want to do oh, small yeah. bale? Oh um, yeah. You could also. Um, I saw they added a packer. <gasps> uh, wait, wait, packer. wait, wait. Oh wait, tell me about the packer. Tell me that. Um. Well, if you look, hold on. Where is it? Oh, uh, the small baler. It has like really small bales, and the packer will pick them up and it will like stack it and bind it into larger bales. Oh, the multi pack, the D14. Uh, I think so. Hold on. Additionally, what we could do, Rick, is since we'll be so close to the barn, yes, we could, the could, could we try to put bales of hay in the barn? Or is, uh, or is that not really going to be a good idea? Because th there's a way to load it over here. 
Yeah, if we get like a, like a full clip or something, so we can, or like a tele handler, we can just put it up there. Yeah, we could. Yeah, sh we should can... we go for the small bales then? Yeah, let's go for the small bales. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's okay. a good start. I'll we buy... want to see everything. Let's see, I'll buy that stuff then. I'll also get a uh, front uh, at, at, at um, front loader tractor. You're gonna buy one of them little ones. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I've never, never used them. Well, let's teleport over to the store then. Where's the store located here? Uh, it's on the main road, just up to the right. It's in the middle. Oh, the I think right. I just found it perfect. Okay, so this is the little baler. Oh, that is adorable. Aw, look at it. Aw. <laughs> so we have the little baler, we have the multi-packer. This is going to be interesting. And what tractor should we get to use those? Harry, we got to go for a small tractor. we got to see what the small ones are. Yeah. If we... Here's a look at some of the large ones if you guys want to see. I know what I'm tractor, what tractor I'm going with. Oh, the fast track. I always love that JCB fast track. That thing is a godsend when you're transporting, like, um, like if you're doing hay bales or something like that. That thing's always fun to drive with a long trailer. We uh -huh. we use this one. If I buy this one, and then use that on the packer. Right, I got my tractor. Oh, there's the electric tractor. Should we try the little electric tractor? Yeah, there's ele <gasps> electric, there's methane. Oh, there's a, yeah, there's a methane-powered tractor, too. I didn't know that. I did see that uh, you can put those down, though. There's um, charging stations for those, specifically for their shame. fuel. It's a shame they didn't add the new Holland um, tractor that runs on hydrogen. Oh, really? Oh, uh, maybe yeah, eventually. Oh, look at some of these older tractors. This is nice. Some of these are really good. We got to try out that methane power one. Uh, that, that you know that'd be really good in the forest. That thing doesn't even look like a tractor. It looks shiny though. All right, what tractors are we using? I want to try out that electric one. Chat, what do you want to see? What other tractors do you think we should use? Oh, that is a very interesting color there. Uh... Oh, it's McCormick. Cool, it's the nice. special edition color. We actually sell these tractors IRL. Oh, this one here. And what uh, one are you the in? The one I'm in. Yeah. Oh, you're in the Massey, and Rick's uh, in the yeah. Big O Packer. All right, cool. Oh, um, wait, uh, somebody's missing some forks, though. Oh, I guess I'll do the. F Maybe we'll load that one up. Yeah, if you if you we can buy like there's there's a really small like like front loader you can buy. Small front loader. Let's see. Under it's under front loaders. Well, just to be safe, Rick, can you connect to these uh, forks too, just to just to yeah. bring them with? Or did you did you buy those? I don't I don't know what the plan for uh, that yeah, was. Yeah, I bought them. Uh, okay. We can we can get two front loaders. Uh, I this tractor I bought it with a attachment for it. Uh, I can't find the front load. Oh, there are front loader tools. You can also change your license plates in the game too. So if you want to, you can go ahead and name it like Too Fast or something like that. Too fast, too furious. Or whatever whatever you wanted to do for your, your license plate if you want. New which is pretty cool. It'll give you random ones, but you can change it all yourself, which is cool. I bought the wrong front loader attachment, so I need to change that at the mechanic shop here. All good. Krishna, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Thanks for clicking the tab and join and supporting the channel. Greatly appreciate that. We probably won't use this electric tractor too much at the start, but we definitely want to put it to use. It's also, this is very good for like little trailers and just moving things around the, uh, around. Are the headlights in the game called tractor beams? Yes. <laughs> I guess if they're on a tractor, yeah. That's true. Listen to this tractor. This sounds like a forklift. Also, Harry, there is a forklift in the game, right? Does that run on propane? Yeah. Or? Uh, that runs on electric. As oh, well. it's electric forklift, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Alright, we're gonna have to find a good home for all these things. And of course, safety. Got our beacon ready to go. Alright, I'm gonna start the bailing. Oh, Rick's got the cool bail. Oh, that's gonna be awesome, Rick. Yeah. Alright, well let's go ahead and get get started with that. I'll bring this uh, little tractor home. And we'll find a spot to use this at some point. Oh, here comes a little bales.
Okay, so we're going to go harvest field, what is it, 53 of wheat, and then we're going to do some baling and stuff. Uh, Raptor, do you get paid money without people becoming a member? I mean, just for people watching your stream? Uh, yes, I get a percentage through YouTube monetization if the ads aren't claimed as copyright. So, uh, yep. Memberships help a little extra, but um, just by watching the channel and smashing like and hanging out, you guys are being supportive too. So thank you very much. Oh, and I think it's time before we get started that we pet the doggo. I'm going to put down a doggo and we're going to pet him. Ooh. You know what I really like in this game is when you release the um, when you release the gas, there's that, you know, that gradual coasting to a stop. Yeah. Very satisfying. Okay. Harry, how did he drop that bill? It's standing up straight. I don't really know. It just, yeah, I was <laughs> confused. Oh, wow, that thing's going to fall in that hole. <laughs> it's tiny. I wonder if that door opens there. We'll leave this over to the side. Jessica B., good to see you. Actually, really cool how this thing uh, releases the bales. Yeah. Yeah, there's a basketball hoop. I think we can throw inside that too. Oh, you guys are bailing up over here. Nice. I want to see how this works then. I thought you guys were going over the other field. I am delighted that you decided to start here. New member. Welcome. Picking up this game on my birthday. So excited. Awesome, Zero One. It's a very good, very good game so far. So let's see how this works. So this is the bailer here? No, this is the stacker. Uh, this is the packer. Oh, I see. Oh, neat. So then when you're done with that, that probably sets it in a nice pile. Oh, and then you can grab the stack with that blue thing? Yeah. Well, it sets it in a pile and it um, it uh, puts some twine around it. It uh, basically... It's kind of a baler that bales small packages into bigger ones. Dude. Ah. The, the smaller you... equipment is perfect for these fields without being unnecessarily expensive or whatnot. This is this is much better for an earlier start without really having to cheat. That's that's why we always would put in money because it was just it was way too much of a grind. Yeah, we actually often use these bales um, at home here because if you cut open a large bale, you have these small bales uh, that are really handy. So once this thing is full, you set it on the ground and grab it with the blue thing and then load. we're going to load it into the barn somewhere? Uh, yeah, we could probably set it down somewhere or sell it. Yeah, we could sell it or I think stack it. This is it. the last bale. Oh no, we, one more. We got this area here too where we can load stuff into. This is great for storing uh, like fertilizer or, or feed or whatever. You do whatever you want with the barn, I guess. You even put vehicles in here, but it seems to be nicer to keep them out in the bay. Okay, well, while you guys are bailing, I'll bring the harvester over to the other field, and we'll get ready over there. Oops. Did we buy 53? Uh, I can do. Uh, can you please find out if we can transport chickens? Good question. Harry, do you know? Um, we can definitely place them. I shall have a look. Uh, under placeables. I'm, there we go. I'm, I'm unloading sure. the bale. Cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chicken, bees, and others, which is... Oh, what is this? Others? What could that possibly be? Yeah, I think they just automatically teleport you that you can't buy them. Oh, they auto-teleport? Oh. Yeah, because they can't go in a trailer because they're too small, basically. Oh, sorry, doggo. It's kind of a weird territory. But hi, how you doing? It is confirmed. You there can pet go. the doggo. That's a bill. Ah. Although, I think he's a little glitched because of the... The elevation, but yes, yeah, so you can you can throw his ball and pet him and stuff too. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're, we got our floating dog. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, oops. I'll see if I can move one somewhere else. Is there a way to delete? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I was making did his you way see out. That? <laughs> see if you can close it. Um, let's see. Uh, operating position, unfold front loader tool. He should get a little oh, ball uh, too, and you can throw it, and he'll chase after it too. 
But it is confirmed that you can uh, <laughs> oh, you can fill the pool. <laughs> We've got uh, prison transport for Harry. Okay. Oh, he's actually stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So you get stuck inside there. Okay. So now wait. Okay. So when that thing offloads, it stacks it like this. Yeah. So then Free. you can detach from that thing if you need to. Yeah, and then you pick them up like that. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, let's move some of this equipment out of the way. We're getting quite uh, crowded with our work area here. Let's move some things around and try to stay organized for our own sanity. Bum, bum, bum. And I'll move the uh, oh, you harvester out of here. You do you want to head to 53 now? Yep, I'll move over to 53 and then... Uh, We'll keep trucking. Need the beacons on. Now it's fifty three to our right, or is it this one? No, fifty three is still a bit more down. Okay. Oh, there's more equipment down here, too. Or more, uh... Harry, are you having lag, too? Uh, yeah, a little, little bit of it, yeah. Is there? Uh, I'm having, like, massive lag spikes at some points. Hmm. Probably all the bales. <laughs> Alright, is it to our left, Harry? Yeah, it's to our left. I think I see it, yeah. You'd love to know how the uh, helpers handled the curvy field designs? Oh, good question. Harry, did you try that out? I know you were trying the helpers one night. Uh, it's, a bit it's, it's a bit finickety, but once, you, once you've done it, you know you know how to do it, basically. It's, it's hard trying to do it the first time. Oh, look at that. The bushes and stuff move as you're coming through. That's gorgeous. That's cool. All right, I'll start at the far end of the field. Yes, I uh, will you start. I'll grab the trailer as well. Oh yeah, I get the get the chaser bin too. Is there lumbering in 22? Yep, we can try that out in a little while if you guys want to see that. If you guys are liking, by the way, make sure you uh, smash like and let us know you'd like to see more too and what other things you'd like to see us do or harvest or load up or plant. I'll just back up across the road until we're all ready. Right about here. Oops. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Power. It's speed. Power. <laughs> right, I want to see how this works with the uh, helper. So, Harry, how does the helper work out? Uh, I just pressed higher for most of it. Once you get in the field, just press H. Okay, I'm going to hop out and see if he... You have to, like, sort of line them up. Okay. So on the next pass, he'll, I hope he'll be it. smart enough to that. Is there terrain yeah. deformation? Yep, you can do terraforming. You can build your own farm from the start. You can, uh, uh, you can basically this whole farm that's here that you see now. There's a mode where you can start with none of this stuff here, and it'll just be like a, a bunch of flat land that you can then terraform to however you want. So you can do it uh, whichever you wait, whichever way you think it would be nice. All right, so Rick's gonna move the trailer out of the way and then continue yeah. on with the. Uh, the packing and then the uh, the multi packs a really cool idea because then when we go to sell that <laughs> there's not going to be a lot of little bales flying around and stuff. Where, where are you putting those? Oh, in the barn. Yeah, it's um, uh, kind of out of the rain, you know. Yeah, it's somewhere somewhere dry. I mean, we don't have much going on, so that's okay. Oh, you mean de uh, deformation from the ground from the wheels? Well, you'll you'll definitely see some of the ground get uh, ripped up a little bit, but it's kind of more of a you know it's like a sticker, you know. Like it's temporarily on the ground. Like you can see some of the tire tracks here. It looks good though. Not in, as in uh, crops and cattle. I'm gonna go ahead and try to look at uh, what's a good way to transport those uh, uh, packed bales. Um, the packed bales probably a trailer, a uh, flat trailer. Just a regular old flatbed. Yeah, if you go to low loaders, or there is one in like bale bale technology, I think. 
Ah, I think so. Uh, there are like flat cars in the bale loaders, yes. Oh, there's levelers too, nice. Rape technology, let's do... Oh, Scroll stone down. pickers. Yeah, yes. your fields can get full of stones. Yeah, and I noticed we can actually sell the stones too for money, which definitely makes it worth it. Oh, that's great. Yep, there's grapes and olives too, yep. We'll jump over to the European map and check that out at some point too. Because I think some of those fields will be ready ready to go and already planted, so we won't have to worry about that. Um, okay, so you guys said bale technology, right? Yeah. Yeah, where the bale loaders is, is near uh, the bottom. The bale loaders, yeah. Oh, the loaders at the bottom. Gotcha. Oh, there's wrappers too. Yeah. Oh, so we can just buy a regular old... Okay, some of these will be good. Let's try the... Oh, let's just try the regular old flatbed. Now, what's a good way to load that up? I kind of want a different piece of equipment for that. Oh, I love how it lets you see it before you buy it. That's so uh, nice. Well, I think the new, like, the new, like, little loaders could pick it up, Rick. Uh, maybe? Well, then again, Rick, you have, you have a special attachment that's made to pick those yeah. up, right? So maybe... Maybe just that tractor for now. Yeah, you can also get. I think you can also get that attachment on uh, tally handler. Uh, oh, well, tally handler is the normal bale clamps, the bale forks. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, look at all that stuff we can modify. That's great. There's different designs for the bale trailers too. And of course, get, um, the bale trailers bale. also can be used to transport. Uh, like uh, anything, right? Like the um, the wool from the sheep and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can put anything on there. You can strap down. You can also get a, a bill fork that works for this on the on a wheel loader. Oh, there goes a deer. Did you guys see the deer? That was cool. Uh, no. Uh, just for chat. All right, I'm gonna go grab uh, one of the flat trailers for the bales, and then we'll load that up later, just to have it on standby. We'll just buy a piece of equipment for every little thing. But uh, typically, when you start this game, you know, with that red Massey Ferguson that you saw, that tra that tractor, even though it's a medium size, those are going to get this so much use because those are perfect for going at the farm and then back onto the road. Really good. Yep, there's beehives in the game, and apparently, uh, how do they affect crops, Harry? I think you get like a ten percent increase of yield. Oh, so if you build a like a beehive near a farm field, it yeah. gives you ten percent yeah. more yield. Damn. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then you get the honey from the bees too. I you hope that's not just an bees. auto sell though, right? No, it's not. You have to bring the pallet to the place to sell it. Oh, so you bring like the honey to the bakery or something? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Turn on our little map here. Okay, I'm here to pick up a trailer then. Is this the right place? Next one. I see it. I like how there's not a ton of road traffic. There definitely is traffic in the game, but there's not a ton. At least not here. The highway is a little busier. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, how adorable. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> it's the hubs to stuck break. This thing is massive. Yeah. Also, we can get a larger um, combine harvester. This will be uh, a much better uh, piece of equipment for the... Uh, just for transporting the bales into town. That's kind of cool. Uh, Rick, you want to buy a bigger harvester? Yeah, we could uh, probably do get a bigger one. Well, let's... Should we let's do this field with this current harvester, and then let's go see if we can find a bigger field with a bigger harvester. Okay. And then we'll kind of compare. I'm wondering if there are sugar beets around that are ready. Oh. Oh, you know what I really want to do is a sugar beet harvest where we get to use the thing to load it into the trains. Oh yeah. That would be awesome. Uh, where is the farm located in the U.S.? Ah, uh, it's the Midwest, so kind of imagine like a, a little amalgamation of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, few few states that are kind of on the border, you know, between the Midwest. Uh, there are uh, a couple of big fields with um, 
It could be till then. They're not ready to harvest yet, though. Although, um, once we're done with wheat and we want to do sugar beets, we can probably like speed up time. Yeah, we could. Or we could just find a field that's ready now, if there is any. Uh, I don't know. Are the seasons on? Because sugar beets are normally uh, late season. Yeah, seasons are on. Yeah, then we probably need to skip forward like uh, two or three months before they're ready. Well, it's a long stream. Are you sure you want to be here this long? <laughs> Oh, I love loading into this. I wonder how easy this barn will be to place because there's that... Harry, there's that little lower level in this barn. Yeah. You know, where you can open up the doors at the bottom. So I wonder how easy it'll be to, like... You know, if somebody wants to build their own farm from scratch, which will be really satisfying. Like, even if you kind of cheated in a bunch of money, it will be really satisfying to, like, hack in a bunch of money to build your own farm and then, like, try to take all that money... You know, to put to invest in. If you start with five million dollars, once you build a farm, put down all the uh, buildings and put some vehicles in there. Now we're we're not talking about too much more money that you're going to have to start with. Yeah, exactly. Of course, that's all the fun. Jesus, hitbox is really picky. I'm trying to avoid the hay, but it's it doesn't want me to go through. <laughs> Sir, could you please cooperate with me for the stream today? <laughs> okay, thank you. No, I guess all I had to do was ask nicely. Okay, maybe not nice enough, <laughs> sir. All oh, the bales are getting stuck under the tires now. Oh boy. Yeah, wagon wagon trailers, yeah, they're the they're the worst. Let's see if I can pick this up and move it around. It's probably too heavy for humans to move. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> um You closed the door. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if I can move, push this over a little bit. Well, there you go. Now, well, okay. Well, now I managed to move the bale around, so that's good. Yeah, quote unquote realistic YouTuber. That's that's true. However, more than ever, can we interact with stuff on the farm in terms of like opening doors? And I, I swear, I thought we could turn on lights and stuff. I, I yeah, swear. Can. Is there is there an option to do that? Yeah. Okay. You press F1, if, if there's an option, it will allow you to do it. Uh, I'm gonna get banned from Farming Simulator on my first day. They're gonna take they're gonna take it away from me. Hey, we saw what you did. <laughs> we want you out. Sorry, Farm Sim. No. There's no excuses. There's no escape. Alright, what are you guys up to? You guys are bailing and uh, yeah. harvesting? harvesting? Yeah. Okay. Let me come over so I can be helpful. Wait. Did you guys assign a worker to the baler? Or to the harvester? Yep. yep. Okay. It's almost full if you want to try an empty it. Oh, sure. I'll come over with the little, uh, Massey. And it's full. God, it's amazing how far this game has come. I, I can still say I'm still irritated that we can't, like... We still can't be in a vehicle together, like you and a friend yeah, can't jump is. in the pickup to, like, run to the store to go pick up a new piece of equipment or something, or drop them off. So it makes, like... Some of that real realism, you know, of like driving to a certain place taken away, but it's not that big of a deal. I wonder if the worker will stop until he's offloaded because it's going to make it a pain with all these bales. We should have waited with bailing, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't. There's mod for that? Well, not yet, but soon. Did he really have to park there? <laughs> Round two. I'll right, just park over here. France, Francois, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our first day on the farm here in Farming Sim 22. Starting our, uh... Now we're trying to play as realistically as possible before we get too crazy into mods and take a look at how many people we can get into things like the forestry industry and whatnot. And that'll be a cool thing, too. Maybe when we go to the France map, we'll do some uh, load-ups for that. Where we'll uh, get the uh, forestry ready. There's a nice, uh, nice little forest to uh, start cutting down in the France map. That's gonna be cool. Oh, 
Oh, this yep. guy's gonna fill fill up the whole trailer. That's awesome. And there he goes. Cool. Yeah, the grapes. Yeah, we'll we'll test out the uh, olives and grape farming, and we'll be going to the second map eventually. But it's gonna be a long stream. So thanks for trucking with us, and thank you everybody for smashing like. If you're excited for farm sim, if you like tractors, if you like farming and simulators. Smash like. Let us know you want to see more, because, man, oh, man, we want to do much more than this. we got a long way to go. Can you grow hemp? Oh, there are probably mods for that. I don't think you can, from what I remember. Rick, did you just drop off the uh, grain at the silo? Yeah. Okay. I'll go do the same, then. Oh, look at the, wa the little water crossings, too. It's pretty. Look at that. Yeah, nature's really well done in this game. If you push into, like, bushes and stuff in the game, too, they'll actually move around. So if you walk through the bushes, you'll see some, you'll see somebody, like, walking through the bushes. Or if uh, you drive a vehicle close to them, you'll kind of see them move around. And that's going to be really cool in the forest, because if you come through, a, you know, a big hedge or something like that with a piece of equipment, you'll see it kind of push out of the way. Now, Rick, did you say that... You, or, sorry, I think it was Harry you said that you can... There, there's a thing in the game. They they named a vehicle after me. It's called the Raptor 300. Oh yeah, the and big old wood chipper. You said that there's like a like a big mowing attachment that you can put on that thing. Yeah, you just basically like blitz through anything you like. If you like wood chip like on uh, wood, like stumps and bushes that, you, that are on your land, it would oh, just that's one. instantly yeah. destroy them. Okay, I think I need to see this thing. I need to buy it for you. So it's a way to delete. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely do that for for real at some point. Uh, is this free trade organic? This is all digital non-realistic. Uh, it doesn't even exist. Okay, I'm going to move this thing out of the way. We really need to be organized. That That is our biggest flaw since, like, Farming Sim 2013. When we get excited, we never put our stuff away. We never put our toys away, boys. Toys. I'll, I'll try to keep things clean. Well, who, who um, can, like, I, I, who can try to be organized? We're too excited. It's like an impossible... I'm like this everywhere. <laughs> I know. I was. I was just trying to give you an out, Rick. I was trying to protect uh, you from the truth, but yeah, uh, truth hurts. Are farms in the U.S. mostly family-owned? Yeah, families like the Johnson and Johnson family and the Comcast family. Here at Corporate Farm, we care. Oh, good. One of the workers is almost done with the uh, cultivating. He's actually just about done. I'm going to try to back this in. So I like how they added the Anderson machines that they had as a DLC. Yeah. At 19. Oh, what was that? Um, basically, if you have round bales, you can put them in that machine and it will like make a continuous wrap of bales. It's for silage. Oh. And you uh, know what I also saw? to silage bales. I, I saw that we can get three different bale sizes for the round balers, too. There's, like, ways to adjust and control that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, some... So you uh, can make a bale, bale more, like, appropriate for a trailer, like the size of the trailer. Is that why they do that, Rick? Uh, I think it's more to do with feed size. Oh. Like, because some balers are variable, so that means you can adjust the bail size. Chat's cheaper. mentioning Clarkson's farm. We me and me and uh, <laughs> Harry love that. Rick, did you see Clarkson's farm? I haven't yet. I still Bro, need to. Bro, that like that series made for you. Rick, you're not Okay, you don't get to play with us until you watch at least one episode. <laughs> Tonight, promise us that you'll at least start one episode of Clarkson's okay. farm. It's okay, so, it, oh, it'll, it'll, it'll you'll love it. It's I have seen YouTube bits of Clarkson's oh, farm. Oh, it's it's so good. Clarkson's farm is so fun. Oh, I can't. When when are we gonna get season two, Harry? I hope soon. The whole, the big C word has kind of messed everything up, but who knows how that went into production? And this should just drop out the back like this. Next year, I ho I hope you're right, Chat. Okay. And then of course we can put on and off the the top like that, which is really cool. I love how Harry is just carrying over bales to me. 
Oh, you're stacking them up. Harry, can you explain <laughs> how the auger works at the silos again? Uh, what the ones that you that you buy? Well, there's a so there's a new feature that you told me about how you need to purchase like a is it a trailer or like a yeah like I don't know what you call it. Yeah, it's I like a little Rick, trailer. Rick, Rick knows more than me to be fair. Oh yeah, I can uh, set that up to try if you want. Oh yeah, we can we can do that after we're done with our. Oh yeah, let's do that for our next wheat uh, harvest. Yeah. Okay, I'll get this stuff ready. We'll do that for our next one. What field should we... Actually, yeah, Rick, why don't you do like a... Find a big old wheat field and we'll, we'll do that one next. You can pick the new... You get to pick everything, Rick. Ooh. Uh, I, I want to welcome everybody to our new farm. We used to do Rat Pack Farms. Uh, this is now called Content Farms. So welcome to our... <laughs> we're, we're farming content right now for the, uh, the glorious algorithm. So I hope you're all enjoying uh, Content Farms. I hope you're all content here in Content Farms. Damn, they did a really good job of... Just making the environment look nice. At this point, this game and this engine and all this stuff doesn't even have to be a farming simulator anymore. If they did like, um, I don't know what else they could do. Like, a, I, I'd love to see a snow runner. Them trying to make their own snow runner. I don't know. So I really like the justification they gave for buying the silos without augers uh, integrated because they are uh, a, a quite bit cheaper and have much more uh, storage space. Oh, right. So then when you need to, then you can... Yeah. Yeah, use it as, like, a little overflow without having to be too... Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing, too, is that the the games previous, you would have to have so, so much money just to make a little bit more money. So it'd be like, oh, we need this next piece of equipment, but to do all that would be, like, near a million dollars. So, you know... It's it, a it, constant cycle. Yeah, it was a constant cycle. Then you have to take out a big old loan, and you... It, yeah. It was... It was too grindy, which I'd argue is realistic, but the consumer, as in the farmer, has a lot more options now on what more things that they can buy to fit their farm rather than, like, you know, just buying something that's two sizes too big just because it's the only thing on the market, which is kind of a waste of money. It's like, uh... Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Don't be this more gender. The other thing, too, is that, uh... Yeah, we, we have production now. We can definitely do... Is uh, tire damage on? It is. Okay. Yep. So be careful when you drive through a field. Tire yeah. damage is on. Okay. I'm bringing over the auger to the new silo. Nice. Have you got the big, the big, big? The big auger. Yes. <laughs> uh, if you overplant soybeans, does it drop in price? I think the game has a simulated market that... Sh I don't know if... You I, I don't know how that works. In the previous games, boys, if you did like a big sale of wheat, it didn't really affect the prices, did it? Uh, no. It was no. more like the prices no, were just kind of yeah. like up and down, and you would just want to only sell when they were up. Or yeah. down, you'd sell if you just absolutely had to. Yeah, Chad, I just need one more dollar. That's all. I'm very close. If you see in the upper right corner, I just need one more member. I just need one more person to click or tap join. Oh, I love driving this little tipper trailer back and forth. This is th these. I love these types of jobs. Might seem repetitive or whatnot, but it is lovely. Captain, you want to see the uh, the massive auger for the silo? <laughs> I do. I'll come over there soon when we do our next field. I'm excited to see it. Where are you setting up, Rick? Um, well, next to the little truck that you put down. Oh wait, you're putting it at our actual farm. Like, yeah. oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, over there. Yeah, oh, I'm going to come over and look at that then. I'm going to come over. Wow, this is this is great. There's even, like, a little baseball field, too, if you can if you can see it, chat, over here. Over at Site B. Over at Site B, yeah. You can see the little baseball field in the town there. We're going to have to do a production chain. Once we're done uh, with this, maybe we should buy an even bigger tipper trailer and, like... So how, how would we do this? Like... Obviously, one of the first production chains everyone's probably going to do is wheat because it's like the first thing available. So, how does that work? We go wheat to you the flour to, uh, mill and then. Yeah, you have to buy the actual production chain first as well. Yeah. Now, when we drop off the uh, the wheat at the flour mill, how do we bring the flour like to the bakery? Do we have to like get a flatbed truck and do that? Yeah. Yeah, you have to buy uh, some. You can get a uh, curtain cider. Yeah, all that. Oh, yeah, for a truck. Yeah. We have to do that before we go over to France. I'm very excited to look at France too. It's very beautiful. The roads in the France, the French map is very nice for driving on the roads. It's a, it's a pleasure when you have to go into town. Like you want excuses to go into town. Yeah. All 
All right, I'll come over and take a look at that. Uh, can you buy a Massey Ferguson 8S? Is that a tractor in the game? I think so. Sure. Remind us when we go to uh, buy a, a tractor, and we'll, we'll try to grab one of those. There's a 5S. Uh, it's a medium. I feel like right now we're on the edge of like just going to the shop and just buying every piece of equipment and just lining it up. Yeah, there is an yeah, 8S. Yeah, there's the 8S, yeah. All right, we'll have to buy the 8S at some point. Right, By the way, that this? that comment, uh, Harry, is from Harry. somebody named Tesco Bag. It's literally <laughs> a bag from Tesco. <laughs> He's still that horse, mate. Wow. Can you check how much cakes are worth? Uh, I It might fluctuate based on the market, but we'll see. But I assume cake would probably require, like, strawberries from the greenhouse, honey yeah, from the... eggs. Eggs, flour, yep, chickens. Milk. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, let's go swing by and take a look at what Rick's doing. Oh, nice! Oh, wow. Just drive this into place. Got, like, an engine and everything for um, moving it. Wait, are you... Wait, what are you driving? That's me. I'm little, little oh, you're in loader. the... Oh, yeah. you're in the conveyor thing. Yeah. I'm like, right above it now. I think we still need to open the lid. And we can actually use it immediately. Like, if you tip in here... Oh, okay. I'll just... Um, I was empty. Well, good luck with this. Can I climb up it? Or... Does it just... Are you trying to... Okay. I think it should be ready. So you have to buy the silo separate from the... Yeah. Conveyor too, okay. Like the conveyor is a, um, a separate vehicle. And this... Um, this right here, that sticky out bit, is where you unload the silo again. Also into an auger. You can oh. get a smaller auger for that one to load trailers. Okay. So this is to fill, and then you need a separate auger for the yeah. filling of a trailer to transport. Wow, that's an incredible capacity, too. If you could use the same one. Yeah, this is like 1.1 million. Wow. But you could use the same auger, uh, but it's more efficient to use a smaller one. Oh, Harry, this is nice, dude. Yeah, look, you can, I've just put the bale downstairs now. Oh, I love that thing, man. That's like a... Halfway between a forklift and a telehandler. Yeah. The, That's the, nice. The, um, the, the bear went in the... Oh. The underneath if, the door. Bro. You can actually back up your trailer now to the, um, the conveyor and, like, dip it into it. Sure. Oh, H Harry, you should load up the bale trailer now. We'll, we'll try to sell that off. Yeah. That's cool. So now, uh, Rick, if we... Um, it, I wonder... Can, if you back that trailer up to this thing here, if you start dumping yeah. it, will will it show you what the capacity is from here? Or like, how would you take a um, look? How would sure. you know how full the thing is? If you look at the silo, you can look at it. Ah, uh, you can see it. The silo is empty. Oh yeah. Oh, you have to look at the silo, so you can't look yeah. at the. Okay. Wait, let me check the. Uh... Luck break. <laughs> oh right, okay. But it doesn't show capacity. Uh, I think this, uh, this, uh, I want to say McCormick, I think this Ferguson has a front attachment, so, take that one. Oh yeah, good luck back in that trailer, Rick. I wasn't even going to attempt. <gasps> what? What? That's freaking yeah, Poglad. This makes Bro, that's Poglad overload. I didn't know you could do that. What the hell kind of black magic is going down here in Black Magic Farms, a division of content farms? Click, tap, subscribe today. What? That's amazing, dude. I didn't know you could do that. Harry, did you know this? Harry, how come you didn't tell me? Uh, yeah, I was suddenly all quiet now. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, we can unload. That's pr that's pretty close, Rick. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's <laughs> that's way... Dude, it would have taken 45 minutes and 6 reverse attempts to do that. That's so cool. Dude, I love having options to do different things like that. That's great. Well, I hope that's going to go in there, Rick. Actually, uh, we should do this officially, um... Officially? Where's the... tip site? Uh, grain door. <gasps> no way! Bro! I didn't even know half this stuff. Can you see it coming out of the top, Harry? Is it coming out? Uh-oh. 
Or maybe it takes a minute? That's a long way to go. Yeah, it's not going any further. Is it? Uh, it let's is see. the number going down? On your... Because uh, you're not dumping it on the ground, Rick, so I don't know if you're actually getting it in there. If you back up a hair, if, if you back, if you uh, reverse a little bit, it should straighten the trailer out. Yeah, just back up a little mm -hmm. bit more. Maybe we do need to open the top hatch somehow. Uh, like, yeah, the auger's on. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the conveyor whirring. Well, it's an auger, technically. But it's a conveyor to auger. I wonder how you're supposed to... F <clears throat> That's so cool. I, I feel like you're supposed to open the top hatch somehow, but... Uh... Well, you must have got some in here, because it does say that there's 2,500 liters of wheat in there. Oh, really? Is the conveyor full and just not... Oh, the silo's out empty. ...outputting? Yeah, but the conveyor itself says that there's 2,500 on here. Is the is the conveyor separate from the auger? Did you turn them both on? Let's see. Kind of hard to tell what's running and what's not. I can see the conveyor going. Yeah, it should be running. That's really cool. Oh, there we go. Are you getting it? Yes. Oh, was it just you had to move it over the top I, I a little bit more? Wrong, I had the wrong loading sets, basically. Oh, wait. Do you do you have to set the conveyor to be a certain... Yeah, I had to set it to, like, tip here instead of uh, overloading. Oh, okay. It's working now. All right, go forward a little bit with that tractor. Just so we can make it, make it look like it's on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, close enough, but we'll get Hold it. On. A little practice. If we do it like this, we can just... Yeah, just move the conveyor under there, yeah. How much is left? Uh, 3,400 liters. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, you can tip it, Harry. Oh, there we go. So now is this uh, silo actually getting full? Four thousand five hundred ninety-six uh, liters of wheat are there. Cool. There we go. Nice job, boys. That's amazing. Yeah, this there game comes out for all of you on Monday. Monday. What do we get the new tractor for? Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, I, I just used that because I was lazy. Oh, for the conveyor? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'll go, uh, let's go back to finishing up our wheat harvesting, then. I'll, I'll go look for a new wheat field to, to fill up the silo with. Probably some, maybe some bigger equipment, too. Well, yeah, you'll have to, yeah, you need to find a big field, a big-o harvester, a big-o, well, you know. You're doing a setup, a live setup, Rick. You're yeah. doing a live setup. So enjoy. I know what harvester I need. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go back and pick up some more wheat then. Well, that's cool. Oh, this is this is the loveliest farm I've seen yet. I love it. Now imagine that. The developers made all this for the vanilla game. Imagine mods. Mod lad. Farming simulators come a, f a long way, yeah. Imagine somebody still playing like Farming Sim 15. Still thinking that that one's the best. And it's like, yeah. There's certainly a lot of mods that make it good. But it's always fun and exciting to get excited about a new game. And they're not overly expensive, and the good thing is, is once you buy the new game, think about all the free mods that it unlocks. All the craziness that the modding community will make, it's going to be cool. Okay, I'm sure that guy's ready to go again, isn't he? Yep. Oh, 
Oh, he's still going. He He's not full yet. Did the worker stop working or something? Or is some Wait, are one of you, no. One of you guys isn't in there, are you? No. Wow, we're going to have to fire this guy. He Look at all the spots he missed. He's worse than us. Oh, you can't see it if it's gone. Okay, he's probably gonna have to take one more trip and I'll catch him on the way back. I love how the, the biggest harvester isn't actually paired with the biggest header. Because the biggest harvester is a class. The biggest header is actually a Jondeer. Oh, really? Yeah, we can get a new trailer to uh, harvest some of this grain if you think that'd be cool, chat. I could, I could do that. We could get an uh, auger wagon. I'll park this one out of the way and... We can have like trucks driving between and like one tractor on the field with an auger. Oh. Well, this field's got weeds, weeds, weeds. Weeds and rocks are now a thing. Well, weeds were before, but now that now there's rocks you gotta get out of the fields, stones, which is crazy. For when you make a new field, that is. Okay, so let's do... Alright, let's make a purchase then. I want to buy a new tractor and a new... Let's see, a medium-sized tractor. Actually, we, we could just drive one of the John Deere's. Let's, let's take one of the John Deere's we already own, and let's do a... Oh, the Massey 8S. Yes, thank you. Let's take a look for that one. Could be in a medium. Yes, it is. There you go. All right, chat did request kindly the uh, Massey 8S, so let's let's take a look at that one. Continental, oh, all the different tire options. Wow, that's cool. Wide tires and weights. Okay, I'm gonna buy field 39. It's a really large field. Okay. Alright, we'll go with this tractor. And then, we're gonna need a new... We'll use one of the John Deere's again soon. Those tractors are pretty cool to start with as well. I think in the France map, they have a really cool looking... Do you, have you guys seen the, the uh, tractor that's available by default in the France map? It's like a really weird... It's like It looks like a stealth bomber. It's like painted like blue and black and stuff. Oh, uh, I don't actually know if I've paid attention to that one. Let's see, do we want an auger wagon? Elf Bombard might be a Holy filter. Holy crap, some of these auger wagons, whoa. Ooh, yeah, you continue. can use them for beats, some are massive, uh, you can yeah. use them for silage. Some of these look like they're ready to launch a missile out of there. There's a walkabout, which is Australian, but has an American uh, brand branding to it. I think I just want a regular old trailer of some sort. Mm. 40 meters. Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, we do have the option to do semi. Oh, maybe I could just sell all this uh, grain. Oh, well, after we fill up those silos, let's do a big old... Uh, I'll, I'll take a, a, a convoy. Yeah, we'll do a semi load down to the mill, and we'll we'll see if we can see that whole production chain for making bread. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let me make a purchase then. Let's do the what was that forty meter squared one? Mm, the flegel, eh? I want something a little more. Not the half pipe either. Aeroliner's good. 18 meters squared. Yeah, I'm probably going to go for a double capacity. What field do you say we're doing, Rick? 39. 39. Let's do this one, the Rudolph. Ah, yes. Yeah, Kid in a Candy Store, true. Yeah, there's so many, you know, awesome options to purchase. It's like, man, it's hard to pick which one you want. Yeah, you can do uh, standard or extension options. Oh, that's cool, you can paint the extension too. Yeah, 
let's get one of these. Let's try this out. And we got to keep bailing and loading that bale trailer too. Oh, I see we have uh, some bales ready to go. Oh yeah, there's oh and there's the bales inside the shed too. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, cool. we can start harvesting field 39. We're ready. Oh, you're at 39. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up with our current field and see if we can do some bailing there too. But I, okay, our main goal will try to be to load up all those silos with grain and then try to do a big old haul over to the uh, to the mill. Sound good? Okay. Sounds good. What would all you right. Like me to do? Are you asking me or Rick? Rick's the, uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd say go with Rick, because he's working on the new field. Yeah, if you have a trailer, a large trailer. Yes, I shall get. Yeah, you might be able to use one of our current John Deere's. Yes, I'm doing. Or buy a new one. There's also a large class. Nah, at, uh, I like the these older tractors. How's the server stuff compared to the previous version? Um, well, I think you can host dedicated servers, but how are your guys' connection to me? Keep in mind, I'm streaming too, and those two are in Europe, so. Uh, yeah, it's probably, probably right about the same as Woodland good. is. I wouldn't say there's a difference. <laughs> there goes Harry. No names above people's uh, characters anymore. Is there a way to change? I guess with the customization of your character, you can yeah. just look at people's appearances. Uh, does the game still pause when people sink in? Yes. Uh, very briefly. It's it's much faster than before, but there is a, a so brief fast. sink. Yeah. yeah. I that wonder how it will hold up um, when you've got like a lot of stuff going on. Oh, there were names when we were around the silos? Okay. I didn't see it when we were in vehicles, though. Maybe there's a toggle. Another construction simulator? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Maybe one day. I'd love to see that. Yeah. And this track's got a lot of power. Boy, we got a lot of baling to do. Are you guys buying new uh, baling technology too? Yeah, can we can do. Yeah, bigger baler, go faster. Oh, um, I could enable the straw swaps actually. I think somebody just leased something. No, I just bought a um, new trailer. How about Rick? How did he park like that? Are we farming nuggets yet? Not yet. I don't know how he got there and didn't drive over the stuff behind him. I think it disables um, uh, crop destruction for workers. Oh. Yeah, we'll just have to fidget this one in. Uh, do they have the dolly attachment? For tractors to semi trailers. Yes, yes they yeah. do. Well, I hate to crush some profits, chap, but sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to break a few eggs. Don't count your chicken before they hatch. Here comes the money, 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 money. money.
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the harvester. There we go. Oh no, now the worker's going to miss a whole middle section. Let's see if I can move them over. I wonder if he'll be smart enough to get the thing at the end. Okay, there we go. Alright, chat. Keep an eye on the farm for me. We'll keep on trucking, and then I'm going to offload the rest of this and see if we can get the uh, one of those trailers full for the semi. Though I don't think we'll be able to. Although I see another field next to us that might be harvestable. I don't know if your trailer's big enough, Harry. I don't think so. <laughs> How fast are you going? Six? Yeah. Uh, ten. Uh, Six. kilometers. Chat. Oh, glad says hi. hi. I, I put the worker on uh, for a short bit because I need to let the dog out. Okay. Everyone's going. I'm the only one here. Still here. <laughs> oh, glad. Some pog lad emotes in chat, you know. Because pog lad is the best. Yes, let's go. Oh my god, the, the train caught my um, auger pipe. <laughs> pog lad's the best. Let's get pog lad in chat. More pog lads. I agree. More more pog lads. <laughs> oh, there goes the train. Oh, the train. The train. Derange. Good job, Chad. I'm glad you all kept a, uh, an eye on everything for me. Oh, let's see if the AI worker... Oh, he's smart enough to, like, stop well before the vehicle. We were uh, just testing the AI there, Chad. Okay, so let's see if we can offload this thing. Okay, cool. Fill the solo up. Does a worker have to be in there to flip the switch? Or I do, probably. There we go. Okay. Uh, Raptor, buy the oldest tractor you can or lease it. Oh, that's the... Uh, oh, boy. What's the name of that one, Harry? The oldest tractor. The oldest. Isn't it the... Uh, under the small tab, the uh, the Burr 6105? Probably, yeah. It would be cool if there was like some more information about it. Yeah, we're gonna. Like, yeah. if you could click on it and be like, you know, design for such and such, this and this and that and that. All right, I'll let the worker finish this one off, and we'll we'll call it good for today's little demo for this field, anyway. And then we'll have to do some more bailing. Now we're gonna start bailing on the larger uh, map, or the what are what field are you guys on? Uh, pretty nice. Thirty nine. Thank you. 
Wait, okay. This guy. Bro, you don't have to work anymore. You're, you're good. Is there a way to manage employees from a... There, there is, right? From a menu to turn them on and off, right? Uh, yeah. If you go to escape menu, you can turn them off. Okay, I'm going to back one of these harvesters off the field and then... Eh, it's a little messy on the edges, but even the AI misses some places. And then we got uh, the auto bailer that we can use. Okay, let's jump back in and go offload some more stuff. All right. Rick, are you using a controller? Uh, yeah. Are you using an Xbox controller? Xbox Elite. Is there a, a button for cruise control adjustment? Oh, I have no clue, actually. <laughs> okay. Anybody else play Farming Sim 1? Yeah, it's where one guy, uh, one guy, uh, like, what? Harry, your spelling. He tipped over a, a pot yeah, no. onto the ground with seeds in it. Ooh, he's going for thumbnails. Harry. Content Farms. Uh, left and right mouse buttons up and down with the right joystick. Uh, left and right adjusts. Left and right switches vehicles. I'm not sure. Wait, a bumper? Oh, I do like how there's a cruise control, though, for reverse. Like, you can set a cruise control reverse speed, too. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll just drop this off. We're jamming to the tunes. I want to see this one offload. Are we not putting it in the other side of it? I'm just going to drop off here. Okay. Wait, this says start overloading. Oh, is this one full? That's if you want to add more wheat into your... If you have like a cereal type already in your thing, it will... But we already have wheat. You. Wait, what did we just harvest? This is wheat too. Yeah. Sometimes you start off with a bit in the silos. That's what happened in 17. Hmm. Well, I can go over to the other one then. You're waiting anxiously for Breathing Simulator to come out? Well, don't hold your breath. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean by the overloading thing. Okay. So then, how do we do the grain door? Should we just I? Uh, you. Oh, to change you tip you side. Changes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this trailer actually can tip, tip side? Left or right, back or the grain door. That's cool. Okay, did I do it right? Yep. I did? Okay. Oh, if you get out it stops the offload. Oh. If you um if you like turn your automatic engine off, it will do it. Oh, okay. I'll just stay in here. Here is it going into the silo then? Uh yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, I can see it from the top. Well, hopefully we gather enough to, uh... 
Hopefully we gather enough to actually fill up like a couple of semi-trailers. You think you could um, move forward? Oh, probably. Me? Yeah, I've got a full yep. load here. Oh, you got more too? Wait, yeah. have you guys started your... Oh. Yeah, this is the second load already. Oh, wow. What what uh, number are you at, Field? Uh, 39. Uh, yeah. 39, okay. Is there a way to set waypoints on the map? Um, I'm not sure. That'd be kind of cool if you could mark something, and or for it to like do a GPS, like a route. Yeah, I think you can, to be fair. There was a in 17, I mean 19. So 39 is just down the road to the left. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Did they place the issue of the ground looking horrible when you place buildings? We haven't placed too many buildings, but it does seem like... You know, before you put down a building, you could, like, spray paint down some gravel to kind of remove grass and other things, and, like, I guess it's on you to make sure that the ground is level. Spray paint some uh, gravel down or whatnot, depending on what you're putting down. Should we to start doing some bailing? If you're going to unload him now. Wait. Isn't that the off No, it's the next one. Wait, is that the off-ramp to the highway? Oh, it, it is the next one. Oh, okay. I thought that was off ramp. Or on ramp. Any open windows in the cab? Uh, I think most of these run on, uh, like, Mac OS, so there's no windows. <laughs> Actually, the, the sprayers we sell run on Windows Embedded. Wow. I have managed to uh, start up Minesweeper on one of our sprayers. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So what uh, harvester did you go with there, Rick? Uh, the class. Ooh, that looks cool. The biggest Love. harvester with the nearly the biggest uh, <gasps> header. Look at that, chat. The elm. Cr Look at that, Harry. Take some screenshots as we travel down this road. The the beautiful field and the Elm Creek uh, water tower in the distance. That is gorgeous. Oh yeah, we're playing with Rick and Harry. You guys have probably heard and seen them in the games many times before, especially Farming Sim, but more recently Construction Sim uh, we did a couple of weeks ago. Actually, that's what it was, Harry. You, yeah, that's you, what it was. Yeah, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. I was I was wondering if Harry had played with any games with me since uh, we hit the million, and yeah, I was trying to think of what it was. Well, that's a, that's a big oh, big oh, big, big, big harvester there, uh, Rick. Yeah. Big oh million dollar. Uh, actually, let's see what it costs. An arm and a leg? Half a million. There we go. That's 60% of the grain tank. Yeah, so you filled me up 50. Oh, can you actually see how much you filled on, on my trailer? Uh, only visually. Oh, okay. If it filled you up nearly 60%, that means uh, this harvester can hold the same amount of grain as that dipper. Oh. Oh, so you were about 60%? Yeah. Wow, you still had capacity? Yep. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Oh, here comes the train chat. Okay, well now we just play the waiting game for the uh, harvester to be done. Uh, should we do... Oh, uh, Hale, Harry, are you doing bailing? Yep. Oh, nice. Did you buy new ones? Yep. Bigger equipment. Oh, so we have our little balers. I'll go give the little one a try. Yeah, oh. It's actually a shame they don't have bale sleds for the little uh, balers. Because you often have like bale sleds behind them that collect them in an arrangement, uh, a square of like nine bales. And you can pick it up with a special uh, bale clamp. 
Oh, really? Yeah. So then they aren't like all bound up in a bale, but you can still like efficiently pick them up with a tractor. I'm gonna finish up baling on one of the fields, and then I'll come over and do some big old crazy baling. I haven't seen this much bailing since whenever we asked Pinto to join us in games. <laughs> How do you recharge your EV tractor? Uh, you can actually do a placeable electric um, charging station, which I guess for like uh, immersion purposes you could put like a little... You can put down solar panels too, so you could kind of like put it next to that as if like you know, all day the sun charges the uh, battery underground and then you can come and pull up and um, charge up your electric uh, tractor afterwards. Is there any more electric equipment in the, in the game other than that tractor? Is there anything that runs on Uh, the forklift is electric. Oh, okay. I think there's... I'm not, uh, there's yeah, I'm not really sure. So there's That's a... All I can think of. More than one reason to have the little charger for it. And plus, I'm sure there's like a free charger in town that you can charge it. Yeah, I'm sure. Otherwise, you'd have to, like, you know, you'd have to buy that tractor and then the charger, which doubles, you know, increases the price. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy how Farm Sim continues to get better every time they release a new one. Yeah. <laughs> they keep adding more and more stuff and better and better stuff. Yeah, they've really added the things that we wanted. I was really skeptical. I was, you know... 15, I remember 14 was, or when we played 13, I thought that was cool. And in 2014, when 15 came out, I was like, oh, this is great. But I haven't really been excited for a farming simulator as much since, like, eh, I was pretty excited in 17, but kind of not as much as 15. But then uh, 19 came out, and I was like, eh. And then when 22 was announced, I was like, eh. But seeing this, it seems like they've really did a good uh, good job of listening to what everybody wanted, and I'm looking forward to a fun experience with the boys. But what yeah. they need to do though is they they should have different starting modes where it's like a hundred thousand dollars and four players with uh, like three pieces of equipment. You're you're gonna have a f if a lot of people want to play together, they're gonna be sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, doing nothing. Yeah. And the only way to get around that is to like cheat to have money, so there's enough fields for enough people to work them. Because even when a field is harvested, there's still work to be done. Bailing, uh, re recultivating the field, and maybe doing plowing and other things like that. Yeah, you can take contract work, that's true. But contracts are... It's like leasing your own truck in American Truck Simulator. Like, it's fine for a little while, but eventually you want to own your own stuff and know that you're the one doing the work and that you've helped in making a big old crazy million dollar farm. Yeah. Uh, th do the contracts work in multiplayer? I think uh, so. Probably, yeah. There we go, last bit of wheat. Yeah, I'd assume the contracts would probably work the same way they do and it did in Farming Sim 19, but with more added features. I did see there were, there were contracts, I'm just not sure exactly how they work. Uh, but a lot of them are more than likely just, hey, you know, my tractor broke down, come, uh, I don't know, do something on one of my fields. So much capacity in this harvester. Man, that's really cool. Oh no. Wow, what's wrong? Oh, okay, that's bad. Because <laughs> you, you parked your like, tractor by the railroad and had to turn around, and the train was coming. I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so wow, we almost had our first Whoa. 
Uh, does the game let you sell your old equipment to get better? Yep. Yep, you can sell stuff. You can lease stuff, too. So if you need a... Uh, if you just There's need a small little baler for one job, you can go lease it for the weekend. There's also things that it goes in the sale as well. Oh, there's sales, yeah. Well, yeah. That's rare that that happens. Oh, I'm, I'm full, actually. Oh. Pog Lab. Are you from the class bailer? I am indeed. Ah. Yeah, Harry has a little YouTube channel and maybe Rick too, but the, you, you guys really don't, like, you guys make videos no. with me. You guys yeah. don't really make I your own. I have a YouTube channel, but I, I just use it, like, for private stuff and sometimes a video that I do with my drone. With most people, I think, when they stream with me, aside from, like, Bradford and a couple others, there's most people kind of have a channel, and if they do, it's real casual, but uh, just as a reminder, like, Jessica B or Rick or Red or, or Harry or anybody, if, if you guys have a channel and you stream with me, you can always drop a link every once in a while if anybody asks in the public chat. It's totally fine. Exclamation point Discord. Feel free to, to share your channel. It's not, it's not going to hurt anything, and... And I want you guys to. You guys should definitely do it. Dan, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much, Dan, for your support. Woo. Hope you're enjoying the stream, my man. Thank you very much. Dan the man. New member, welcome. And George Bartlett with the five months pog lad. He's been pog ladding for five months. Harry, is that weird? To, you never thought that, did you? That your your no. face would be <laughs> utilized on a million a subscriber, million <laughs> yeah, on a channel to just like, it, 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 like to emphasis on excitement. There's a few different versions of Poglad too. Like you you have a few versions of Pog that you've sent. The Fortnite stream. Pog. Christmas Pog. Oh, Christmas Pog. Oh yeah, we'll put a little hat, a little <laughs> Christmas hat on you. Oh, it'll be perfect. <laughs> Uh, we sh you should do a construction puck with a construction hat on. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Little hard hat. Yeah. Uh, now, Rick, where, uh, Rick, where did you put that tractor that had the uh, baler on it? Uh, oh, there it is. It, yeah. Oh, you were transporting a heck of a lot of bales. Oh, I, uh, I think that was Harry, probably. Yeah, that was me, yeah. Oh. Oh, if you hold left... Oh, I found it, Chad. If you hold left and right bumper, then it allows you to toggle cruise con Oh, that's it. Rick? Oh. Left and right okay. bumper, and then, yeah. Just press F1 to see the controls. All right, we figured it out. Oh, why did that drop off? I didn't even move. I, I okay, don't think. we finished the, the wheat. I'm going to try to get these to fall off for now. Uh, that's glitching out there. Oh, that's weird. Oh, God. That's, that looked painful. Poor bell spike. But how do I, uh, how do I use this? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I'm just going to leave these here for now, because... Oh, those are some weird controls. The thing I also like that they added to this game, uh, this version, is you can actually tank slurry with the slurry tanks with the uh, suction hose, uh, the suction arm. What does that mean? Um, well, you have those um, hydraulic-controlled hoses yeah. that you can dip into the slurry, and normally you just drive next to the filler and hit a button and it starts filling up. Now oh, you can so the pipe. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Which is also uh, an addition on a class saddle track that we don't have yet, sadly. Oh, is that part of the uh, update, the um, pre-order uh, pre bonus? bonus? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the uh, combine home. Combine home. Right, I'll load the new combine earth to give you the key. 
Boom. All right, let's try this at like eight miles an hour as well, just like we did with the baler. We're gonna try this for a little bit, chat, and then I'm gonna go over to the bigger field with the boys and help them out too. I'm just cleaning up one of our old fields a little bit. Well, that's way too fast. We're gonna have to go about four. Yeah, four seems like a better speed. Well, thanks for dropping in, Tan. Good to have you here. Good to see everyone here as well. Hey, Chad, I forgot to ask today, where's everyone watching from? I've forgotten to ask. Right now we're in the beautiful Midwest in Farming Simulator 22 for our early access look as we uh, content creators and press and other people get access a little bit before but at least we get to enjoy that all together uh, but where y'all watch it from I'm I'm uh, up here in Minnesota which is exactly where this uh, <laughs> I guess the same region and where the farming's going on now but uh, where's everyone from I know Harry's from the la the land of pog po pog land pog land <laughs> Let me unload these bales. I'm so from the land of uh, wheat. Two, barley. four, <laughs> seven. Uh, Rick, do you have to do anything for this baler to get it to wrap any of the bales? Um, no, it's already like uh, all twined up. You just have to hit the unload button again. Okay. To, like uh, quote unquote confirm it. Oh wow! It literally just drops it right there. Okay. You're from the Netherlands, Latvia, Texas, Romania, the Philippines, Michigan. Awesome. Very cool. Texas, Rio, the moon. Wow. Well, thanks for watching from the moon. Appreciate that. Must that must be a hell of a latency. Yeah, you, mu you must be watching the stream from a couple weeks ago. Norway and India's in chat. Awesome. Great Britain. Very cool. Minnesota as well. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. I need to slow it down. I need to go like four four miles an hour seems to be best for this piece of equipment to give it time to stack them bales. The little bale is really cool. It's certainly, I would say it's even good for these these fields here. Ireland, the Philippines, Missouri, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Now, if you guys have a, a question or whatnot, if you're a member, you can always uh, hit the square with the dollar sign in it. And uh, you can use your membership milestone, so that way you can send a message that way. You can also drop a super chat if you have a special request, if you want to support the channel or have a... Uh, that definitely supports the channel, too. So thank you very much for all the super chats today and all this week. And um, if you have any questions, it's a great way to, to ask about any of the equipment or the game features or something I'm related Thanks, as always, for uh, exclamation point uh, description and reading that in its entirety, as well as exclamation point schedule to see what's coming up next on the stream. And, uh, of course, if you haven't already checked the schedule, check down below to find out what we're doing next and uh, exclamation point description to find that, too. Get all those links. All the information is there. Make sure you check it out. And, Dan, thanks for the dollar. Thank you very much. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, 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 dollar. You're from Minnesota. I knew that you were from the Midwest, but I wouldn't have guessed Minnesota. Do you have the accent when you say Sori? Sori is uh, more Canada. That's that's Jessica B. with the Sori board. Sori. Minnesota's kind of got a little bit of an accent. Maybe every once in a while I'll say something that somebody else could pick up on. But I could definitely tell when somebody's from, like, Wisconsin or... Um, actually, I could, like, pick up on the Illinois versus Chicago accent and, like, Wisconsin versus Michigan and stuff. There's slight differences that I can tell. Just a little bit. You can tell just a little bit. Can I hold one more? Yeah, 92%. So that means we can hold 14 bales? Yeah. Yep. You can also unload it earlier, so if you want, like, uh, bales only packed with, like, 10 bales, you can also do that. <laughs> I love when it kicks the bales out. That's hilarious. There we go. Looks like we're in Kansas, smiley face. Not anymore there, Dorothy. 
This is the farming sim map known as Elm Creek. All right, we'll do one more pass chat, and then we'll go to the other field and check out some of the newer equipment. This thing's pretty cool. Also, I did not like this maroon paint job on this uh, tractor at the start, but I uh, actually like it now. What tractor is this? Oh, Massey? McCormick. Uh, McCormick. Oh, okay. It's Italian. Ooh. I didn't know it was Italian. Uh, well, it's Italian based now. Uh, I think originally it might be English. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah, we have a slightly older one, but not too old. Bum, 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 we bum, need bum, a bum. shed. Uh, we don't really stream on Twitch anymore. I never... Uh, for the longest time I didn't, so... Uh, we'll probably stream there again some someday soon. New member, welcome. Uh, Rick and Harry in Farming Sim 22 is the version of Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. Alright, let's do one more load and then we'll go over to the other. I'll go help the boys at the new location. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit. It's pretty cool, they have a uh, pretty large subsoiler. Bum, 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 bum. I found it horsepower needed for that thing. What the hell is that contraption? It's a subsoiler. <laughs> oh, what's a subsoiler? Basically, it's um, a kind of an alternative to plowing. It's kind of like rips up the ground underneath and it just kind of lifts it up to like let air in and stuff like that. It's a non-soil turning... I don't know what the exact term is in English, but... Oh. Basically a way that doesn't like this. Yeah, especially like instead of plowing, much. pretty much. Yeah. I love seeing that little baler go like that, that's cool. Boop. We got a lot of work to do to pick up these bales. That's going to be one of our goals, too, is to pick up all the small oh bales God. with the... Uh, yeah, we need 500 horsepower for the subsoiler. Jesus. Should have bought the Versatile. Uh, nah. Yeah. Chad, we're going we're gonna to go and pick up all that, uh, all that stuff soon. We'll pick up all those little bales and put it on that little bale trailer that we have next to the barn. Uh, Rick, there's a John Deere. That's or sorry, Rick, uh, Harry. I think you were doing this. Were, were you driving the John Deere with the trailer on the yes. back? Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm bringing it back now. Are you are you in one? Uh, yeah, I'm in a different tractor. I'm okay. going to pick up some bales in a bigger tractor. Oh, you're doing ba you're picking up bales? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I made I've done the whole field of bales. With that little field there, we could probably put a, we could probably put a placeable there, a placeable shed. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I like having a lot of little buildings rather than like one massive building with like you know fourteen storage in it. It seems <laughs> it doesn't seem to fit the farm much, you know. Especially at your start when you've got like your house is like a two-story four-bedroom house, and then you've got like an aircraft carrier <laughs> for a, a shed <laughs> behind your house. Now I see you coming. I see you, Harry. What do you got there? What is that? Patrick, not me. Oh, is that a new no, that's baler? A, that's a subsoiler. Oh, this is the subsoiler. Wait, do yeah. we... Is this for... Wait, what is the subsoil... When do you do that? After baling? Um, well, it's basically like before... Um, for cultivating. Uh, it's um, an alternative to plowing. Oh. So this will be after the baling. Because yeah. the field needs to be clear, okay. All right, Chad. Are we clear on that? Also, okay. As a C tank for, uh, uh, I don't know what's it called. Basically, the stuff you sow, so like the ground gets more fertile. Oh, uh, fertilizer. something. What? No, there's a cro uh, no, crop fertilizer. you grow, and yeah. then you smash them underground. Yeah. Sort of a radish or something. I forget what it's called. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, there's a lot like of different rules. things like. Um, outside we have like yellow mustard right now. But for cover crop uh, is what you're trying to say. Yeah. So are you trying to subsoil the uh, the road there, Rick? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> we're, we're planting new cars by... Yeah. So this machine, it needs like 500 horsepower to work. Uh, yes, there's uh, lots of livestock in the game. There's horses and uh, cows, pigs, chickens, sheep. And you can even have a dog. Wow. So what... It, okay. So that thing's planting the... Yeah, okay. So you, you have to cultivate again after that, right? To, like, destroy whatever's growing? Because well, it adds... No? I'm not planting anything, so I think this is already, like, fully cultivated. I thought... Yeah, but you have, like, a giant yellow tank. Doesn't that put some sort of something in the ground? Like another... Yeah, but I have nothing in it right now. Oh, what can go in there? Uh, let me actually check. Uh, where's the... Oh, wait, are we all done with this harvest now? Wait, where'd yep. you go then, Harry? I'm picking up the bales. I'm down gotcha. the Alright, then I'll bring this uh, grain trailer back and offload that. Uh, are we selling these bales straight away? Uh, are we selling them? Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could just load them up. Do you have a flatbed trailer to load them on? It's an auto loader. You, oh, I see. You're gonna have to come come back. I see. Actually, we can uh, put seeds in it. I can get a big bag of seeds and uh, like a special big bag handler. Showcase some animals. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be playing this all day. So make sure you subbed and in order to see a lot of stuff, we're gonna it's just gonna take some time to show everything off. So yeah, we'll definitely do some. I'd love to do some sheep. That'd be cool. We'll definitely do some cows and whatnot. All right, so you can sell those directly from the trailer, right? Yes. Oh, look at that train coming by. That's cool. And then, uh, now, see, that's the JCB Fast Track. That's what I was talking about. That's That thing is amazing for these medium to large size trailers because it can just go like a car, baby. And so it's basically like... It's like a semi-truck on the road and a tractor on the ground. It's, right. it's really nice. I'm taking it to the... Island. Uh, subsoilers break up deep, hard-packed dirt for better drainage. Okay. Yeah, that too. Also gets more oxygen into the air. Uh, air? Ground. Ground. Yeah. Uh, boy, what are we what are we gonna do next, boy? So Rick's gonna subsoil. That's cool. I like how I like how we're showing off things, even even if it's briefly. I like how you guys are doing some good demoing. Because then yes. it lets it lets us come up with ideas. Like, Harry, what if we did? the world's largest subsoiling challenge. We delete everything from the map and we just <laughs> subsoil the map. What do you think? That's, that's the worst. Crazy thing. million dollar. <laughs> that's worse than the potato field. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, because it's so small. Okay. Yeah, this is the largest subsoiler you could get. In the world. I'm not sure in the world, but certainly in the game. <laughs> It'd be cool if they were to put the big bud into a farming simulator game. Wouldn't that be cool? They've yeah. never done that before and that would just no. be yeah. so cool. You got yeah, it's such a shame. Oh, I didn't know there was like a little secret way over to the... There's like a shortcut from our farm over to the field we're working in. I can see it. It's kind of steep, but there it is. Oof. Okay. Oh, that's true. Yeah, there'll be a big bud mod out within a week. Yep. True. So there's the uh, harvester that they were using. Where did you guys put the header? Did you buy a trailer for it, Rick? Uh, yeah, it's like at uh, more towards the road. Oh, I see it right over there. Nice. It's 13 and a half meter or 12 and a half. I love how you can tell everyone's trying to be organized, but we're too excited to move on to the next thing. <laughs> can you show the used machine shop? Yeah, there's actually used stuff in the game that you can buy now too, which is really cool. Uh, where is that? Used vehicle sale. Yeah, so you can see things on sale. Uh, so, oh, a JCB Fast... Wow, that's awesome. JCB Fast Track is on sale for 51% off. That's huge. Damn, that's a bargain. That's really cool. So that's oh, that's well that's even halfway between leasing and, and buying new then. Although, I, what would be the disadvantage? I guess the only thing is, would it randomly show up? Um, you, like, lose like your like the mechanic bar on the right hand side it will be down so have damages 
Oh, so you we'll just have to do repairs? Yeah, full power. yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah, we won't have full power. Triple, triple dare. Huh? For what? Thank you, uh, Cam, for the five. What's going on? What do you guys want? What? Sorry, Chad, I'm, I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, I don't know, chat's double, triple daring me to do something. I think they're triple daring chat to uh, click or tap join to become a member. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. 17,000 for bales, Jesus. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good, good amount, yeah. And that's just one trailer, right? Yeah, Ooh. that was 14 bales. Wow, so that's going to be at least... Well, there's probably two more trips there. Let me square this up a little bit better. Oh, did you guys shut the auger off? Damn it. Uh, I didn't shut it off. Oh, there's more cost on repairs if you buy it used. Okay, so you can get it for a while. Are you sure you didn't shut it off? I don't hear it running. Yeah. Uh, if you don't you have to have it running for it to work. Yeah. Because you, have, you, you haven't turned off the engine, the automatic engine start. It would be different if you had that on. Wait, it needs to be on or off? Off, so it stays on. Rather than when you get in and get out, it just turns off. Oh, it so will work. So you're saying I gotta go into my game settings and change that? Yeah. I heard you talking about Big Bud Farm Sim 17 at a Big Bud pack, Wink. Yes. And that's why we covered it in our video. <laughs> at the channel. That was bait. That was bait. Smiley. Should be under the tractor icon. So you're talking about automatic start on? Yep. Turn it off. So it. Oh, okay. So that way the engines are always the on. Running. Yeah. Good to see you, Flying Dutchman, and a and a blue member at that. Wow. Long time. Now wait a minute. This thing. I don't see an option to actually turn this on. Oh, there it is. Why would they put it on like a different tab? It can barely do anything. <laughs> it like moves forward, extends. There's very limited options for that thing. Yes, yeah, so this game comes out on Monday for all of you. But we get to play because, well, our channel has a million subscribers and everybody wants to see it. And so they said to us, hey, you nerds want to play? Okay, sure. Oh, I see track oh, lads. The big backs look so cool when you put them down and pick them up. Okay, so now... Boom. Finally, Chad, I got it. Discord, exclamation point, Discord. All the lights and stuff look really cool in the game as well. Uh, we're gonna have to do some logging, boys. We're gonna we're gonna have to get into our logging showcase showdown. Oh yeah, yeah, to logging suits. Yeah, we'll do some logging when we go to the France map. We got a few things to do. Oh, I like having to deal with the logistics of actually feeling, uh, filling up with seeds and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what's our next project? Should we? Um, do we have enough grain now to like load up one of the semis to go to the mill? Probably, yeah. I think we would at least have one, enough for... Well, we could each try to fill up with half. Or, oh, wait, wait. Let's do the math on this. Let's figure this out. So, the wheat... The flat bottom bin, which makes the rock and world go round. Oh, wait. Um, this is 83,000 liters of wheat. So, let's check one of the semi-trailers. That is... Uh, 
51. So we could do just about two, right? We could also do the the long boy with 81. Ooh. Should we should we do the double extendo? Yeah, can do. Ooh, yeah. Got escorts out the front. Okay. Yeah, I want. I want. Uh, a I got I, uh, pretty cool trailer now. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can change the color cover. Dark green looks cool. But black looks fine too. Uh, Raptor, are you at the silo? Yep, I'm just next to the silo. I'm looking to buy a big O semi. Oh, I need a crash. <laughs> mm, look at these trucks. Superliner, Pinnacle, the Mac Anthem. Oh man. I don't know what I like more. I'm conflicted, Harry. But what, we'll is, what is the Mac Anthem? Oh, and there's the the man it's too. Like I forgot all about that. Yep. I'm gonna do the Superliner. Oh, there's not much difference in these though. 500 or 425 to 505 based on your engine configuration. <gasps> Raptor, wanna see how we can transport our seats? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that, baby. Yeah, That's the nice. Eagle. Ooh, wow. Yeah, nice custom paint jobs. Uh, what'd you say, Rick? Well, uh, I'm like behind you now. Uh, <clears throat> we have to try to transport our seats. Oh, this is... Oh, dude! That's cool! And I could just, like... Disconnect it. Oh, so then we can have, like, a... Like a telehandler come in here and pick stuff up. So wait, yeah, does this like auto? The front of the tractor. Does this auto fill or something? Uh, hold on. Uh, where's the like, there? Like tension belts. When when you buy seed, does it come in the trailer like this? Uh, no. So you uh, have you to have load to this. Have to load the big oh, okay. Hence the this, uh. This thing. Yeah. Oh, this is for. Oh, that's for the bags. Ah, with the hooks on it. Can you do two at a time? Yep. Oh, well, good, good luck with that. Oh, there's something sticking out of the bottom of one of those. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, that's the... to, to uh, empty it. Oh, it's the... oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome, man. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna go park this tractor somewhere nice. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go park over at the gas station just to... just to show that we can drive over there. I love this map. This farming simulator is fantastic. One's in the chat if you're already sold and you're buying it or you've pre-ordered it or you're going to get it like in the next couple weeks. Like if you're if you're going to be like a first week, first day, first month kind of kind of kind of player. Just curious to know what you guys what you think about the game so far. I love this. Oh yeah, we can park on the train tracks. Yeah, for sure. Yes, farm sim will support mods. They'll both be uh, like official mods through their mod hub thing, but then you can always modify the game files any way you want. Technically, we've already modded the game with the amount of money that we have, but that's just so we can put on a show for you guys and show you everything that's new because that's more exciting and uh, and we love to do it. So, oh, forgot to turn that off. Oh well. I love this dude. This little this little forklift telehandler thing is amazing. I wonder if this will be this will be useful for trees actually. Harry, we won't have to use um we won't have to use the uh, the skid steers anymore to try to load you know logs and stuff into the conveyor. We can try to use this little boy. That'll be a good option. Is one of you in the Mack truck? Oh, there it is. Oh, and there's the seeds. Wonderful. All right. Well, now we're going to load up and uh, take a look at the inside of the truck, boys. This this game is like on par with like ATS now, at least with some pretty good ATS mods. That one might be a little nicer for trucks because you know it's all trucks, but looking real nice. All right, I'm gonna grab the double and I'll come right over to the silo. So uh, actually, hey Rick, um, for that auger, how do you transport that? How'd you get the auger from like the uh, the the store to where we are now? Oh, you can just put it behind a tractor. Oh, so you can just tow that with a tractor? Yeah. So then, if, car, too. if you buy another small one from the store, 
Can you do that now so we can load up the truck? You gotta buy a smaller one to yeah. load okay. from the silo to the to the truck, yeah. right? Okay. Get this uh, Gerthen cider out of the way and then I'll go pick up a small log. Okay, roger that. And I want to see you when you're here, so I'm going to wait at the shop just to, to see what it looks like when that thing's purchased. And so, yeah, Rick was spending a lot of his time taking this seed and, like, loading it. That That's really cool, too. Like, you can load up all the of your equipment that way with these bags, so then you can buy it here, load it into a trailer, bring it back to your farm, then store it, then load it into the equipment. So you can store all this stuff in the barn, which makes all the smaller equipment so much yeah. more worth it because honestly it's cool to it, it's really cool to run the big equipment but it's not as fun if that's all you get to do it's like you know it's like you know in like a world war ii shooter if, if all you got to do is drive the tanks all the time it wouldn't be as fun if you didn't also get to like you know work the uh, the other guns like the artillery and the you know if you got like uh, machine guns and rifles and stuff like if just driving the tank will be boring after a while if, if that's all you got to do but all of it together is fun so that's why farming sim has always been fun too, because you can do animals and crops, and then you can also do dairy and all sorts of different supporting there equipment. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Drive to the back of this. Now, is this only for the silos? Uh, you can use it to uh, go from a dipper to a truck. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd hope that but this had a few uses. Silos, but of course, you can, like most stuff, you can use it for, well, basically whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using a hybrid right now. I'm using both a uh, keyboard and an Xbox controller, which is really nice for smoother driving. But I would definitely recommend if you're not going to be in a, uh, if you're not going to be in a vehicle, keyboard and mouse is kind of nice. But having a keyboard is nice too. Rick, how'd that go? What happened there? I. Just noticed out of the side of my eye something happened. Did you <laughs> chat? Did you happen to see that? I was reaching behind me to grab a slice of pizza. There's actually a back way out of the shop too. Kind of. Well, good luck everybody else. I can't really see out the window. I guess using that is useful. Can we use the conveyor to auger the materials uh, to, to the silo? We, we've already loaded the silo up a little bit. We're now going to take from the silo to the truck, and we're going to go deliver some grain uh, to the mill and see how that works. But well, we're doing it with the dually. We're going to do two-truck convoy, but we'll save the big old crazy million-dollar convoy for another day for all of you who've subbed. Chat, you're up to almost 700 likes. I don't even think chat will get close to 650. They're too far away, but that's okay. Thank you very much for your support. That's a distant goal. Uh, Do the buildings place flat like they did in Farming Sim 17? Uh, I don't think 17 had building placing. 19 did. But I'm not sure how that how that all worked. All right, Rick. So where should I set up now? Oh, you're okay. You're moving stuff uh, out of the way, so I'll just back up a little right bit. There, I'm just in the and we'll, we'll wait right here. So when you're driving this thing around, your character kind of disappears and you just become like, you become the conveyor. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, ah, there we go. I was going to say, I actually can't make it onto the pavement. But, uh... This thing is not the best to steer. Yeah, the wheels on it are a little weird. Luckily, yeah. 
This is kind of a thing where you scoot it rather than really drive it. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. I now get the option to start filling. Okay, so let me grab the truck. Now, can you can you extend that conveyor? Oh, you can. Wait, did you Oh, you Oh, you can angle the uh, nice. That's cool. Okay, I was going to say, there must be some sort of extra adjustment to that. That's neat. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, drive around. I'll swing back around the barn. That's cool, man. That's very Poglad. Speaking of Poglad, let's get a Poglad update. Poglad? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating? What are you doing, Harry? You're a little oh, yeah. distracted. Oh, okay. That's fine. All good. Totally not mad at all. I'm not hungry. Don't worry. You didn't leave for a little bit. Pizza That's so true. Good. I went to get coffee. There we go. But honestly, you don't like me without my coffee. Are we going to name our little doggo? We should name him Sam. What about Dan? Name him after a new member, Dan. We could. Oh, Dan, yeah. Wait, well, what's going on? My vehicle kind of... Wait, what happened? Did, did I do something wrong? I think you're losing traction. Yeah, this is pretty Oh, sick. yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. The back trailer's uh, getting caught on the edge there. I guess because the, uh, the baler trailer's in the way, so I had to go to the left. Let me back out of the way a little bit. Totally didn't jackknife or anything at all. Okay. There we go. Oh, nice. And yeah, that is nice. So each He's trailer. Out of the, uh, out of the silo here. Oh yeah, you can yeah. Well, was that all? I think it's good to bite a bit. Oh, oh, it wants me to switch the to the other. Ah, oh, it's sectional. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that's awesome. You can have four different um, types of uh, product. Okay, Oops. cool. How did she just do some wheel spins? Wait, who's spinning wheels? <laughs> Me, look. <laughs> look at the tires. Burning rubber. Oh, traction is a thing here. Don't give me a push from behind. Let me check here. Wait. Yeah, that's a good screenshot moment. I was trying to take some cool screenshots, chat. Let's get the shaver to push. Hey, wait a minute. Do you guys see the... Is there a little message above the mini-map? Is that like a chat message, or what is that? Uh... Oh, yeah. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Okay, I'm pushing Harry. I mean, you can't unload it now. I'm not one the hopper. Oh, yeah, he's under it now. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Rick, you gotta put things away, bro. <laughs> I wanna be organized. At least as best I can. Wait a minute, let's see. Power.
That's pretty, that's so yes. sick how you can do that. Yeah. Man, it's, it's crazy how long it takes to load that trailer up though. Like if we had like a 10, uh, sure. like a 10 truck convoy, it's going to take a while from one of these tra uh, silos. We might want to do a double silo, you know. Uh, what's downstairs? Uh, the uh, There's like a bottom storage area for, you could put like bales down there or... Pallets or Pallets, whatever. yeah. Food. Like pig food or something. Whatever you want. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and take that truck. You guys want to follow in like a pickup and one of the tractors, or okay. good, if good you want to. to get up the hill. Now, Harry, once we're once we're done with this, we we will have dropped grain off of the mill. What comes from that? Uh, I think we could get flour. I so how? Shoot. It depends what. Uh, what one you drop it in? Where, okay. Where, where is the mill? So do you guys want to? It's at the top of the map. Holy crap! This is I actually. Guess. Wow, we should have bought the man for this one. Holy crap! Anyway, do you guys want to uh, right, find a truck that you can buy to haul like flour or something? Wheat flour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do. We can make flour. Nice. Oh, I can't believe the traction's actually like a, that big of a thing here. Want us to follow in tractors behind and push you. Well, it should be okay once I get to the road. But it seems like the game actually takes into account weight and such like that, which is cool. It's not just like wheel on ground, thus traction. That's actually really cool. Indeed. Yeah, is there a diff lock? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see, AI worker. Oh, wait, what? You can hire an AI worker for the truck? Yeah, you can tell it to go places. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's going to be an F's in the chat, boys, for this thing. Well, this is a good test, though, because it'll definitely remind you that if you're going to load stuff up, you might want to do it near a, an actual... A flat uh, surface. Yeah, flat surface and also a... Um, maybe, like, asphalt, if you can. Hey, uh, whoever's in the truck, do you want to grab that tractor and just yes, push the back end? Yeah, now we're playing Snow Runner. But this is cool. It shows that, like, traction and, like, vehicle, um, you have to take a lot of that stuff into account. Oh, yeah, I'm actually, uh, I forgot I was subsiding. I'm actually going to fill up the subsoil with the... Oh, sure. Harry's got the tractor. <laughs> That's a bit better. That's a bit better, yeah. Alright, so the mill should be to the left. And I think I know the way there. Eric, you're ruining my big back forks. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Wow, even on a flat surface, she's having a tough time. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Yeah, we have the mass. Uh, we've tried the Massey uh, 8S. We'll drive that around a little bit more when we get a chance to do so. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen, brother. Trucking. Right, so we need to take a right here. Mm hmm. And then a left. Uh, yeah, the transmissions in the game are manual in terms of, like, you'll see the character switching the gears and such, but you can. You know, you can switch a manual transmission to automatic or automatic to a manual if you want. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh yeah, traction. look at I. I am on the road, going three miles an hour. Horsepower is gonna be everything. Oh man, I can't, I can't even get up the basic road. Is that meant to be? I feel like we should be 
able to oh, haul this, don't you? It is pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy, yeah, but it, I mean, I'm, 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 just, I'm just on the road. <laughs> are, the, are the wheels off the road again? Wow, that's actually impressive that... Hmm. I feel like the man wouldn't do much better either. I'm actually really surprised that this... Alright, well this this truck is going to be only good for maybe like low boys and uh, maybe singular trailer hauls. Which means uh, come and bring a tractor over and just push it. Uh, bring over a... Uh, let's bring over a new truck. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead and buy whatever you think would be good. This this one just keeps getting picked up off the ground. Now, if this were American Truck Simulator or something like there there should be no problem honestly hauling that. It would be certainly a lot of a, a struggle on certain roads like that, but it should be able to I mean, we're not talking about like the roads of California and Colorado. This is a little hill. Going to need a bug report for that, you think? Uh maybe. We'll, we'll block traffic like we're the police. Let's put on our hazard lights. Oh, all the vehicles disappeared. They will block the road. <laughs> it's a crime scene now. It's a crime that that awesome Mac couldn't pull that thing all the way up here. I, I love that truck though. But this is also a good truck for logging. So you could pull a smaller trailer with this, like a logging trailer, or just something not as much weight. But uh, logs will be fine, or a low boy. And it's a cheap version, so... Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Ma'am! See that person speeding by? <laughs> I'm trying to set up, like, a crime scene here. Oh, that'll work. Let's try the Mac Anthem. Yeah, you can also... Yeah, you can attach a uh, tractor to a truck dolly if you want to. And that'll work. Wait, did this thing say this truck's a diesel? Owned by diesel 120 liters. Wow. Uh, that engine you might be able to upgrade. I think the other trucks are upgradable. This ain't looking great. Even that one's struggling? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, come on now. Alright, that, that that should be a bug. There there's, should be nothing stopping that bad boy from getting up there. Alright, there's only one There's only one thing. We're, we're struggling with the... Uh... Back to Randoli? Yep. I'm gonna have to reload because I, all my input stopped working. Okay. Well, I guess you'll have to, uh... This is good FYI, guys, for if you're buying some of these vehicles. If you think you're gonna haul some grain to the uh, mill with the Mac Anthem, you might want to do it with a smaller trailer or get the uh, truck dolly. Experimentations in Farming Sim. Right, let's see if this thing can pull it. <coughs> By the way, that little flash you just saw on your screen is how long it took Rick to connect, so it was like literally a half second. Yeah. It really proved a lot. Yeah, AI traffic's a little annoying too because like vehicles will spawn and then despawn, but you can't push them out of the way. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, it's kind of a bug, but it's more like the the tires are leaving the ground, and so that's that's what's stopping the uh, traction from continuing on the ground. Which is like that's the whole point of a semi is to like go onto the go onto the ground. Yeah, so it gets traction.
Yeah, you can see the wheels are clearly on the ground. There's nothing. Huh, well that's weird. Well, now we have a lot of cool trucks that we can utilize. I, I think this ADS is bugged. I can't even get in it anymore. Yeah. <coughs> you should join the farm wreck, that's probably why. Oh, did you join the farm wreck? Rookie mistake. I uh, didn't yet. <laughs> Day one. Alright, I'm already west here. Huh, uh, I am in the farm. Yeah, I got spin tires, didn't I? This tractor is nice. I can't even tap into the uh, ATS anymore. I'm in it. Unless uh, you bought another ATS. one? Yeah. Oh. I'm just hooking up. Hmm. Oh, that's a crunch. I'm trying to keep our stuff organized. Good luck with that with the uh, four tractor trailers we had to buy to test this out. <laughs> well, I hope that's enough power, Harry. <laughs> Okay, so clearly, yeah, a dolly might be a better solution for that in the future. I'll, uh, once we're done here, Harry, I'll bring it back with the uh, truck. Actually, when we're done uh, with that tractor, Harry, you should grab another... Uh, is there cargo vans to haul f flour, or how, how are they going to give us the flour? It'll be in a pallet. Oh, so we're going to have to load pallets now? Uh, yes. So we might want to get a forklift and then... Okay, it gets you through the river. We might want to get a forklift and then like load stuff that way. We're gonna need a flatbed. Oh yeah, you're definitely not wanna gonna, gonna wanna drive over that covered bridge. Good job boys. First try. First try. First try. So keep in mind, if you're trying to haul uh, two, as they do in real life, you're going to need about a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier's worth of horsepower <laughs> uh, and a truck dolly to uh, <laughs> be able to haul the uh, double trailers full of grain. Hopefully they add a little bit more uh, traction to the wheels or something. Because now, I really want to use that truck, but now I'm too afraid of getting stuck. Yeah, this is the Elm Creek map. We're actually going to go take a look at the uh, French map in a little while. Uh, and we're going to do some logging shortly, too. Maybe when uh, Jerry's around or something later this afternoon, we can keep on trucking with that brother. Bum, 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 bum. Is there an option to change the wheels? Yeah, yeah, some trailers have wheel options, but it seems to be more visual. Uh, the tractors and such, like if you get wide or narrow tires, that matters. But um, some of the, track, some of the uh, trailers allow for different style. <laughs> You're kidding. Ti you're stuck there too? Yeah, that's a traction issue. Probably a trailer issue. No, it's the traction of the wheels of the t uh, of the tractor. Right, where do I dump this? Uh, to no, your right. I think it might be because of the trailer or something. You are you were supposed to take the second turn, I right. think. Up top. Oh <laughs> god, good luck, Harry. Uh, don't worry, I blocked traffic for you. Or, okay, uh oh. Alright, well. <laughs> okay, that works. I mean, we would have done it the right way if we could have. Now we have to do it the YouTuber way. Power. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 
I'm not going to be surprised if you end up flying into the sky for some glitchy reason. Alright, you guys need a fork truck, uh, fork, fork, fork lift. Uh, we're going to need, um, we're going to need God. We're going to need a lot of Pinto Bless. Wait, Harry ended, Harry got something stuck in his tractor. Oh no, it's the, uh, <laughs> well yeah, now he's got something stuck in his tractor, a telephone pole. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, I still think this is the most realistic farming simulator they've made, though it's, <laughs> as you guys know, far from perfect, which is why we have mods. Yeah, look at that lack of traction. Like, this massive monstrosity should be able to pull no problem. Like, hey guys, we're all the way up there. This should be like a monster truck hauling a deck of cards. Like, uh, Harry, you're just gonna have to go out back to the road, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying that. I'm trying to reverse. Yeah, but just, to that road. but just where you need to go is just go where you're supposed to go. That's all you gotta do. Backseat day one. <laughs> no, it's not that there's too much weight in the trailer. And the issue is that the wheels should be getting more traction than they actually are. If we emptied this trailer out, it would still give us issues with tr uh, traction on the bottom of the tractor. It's All more about the uh, the wheels having sort of uh, connection with the ground. So sometimes the game do doesn't do recognize that the vehicle's right. wheels are actually on the ground creating uh, traction. Uh, what, Harry? Or what? Uh, sorry, Rick? <laughs> All you had to do was follow the was, uh, pull the damn uh, trailer. All you had to do was follow the train, CJ. Harry, you want to push? I, I don't even think I can push you now. You're jammed up against the building. That's okay. I'll go down here now. I just did an accidental rapid unload. Wait a minute. He's making his way around. All right, I'm going to pull over to the side and make room for you. I think he's got it, folks. Was Alex going to be there on the French map? Maybe. Three, four months until he downloads it. <laughs> well, luckily, they put the uh, trailer offload far enough away from the uh, silos so that we, ha we have plenty of room to dump things off. Hmm. Can you do both at the same time, Harry? I just want to check it's actually doing... It's doing it. No, if, oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's, oh, it's filling it up. Nice. It's filling up the production chain. And it started to make plow. I'm on my way up the forklift. Ah! Damn. Uh, just got run off the road. How do I switch? You. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna need like a. What'd you recommend to. A flatbed? Was it, Harry? Yeah, the curtain side though that we had in just a, a forklift. Oh, the curtain side that we had? Yeah. Probably a truck in front of that. Uh, Rick, did you offload all the seed? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, the ATS there is bugged, so... Alright, I will, uh... I'll buy another flatbed. What, what, what was that called, Rick? What's that trailer under? Uh, MISC. Plenius. Oh, there it is. The Profi Liner. Yeah. Nice. We've started to make flower. Four car trailer. Hmm. I got, and I got Paige. a forklift on a trailer behind a pickup. Paige, thank you very much for clicking the tab and join and becoming a rap a little raptor. Thank you very much for the support. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Ooh, these colors are like yeah. Now yeah, we use blackout rims, I guess. Now hopefully they add more traction to some of these wheels. I've seen that be a problem on uh, flatter surfaces that are more <coughs> are intended to be hard surfaces. Although we did have trouble on the incline too. So so long as you're going down a uh, hill, you're fine. You want to hear the Mac horn? Oh, you can barely even hear it. <laughs> there you go. You could uh, speed up time. 
Uh, yes. So the flower process. Oh, wow. Out. Rick's Rick is actually bringing a uh, forklift on a flatbed, a little trailer. That's cool, yeah. dude. Did, did you guys I see that? I feel bad for the trailer because uh, forklifts are really heavy. I already uh, had a rapid, uh, a rapid unloading uh, three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> rapid unloading. Uh, Harry, rapid would... accidental unloading. <laughs> Should I? Do you want me to adjust the daytime, or yeah. what's the, what's the setting I should adjust? Uh, it should be eight. Is that going to make it darker though? Yeah, we have to. Otherwise, though, if you want to wait, because we're currently on thirty-one flower out of seventy-five thousand. Oh, that's fun. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and make that adjustment. So we're turning up the game speed so that flower is made faster from the. Uh, from the wheat. Yeah. Hey, what's up, gaming kid? Thanks for the two. Good to see you. Check it in. Thank you very much for saying hi. You can't right. just press seven. Oh, you can just do it with the... Seven and eight, yeah, with the numbers. Oh, nice. Wait, that slowed it down. Oh, okay. So you want times eight? Ten? Uh, let's see how quickly he has doing it. That's at ten now. You'd probably try fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Or you could do 120. 120? <laughs> oh, it's H and H Milling Group. H, yep. H Gaming. That's better. <clears throat> I wonder what happened if we slept. Wait. Oh, uh, oh. you'd uh, skip time. I would just make it like a whole another day. Yeah. Wait, can you skip time? Yeah. If you and sleep, if you go to the back to the house. Oh, really? There's an option for you to sleep. Well, you guys could. We could. Day. We could just teleport there. If you want to try that. What time would we wake up? Uh, there's an option for it. We could test that out and see what... How, how much grain has been passed in like an hour? Not a lot. <laughs> okay. Harry wants to sleep. Accept request. Yes. Oh, that's you cool. Accept your worker going to sleep. So that it's, <laughs> that's going to pass time, but it'll probably keep you exactly where you are. Yeah. And it'll just probably make it the morning of the next day. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe That's seven o'clock cool. of the next day. <laughs> I just slept in the middle of the roadway for hours. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ooh, we've got a lot of pallets of uh, flour. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh damn. Well, that's we're gonna have a lot of flour. That's okay. gonna be a lot of flour. All right, you want to buy another truck, Harry, and grab another curtain trailer? Yeah. We'll try to load up two trucks this time, and we'll let. Uh, Master, uh, ma master of forks. <laughs> master of forks. <laughs> well, we'll let we'll let uh, Rick fork this one up. Me and me and Harry have already done enough with our tractor trailering. Can you drive the train? You can. Ah. Oh, you want to go with that paint job though? Is that yeah, really the paint job you want to go with? Oh, you have to customize that. I cannot let you leave this shop with that paint job. <laughs> Now, where do you drive to... If you want to modify a vehicle, Rick, where do you drive to? Uh, you see next to the shop, if you um, walk along, you see a little spanner symbol. Like, uh, and the shed next to it. Oh, the the white building with drive the brown in door. that area. Yeah, there. If you drive oh. in that area, you can um, customize things. The crone trailer actually looks the best with the man. Ooh, all right. We'll see about that, Chad. Let's see if Harry can pick a nicer looking truck. With all the customization options. If you guys want to see those options too, we'll take You're a quick You're going with red and blue, Harry? <laughs> yes. He's going opposite of me. I'm I'm red blue, he's blue red. Yes. Uh -huh. Opposites. Attract. Wait, opposites attract, bro. That means yeah. we're we're bros. We're, we're like bros. A team. Team bro. Yeah, bro team, team bro. Bro lads. The bro wheel lads. setup, by the way, the man truck is probably the best though for like going back into the woods for uh, like doing some sort of logging or yeah, something like that. more like grippy tires. That? Uh, there's also Ooh. a truck with a uh, lock crane. Oh no. You know what I just thought of, Harry? 
Imagine if we had trouble just driving on flat road surfaces. Imagine driving in the back of like a very uneven like forest road. Imagine you remember at 19 Grizzly Mountain. <sighs> yeah, but imagine like with this. Imagine that. With this game's <laughs> grip, though, imagine just driving up like a little a little incline. <laughs> nope. And just bringing <laughs> the happened. entire operation to a full stop because someone. Oh well, yeah, you get saw when we left the yard that little incline. <laughs> yeah, when we, yeah. I mean, we couldn't even get the uh, the Mac to pull out of the. Uh, out of the farm. Right. I hope they up the, the grip of the tires a bit. It seems to be a traction issue. I mean, it's also... There's oh. like a little bit of the... Like, the weight will reduce the traction of the tires, but it's too much. Like, I think that's how they calculate that is... Okay. Weight should increase the traction, though. Yeah, like but I... you had a lot of weight on I the I think the game has a setting stuff. where it's like certain vehicles have a certain number... Like, a top speed, right? And so based on how, like, quickly you generate that top speed, it's based on weight. Which, it, which like, reduces the traction. It's confusing, but basically it's like, when me and Harry were on a flat surface, dude, the John Deere's tires were just rolling. And he <laughs> and he was just, like, having trouble. But it's like, that, that tractor should have more track. Like, that much weight shouldn't affect that tractor, though. Not it, that size, no. Yeah, I mean, it was a dually trip. I would just say that play it safe with the singular. The yeah. Yeah, the big, the big O tractor haul. Tractor. Cameras, or the uh, controls are extra sensitive outside the cabin. <laughs> you can see the scene where we abandon all the vehicles. It's, uh, it's starting to look a lot like Farming Simulator. That's it. There'll be a river soon enough. So now we're going to the mill to pick up the flour that we made from our grain harvest. And then I think after we make some bread, after we do this, let's, let's take a break from this map and we'll go see France and do some, uh, maybe we'll do some olive or yeah. uh, like grape picking and yeah. then we'll go do uh, some logging. And then we'll come back here and do some more um, animals and stuff. We'll come back to the American map again. That'll be cool. Right, I want the, the right side. Chat, what are some of the things you want to see in Farming Simulator 22, by the way? What's some of the new stuff you want us to showcase? Seasons we can definitely do, because apparently... You said, uh, Harry... Wait, we slept, Harry, for an entire month. It's now September. Yes. <laughs> uh, basically, we because it's one for month a day. Oh, is, is the game one month a day? Yeah, that's you what can, you can, uh, said. change that. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's going to be real... you got to be, like, ultra-productive, then. Also, I feel like some days you just want to sleep, because... I don't know, like February, you'd probably be done with everything. Grapes, yeah. You want to see the mods? I agree. We will definitely be onto that. Jessica B wants to see the snow. Jessica, if you get this game, remember, auto-invite. You're always welcome to come join us, if and when you get this game. No. So where is the, uh... Where do we get this flower from? Oh, down there. I'll park up top. Yeah, like, look at how much trouble I'm having just driving up a hill with an empty trailer. <laughs> like, it was actually struggling for a moment. Can the vehicles break? Yes. Can we fix them car mechanic sim style? No. But there is a little... Next to the speedometer, you see the orange little uh, wrench there with the maintenance whatnot. Oh, let me on. Are there hazard lights on PS4? I'm assuming everything on PC is on PS4. It looks like they've done a good job of making the game That's right. functional for both. I'm going to actually park under here. I don't know if you want to speed up time just slightly so it's more sunny. It's sunny. But underneath this trailer is dark. Ah, nice. That was what I was trying to first. Just time. turn on your flashlight. Not the same. Wait, did you grab three pallets at once? Two. Oh, Rick. He's a skill. He's a skills of forks. He's cheating. A forks to be re reckoned with. <laughs> All right, so we got whole grain premium flour type type four o five. Recipe t uh, tip: Swiss cheese bread. Bro, we we did it. We made bread. Oh well, flour. <clears throat> so now where do we transport this to? Can we bring this to the grocery store? There's a grocery uh, store on the map. I'm going to see where we can sell it. 
We can go to two different locations, see where we make more money. Uh, we can set it to the bakery, the fast food restaurant, the grocer mart, or Johnson's Farm Market. Mm. Oh, the, the grocer mart is getting them the best price. Yep, November 22nd this one will come out. So just on Monday for all of you. Wait, are, you can pick up two of those at a time. Oh, there we go. Weird. Yeah, the forks are just long enough. What other options do we have for forklifts? Uh, there's, uh, there's a diesel one. one which uh, Linda. is the same as the 19. So we have a <coughs> bunch... Yeah, telehandlers seem too big here. I'm glad they added so many little things. Oh, here we go. Well, we have front loaders that are the the little boys. Well, actually, that's the big boy. But wow, that little that little thing that you bought, Rick, is like thirty thousand dollars. That little articulated loader. Yeah, and if you want the if you want the electric one, it's fifty. Oh, that one's Those the strings are expensive. Wait, that's the yeah. electric. Oh yeah, you're right. Thirteen kilowatt hours versus forty liters. Oh, the electric okay, one also I has more horsepower. In the Raptor's truck? Uh, yeah, you can. We'll sell them to two different locations. We'll, we'll do some half loads. And... If we speed up time again, there's loads more still. There's still 60,000 wheat left. Oh, okay. We're going to use like 10,000 of it, and I've made these all these pallets. Well, we'll be, uh... Well, I know. Do do one more load of Harry's, and then we'll load mine, and then we'll just go to two different locations. Because the faster we finish this, we can go to the French map, which oh, will be we, cool. We can uh, go visit Alex. Yeah, we can go visit Alex. In his uh, his winery. Okay, Harry, why don't you go ahead and load up and head out to one of the destinations? That you'd like, and then I'll go somewhere else too, and then we'll go check out the French map, and then we'll go, we'll take a look at a, one of the new maps, another new map, and then we'll also do some logging and uh, some grape harvesting. That should be cool. Can we make a road train? Yep. Well, I don't, I don't know. It seems pretty impossible. It's the tractor trailers really don't have a lot of power in real life. They could barely, you know, get up a 0 0.111 percent uh, incline. Oh, that other thing I was doing. That was pulled perfectly fine by the tractor. We'll see about that further. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go sell this at the grocery mart, wherever that is. You're gonna go to the grocery oh, store? There. Yep, that's the one that we saw in the, the massive storm. Hmm. I wonder where I should go next. So how do we open this? Ah. Not um, Z to open it, and with U you can select if it goes to the left front, left back, right front, or right back. Oh, I got it. Also open the rear doors. Yeah, let me see if I can open the rear doors and the... Oh yeah, you can do both. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, good job with transporting this up here, Rick. That was a really cool way to do that. I would not recommend doing it uh, like that. No. Uh, outside of the game. The straps work now, though, don't they? The what now? The straps. If you lock it down, it works now. Yes, if you put a, if you put any vehicle now on like a trailer like this, put straps on it, it'll it'll lock it right down. So that's nice. How come the right side did not open? Uh, because he was loading on the left side. You can you can open both sides, and the back. New member. What they call a curtain trailer. Yeah, curtain cider. Cider. So it kind of like it pull pull pulls back there. 
Uh, Shiko with the 14 months is a little raptor. 14 years? Wow. Yeah, I wish. You, I wish. But you're approaching, uh, well, you're getting closer now to the two year. Almost to 24 months. Not long now. You're on your way. That is cool, man. And more coffee. Alright, we're going to figure out where we're going to go. So that's there the whole production go. chain thing. And so this will be the same with, like, grapes, right? Like, I think grapes are made into raisins in the game, because, you know, if they if yeah, they made it alcoholic, point, it, yeah. they would have to raise the the thing. So so you take grapes to the, to the raisinery or whatever, and then you bring it to, like, a grocery store or, like, a cafe or something. There'll probably be a winery mod soon enough. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, all you do is just change how the boxes look. That's it. Nice. Yeah. 12,000 for a flower. 13,000. How do you get unlimited money in the game? Watch on Monday. I'll put out a video on how to do that when it comes out for everybody. It'll probably be one of my most popular videos because it's, ve it's very easy, but it's just like, it's three easy steps, basically. Doing a wheelie with the pickup. <laughs> so we can filter our map to look at... Locations, right? Productions. Or wait, what do they call it when you can deliver to a place? Is it still called production? Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, because no, there's not. the... Oh, there's the bakery. I'll deliver to the bakery, which is near the house. I'll go make some bread down at that bakery. I want to take the highway, though. So I'm going to take the long way and, and go to the highway. Is there an off-ramp there? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll exit left... And then get on the highway, and then go south, <laughs> and take the first exit to the bakery. I can't stay here. Brick. How did you get here in the first place? Uh, this is a little bit more forward. The most realistic simulator ever. Actually, oh, that is pretty realistic if you tried to do that. That probably would yeah. end up happening. Uh, it's probably break your truck. Unless you have, like, a gooseneck. True. Oh no, too far. <laughs> Hold up. Let me let me strap it down. Let me strap it down. <laughs> oh, <fast. laughs> oh wow! Right into the telephone pole. I had no steering. Unstrap. Good job, boys. All right, I'm gonna struggle to carry. There a... you go. I'm going to the bakery. That's where I'm gonna go. The brew bakery. Oh. This makes your farming though. Like before, you used to just sell oh. your stuff for money. But, but now there's like a little logistics company on the side. I, I mean, love, I love to, yeah. You used but to I just make money from that. Down. Hmm? Yeah. When you strap it down, it starts. Um, it really starts like noticing, like, oh my god, that's a lot of weight, and it immediately pulls it onto its rear tires. Oh yeah. Uh, but I was just saying how I like how the the game is now full cir uh, circle in terms of like when you plant a seed of, you know, if you if you're planting corn. There's a full circle of that corn then eventually being sold as like canned corn or something like that at the grocery <laughs> store. And you get to deliver it too. You get to deliver it. I just left Harry with the forklift. Wow, this is a beautiful road. What a what a lovely little drive it is, this side road. It's very realistic to some locations in the Midwest, too. Although, what is this? Wait, is this under construction? Oh, they're building a highway on-ramp. Oh. They haven't finished the, um... Oh, I see, yeah. Because because that's off the map, there's no reason for it to be here. So it's like they're building an off-ramp from the highway up here. But there is an on-ramp. That's cool. I wonder why that was there. Uh, can you double stack pallets onto the trailers? Um, maybe. Because if you can strap it down, I could imagine that if you strap it down, oh, yeah, everything yeah. strapped above will lock down. Yeah, you can double stack. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Manure spreaders? Are you curious if they have the one that I use in real life? A Fent 1930? Uh, I don't think they have Fent manure spreaders. Actually, we're going way too fast. Let me let me throw on cruise control, because this is just speedy, boy. I don't need to be this fast. 40 in this game feels like 80. Farmtech, Branter, Breary, Kuhn, Ave, Samson, Bergman, Samson, and Stroutman. 
Only manure spreaders. Wow, this is beautiful. This feels like a trucking sim right here. That's awesome. Very satisfying. There's the road to Ravenport. Oh, he didn't mean a fence manure spreader. Yes. Student line spreader. Yeah. Very satisfying, very, very pog lad. Wow, look at that, man, that sun coming up like that is just beautiful. Very gorgeous. Hi. What's the button for turn signals? Uh, one, two, and three on your number pad. So if you press uh, one, it'll be left, three is right, and two is hazards. Speed limit here is, oh, it's 50 here? No, nah, it's gonna be a speed trap. It'll go like 50, 40, then 10. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to do 30 because I'm in no rush. The bakery's right up here anyway. Oh, so we have a little like... Uh, oh, we got a diner. Yeah, there's a diner there. I think that's a point where you can deliver... Yeah, did you see that, Rick? On the back side of the diner, there's yeah. a little delivery point. Though I don't know what you'd bring there. Maybe like potatoes and stuff or mashed potatoes and whatnot. This is... Oh, this is the fire department. This is the... Oh, this is the toy store. I think the bakery is right here. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, that's your favorite vehicle. Is that the bakery there, Harry? It is, yeah. Oh, oh boy. that's a bully. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we show off the pre-order? Uh, how does how are we going to get that pre-order, boys? I've seen it in the, the DLC content, but I think we'll only get it Wait. Um, when we get the Steam version. You have to drop it where the icon is. Oh, we have to drop it here? But what's yeah. this for, then? Wait. Can we take a forklift and drop things here? Wait, what's... What's... Oh, oh wait, is this I... where bread is made? Oh! oh look, we can... Yeah, cause it's, oh, yeah, because it's the bakery, yeah. Yeah, so then... Yeah, we can... Do, so they don't just make bread and sell it. We we can... So there's another level to the production yeah. chain. And we just bought the bakery. So we... Oh, we can buy the bakery, too? Oh, so you can buy all the yeah. buildings and stuff. That's cool. So that means flour goes to the mill... Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, grain goes to oh. the mill, flour goes to the bakery, and then you can deliver the bread to like the the grocery oh. store. Oh, that's so to make cool. Bread. To make bread, we uh, we need flour, sugar, milk, eggs, butter. Oh, and really? It's not just flour, and we're good. Oh no, hold on. Flour. Is that, I think no, that's for cake. Is for bread. And, oh wait. Yeah, the rest is for cake. Oh, okay. So we can cake also do flour, sugar, milk, eggs, butter, and strawberries. That's so cool, because then we can use everything we make. That means you could have a farm just dedicated off supporting the bakery that can then sell. Like it kind of, you know, it's and a little, bread, it's I'm a little too big to be able to, you know, like the farm to just do one bakery. But just think about you doing like a national distribution, right? Yeah. yeah. And then bread goes for even more, which is is five grand instead of fifteen hundred. Wow. Flour was. Also, there's not just a single type of flour. Uh, oh really? There's wheat flour, barley flour, oh. oat flour, and sorghum flour. Oh. Which is the new crop. I wonder, uh, one of the new crops. Does that give us different amounts of money, or what's different? Do they require um, different ingredients? Different, um... 150 units of uh, grain of wheat brings 120 flour. 150 units of barley brings 130 flour. Wait a flour. minute. I can't just drop this off here. Don't I need a forklift? No, it will, it will take it off for you. Will it? Yeah, that's what done for me. You can hear it. Oh, I did hear uh, something. Wait, you know, I open the back doors. For you. Oh, you I open the back doors. You go to the back and have a look. Your best of belongs to me. So wait, do you have to back over the icon, or how does that yeah. work? 
Oh, wait, do you have to unstrap it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, that's so cool, dude. Oh, that's what that noise was. That's awesome. That's really cool. And now so if you come to the front, it will, it will show you saying that, that we have 3,900 flour. Is there a way we can check these stats in the menus, too? Like, if you yeah, had multiple buildings? If you go... It's the one with the conveyor belt near the bottom. Uh, production. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's your oat... Fl oh, we can do oats, too. Oh, so it shows you, like... Oat produces 150 to 188. Wheat is 150 to 120. So oat would create a lot of flour. And there you go. Bakery makes bread. So then we can sell the bread at the... Uh... Does it tell you where exactly these materials can go, though? Like, I would assume the bread could go to the supermarket or the... Wait, what other map locations could it go to? Hello? Well, I don't know, actually. So there's the Grocery Mart. You, know, you can see where it, where it gets sold to. Maybe the fast food? Oh, can you? Wait, where? If you... I just had the up then. So yeah, if you go to like the... Um, above where the tractor is. On the left hand side. It's near the top. Near the top? It's got like, it's got like bars going up. It's the, oh, it's I the see. fourth one down from the top. If you scroll down to bread. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So we can sell it to the... Oh, there's a bowling alley that will serve it. The farmer's market and the grocery mart. Okay. And the and the price for the grocery mart is going up. But right now, the restaurant will buy it for the most. That's cool. Flour you can sell to the bakery, fast food restaurant, grocery mart, or Johnson's Farmer's Markets. Okay. That's great. Oh, grape juice is what we can make, in addition to raisins. Raisins sell for quite a bit, too. 4,200. You're going to make... That's so cool. There's way way more ways to make way make more money, money in this game. Yeah. yeah, and then there's way more money, like, things to actually spend it on, rather than just the biggest piece of equipment to just generate endless amounts yeah. of money. Oh, we can also make oils, too. We can make canola oil now, not just yeah. sell it. So sunflower, canola, and olive oil. Where Where does that get made at? Uh, Let's see, canola. Oh, no, probably no, the oil also, mill. Yeah, you can also like buy these kinds of things yourself. Where's the oil mill? Yeah, you can place them down. And yes. The... True. The construction tab. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can put. Yeah, so you can have like well, your own. Just around the corner from the shop. You can have your right own side. carpentry build. Oh, wait a minute, Harry. That means that for logging. Yeah. For dude, logging, you take it to the. That, yeah, that means that now instead of just selling the logs and that's it, when they do the when they do mods for that, that means that you could probably do logs to lumber and then haul the lumber to like a like a furniture thing and then ship the furniture to a store, and there could be like a big highway oh, yeah, going can, through a forest. Furniture. Yeah, because there's a carpentry building, so I would assume yeah. that's all sorts furniture, of different furniture wood. and wood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, the excitement grows. I'm loving this. But now, question, Harry. There's yeah. a carpentry building on this map, but there's like no real tree. Oh, there are trees actually, over yeah. to the left side of the map. I didn't notice that before. Hmm, it's kind of a little, little small tree grove. But I think we should go to the France map. What do you guys think? Yeah, there's a little more. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. All right, we'll we'll save this map here. We're gonna go start a uh, another new save and see even more tractors and such that you guys didn't see before. So let's go take a look at the new map. We'll come back here shortly, and we'll continue on, and then we'll do some more stuff with. Uh, We'll do some more stuff with the, um, what, what do you guys think we should do next? Maybe, uh, man, maybe we'll do animals here. We'll do uh, some animals. All right, let's jump over to the France map, shall we? Yes. Oh, you can stack. Oh, yeah, you can jump on each other's heads. There we go, that's yeah. what I was looking for. Yeah, maybe there'll be more crops in the future. I, I agree. It's possible. All right, we're going to Hout Baileron. This is apparently uh, the French Riviera or like near the Mediterranean. So south uh, of France, basically. Region. Drive the train. Well, the American map is not so interesting, but the French map is pretty beautiful, to be honest. But we'll drive the train too. Keep your requests coming, chat. Keep giving us ideas. And if we forget, just keep reminding us. 
because there, there's a lot going on and it's cool. All right, let's jump into this map. Ooh, a new map, boys. Wow, would you look at that. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to France. This is awesome. I'm going to show you guys this stealth bomber one. Check out this stealth bomber tractor. Yeah, it looks like a stealth bomber, man. Did you load it up as a multiplayer? I think I did. Did I load Did I load single player? I'm sorry, I my excitement. I think you did, yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. Interesting. I can see... Alex is a... in the chat. Oh. Uh. Oh, I got so excited. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Alex gonna join us. My boys, come on in. Password and such should be the same, so... Can you, say, can you sell grain by itself? Well, yeah, because you don't have to necessarily bring the thing to the next thing. So if all you have is equipment to sell grain to the flour mill, but you don't have anything else to bring the flour to, like, a bakery, then, yeah, you can do that. However, it's not too difficult to, like, get a flatbed and take a couple of trips, right? So do we want to do grapes, I presume? Mm-hmm. I don't... I'm not sure if there is any actually placed. Oh, let's see. Because you have to do it in, like, the construction phase. Oh, this farm has zero dollars. Uh-oh. Wait, did I... Oh, no. I created a new map, but I... Uh-oh, let me check real quick. You might have not used and... the save. I may have not used your save. Let me let me check one, one more again. One more again. Create game. Oh. If there are no graves, we can, like, just um, plant them, and we start, like, tending for them, like, spraying them. Yeah, that's true. Because they're special sprayers. It's on the very end. Wait, is it the very end? But the very end is the Elm Crest one. Oh, is it? Or Elm Creek, yeah. Oh. Let me check. If not, I should be able to quickly update it. Yeah, prepare to do a quick update just in case. Mm, yep, might be a good idea to do a quick update. Uh -huh. But while you do that, I'm going to take a look around this new farm. It'll only take like a second or two anyway. Let's see, my farm. Kind of funny how it started with me, me with zero. Shouldn't we start with at least like a, a hundred thousand? Yeah, you must have hit zero somehow or something. Yeah, otherwise it'd be some money. So I definitely got your file. We'll go drive the train, chat. Let's let's do that while we wait for Harry. It'll only be a second. Oh, but look at these old tractors too. Nice. We're in France now. Oh, Alex. Oh, it's, uh, remember, it's Harry, but the lowercase and then all capitals. Um, yeah, that's not working for me. That's no, okay. I'm gonna have to restart anyway, because, you know. Yeah. So just give me a sec. Take a little break if you need to. Alright, we're gonna go to the train. And oh, we're going Alex to... still has tangies to download. Oh, Alex, come join us, man. I, I want to play this with you. I want to play with Jerry too. I, I like when things come down to military operation levels, and I, I like when everybody's doing their job and things are just going smoothly, and we're making some money. The goofing off is fun too, but that's got to come after the work. Does the beacon light work on consoles? I'm pretty sure that all that stuff would work. I don't. I don't know of any yeah. reason why that, why the lighting and stuff wouldn't work. Okay, so we've ordered the train now, so it actually has to arrive. Oh, I canceled it. There it is. We'll see the uh, the train come, and we'll go drive through the French Riviera. Playing tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be playing again in the PM, and we'll be playing all day tomorrow, too, I think. And then we'll do... There's a Star Citizen event today as well that I'd like to do. So, I guess if you guys want to see more Farming Sims, smash the like, and we'll make Farming Sim a priority. This is pretty damn amazing, to be honest. Plus, Star Citizen. we get a lot of time to see the game before it's full release. So if there's something you guys don't like, or if you weren't interested, but then something, something catches your eye, and you're like, oh, now I'm down... Then we can do that, too. How far away is this darn train? Train is going to arrive soon. 500 meters. It's going to come over that hill in a minute. Should be. Why is that not working? One too many zeros, question mark. Train? Hello? Oh, it's reversing. <laughs> Jebate. Over you from behind. I thought, yeah, I thought the train would actually, uh, 
I thought the train would actually like loop around and come back. I didn't know it was on like a solo loop. Anyway. I like how they have a different train on this map, the American one. Yeah, they have a different train and the... Yeah, the, the American train is kind of boring, but the French one is American cool. American was a diesel locomotive, I think. Yeah, true. This one's all electric. But the nice thing is, too, in this game is that you can control the train and you can actually open the hoppers for grain and stuff. And you, you can actually use the train. Like, you can... Uh, if you're loading up, like, a bunch of sugar beets or something like that, you can actually dump them next to the train and then use another thing to load them into the train. And it's pretty cool. So let's... Take a little look at the French countryside. Oh, look at that. There's little hot air balloons going, too. Oh, magnifique. Très bien, Alex. Magnifique. Très bien. It's, it's wonderful. Alex's natural habitat. Look at him. Well, air balloon? <laughs> I feel bad, man. I uh, I tried so hard to get Alex in for a little while. we we got to play with you, man. Please, please, please come on in. As soon well, as you he'll can. be around for the Star Citizen stream, right? Well, because, you know, he's got that downloaded, though. Mandatory download. This is nice. What's up, Tristan? Good to see you. We're just modifying a save file right now to have unlimited money in it so we can, again, buy a ton of tractors. And then we're going to do some uh, olive and uh, grape harvesting. And then maybe do some logging here, too. I put one too many zeros. Oh, did you? Oh, I just, all, yep. I just do all nines. So you put too many zeros and we went bankrupt? Yep. <laughs> Alright, let me upload it. Nah, it's all good. Alex, you ever you ever been to the French Riviera? Is it is it as romantic and beautiful as they say? That speedometer spazzing out though from twenty one to twenty, look at that. That looks beautiful. Let's take a look at the map too if you guys want to see the uh, layout of the map. Here's basically uh, a large river that swings through from the south to the west and then a railroad that comes in from the east, swings around the middle. Beautiful town in the center. Beautiful little French town in the middle. Make and sure you delete save game 19. A gorgeous little uh, castle. Oh, with a new one. are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's modify a file and then let's play some more multiplayer. Let's see what's the best way to exit. Is it the gear? It's really weird. I find that you can't exit on all of them. Yeah, you can't exit on all the menus. You got to find like a specific it's annoying, menu. Yeah. Like you can't exit from the map menu. You got to go to the crop calendar menu, which is like question mark. Okay, let's see. Okay, so just stand by for Uno Momento as I have to download a quick file from Harry. This is a good time, chat, to click or tap that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Become a member it today. Won't get to 900 likes, impossible. Now, there's no way chat will get to 900. You're right. It's it's a lofty goal, and I don't know if they want to see more farming. Farming, to be honest, is kind of boring, and there's not a lot of equipment and. There's like, what, two, maybe three tractors in all the farming? Yeah. There's like a medium-sized bud. I think it's one of the tractors I remember hearing about. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, couldn't I just modify your save file that you gave me? Yeah, you probably could. Wait, let me just do that. That'll be way easier than downloading all your stuff again. Yeah. Just go into farms and just edit. Hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna do my own editing trick and let's see if it works. <laughs> see if you remembered out this tutorial. Yeah, let, let me see if I can remember my tutorial. And we can clip it and turn it into a short. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yo, yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, Algorithm. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, we're good. We are good, folks. Poglad, Poglad, Poglad. That is awesome. We are good to go. Okay, that should have fixed everything. Let's see if it worked. All right, this time I'm going to fix the titling too, by the way. So, uh, meaning the, the password will just be Harry. Harry with or the capital. AI or Harry is in the name? Uh, you, Harry. you choose. Harry. Harry. All right, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do grape farming. We're gonna find grapes. If we don't find grapes immediately planted, we're gonna go do some big old logging. Uh, and 
That right. means we can do a setup, uh, Rick, or Harry. We can do the uh, oh, little practice for our oversized cargo load up, which will be funny. Ooh, that's already sorted through the uh, wood chip bridge. What? Mine still says zero. Wait, it's because I adjusted the farm. We're good. All right, we are good. Come on in, boys. Can't join the farm. Come on oh, in and break. join the farm. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves some grapes to harvest. Them French love them grapes. All right, it's purple. Purpolis. Ooh. I don't see any ready to go. <gasps> Japanese tractor in. I don't see uh, grapes and I don't see olives planted. Well, we can figure out how to plant those. How do we do that? You have to do it in other construction. Mm. In the, when you press P. Where could we do it? You have to buy it. You could do it any field. As long as it's like cultivated, uh, I think. Buy a large field and then just like put down several lines of uh, grape trees. Where's or a good or olives? Where, where's a good field to do that? Forty-four. Yeah, looks good. Could you uh, give us farm manager? Oh yeah. Uh, Rick, you have to join our farm. Yeah. Rick. Oh, well, he just I'm, joined. I'm in a character customization. Rick. Yeah, check out the character customization too. And at any time, you can change your outfit, which sounds kind of dumb, but like, bro, you can be a freaking beekeeper. Rick enjoys. Like the moment you go do something, in your little bee, like you can create little cool pictures and make it more customizable. You can ride a horse with a horse riding outfit. Or just throw on the overalls if you're going to go work out in the sun or something. Cool. Can you make wine? Uh, chat usually does if I don't do what they want. Uh, what, 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 what are we doing at? Uh, field 44? Where do I see? Where it's we? to the right of our current location. It's on the far right of the map oh, yeah, in I the see. bottom. I think that's a good field, right? Yeah, I bought it. Oh, too bad we can't like teleport to a... Alright, I'm going to see if... How we do it? Oh, this is 44. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good for grapes, right? Maybe. Yeah, you can make grape juice and uh, raisins, which it's it's freaking wine. But if they said it was wine, the moment they use the word wine, then they owe France money because they invented it. No, it's because it'll raise the uh, age group of it. It'll have alcohol, and then they'll have to put an alcohol warning on it, and it's just like it, legality purposes. But you know, laws and such are perfect in every way. All right, so how do you make tractor for the winery? How do we make that? Uh, I'm just trying to oh. remember how. Wait, went I through it in a video. I think I see stones in the field. Oh, we have to go. Oh, we can use a stone picker. Oh, for Rick, this. yeah, go get a stone picker. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, let's see that. Go find one that would be cool for that one. Maybe a medium-sized one? Or maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Depending on how wide they are. This is going to be cool. Does it feel a lot smoother on multiplayer? Well, let me ask the boys. Oh, there went Alex's car. He's driving through town. How does multiplayer feel for you guys? Uh, it's That's nice good. to see the sinking a whole lot quicker. It's like two seconds. You don't even yeah. notice it. We're, we're on a farm, not on sea. Grapes need a trellis. Yes, we can put the. Uh, we can. So yeah, that's kind of weird how it's done. So apparently, how do you do this, Rick? Again, where, where's the? Uh, I go to construction. Um, orchards. Orchards, yes. But I don't want to put that down until you've mined out the stones. And I don't think stones would really matter on the. Uh, I don't think stones would matter on the open field, would it? I don't Not think really so. Thing, but we can try out the stone picker. Have them away. Yeah, I, I want to see the stone picker in action. And then we have to buy some big grape equ equipment. Some. Oh my god. What is this stuff? That's a uh, orchard tractor. It's small. Is it, oh, is this for picking the. Uh... I I'm not sure what the device is used for. Uh, this one here is like in, when it's in the winter, you have to like. You have to like Flip shred it. them back. Oh, yeah. To get rid of like the leaves and stuff. Mm. Okay, I got the stone. This one's a sprayer. No, we'll go ahead and drive that area. I'll drive one of the harvesters, I guess. Oh yeah, baby, grape harvest. 
So you, you drive between the uh, rows and then it'll pick all the grapes here. And, uh... Boy, how do you offload the grapes? Can this thing hold them all? It's uh, like you, a, a large It tips dipper. up the back, yeah. Oh. Special dippers, too. Do oh, do we, need the, a, do we need the, a piece of equipment for that, too? It's a special trailer you need. Oh God. What... Does it pull behind this thing? Uh, no, it's... I don't know, if, Rick, if you know what it is. It's underneath the grape harv uh, the, um, grape implements. Grape implements, all right. Like uh, grape technology. Grape technology. All right, let's find grape technology. It's a sweet idea. Sugarcane technology, beet, potato, cotton, grape. Is there anything new for cotton? No. Uh, uh, yeah, there's some new things. trailers. Yeah, there's something called a cotton tag trailer for 89,000. Yeah. Whoa. Like a, a bit, an automatic bail loader, but for cotton. Oh, that's cool. All right, there's grape technology. Oh, there's the bins. Let's grab a medium sized one. I don't want to go too big. I think medium is probably a good size for that field. So does the, um... Okay, so we need a tractor to haul over the grape thing. Oh, that's adorable. Wow, it looks like a booster on the back of your tractor. <laughs> it's a rocket booster. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing looks like a rocket engine. So wait, what is in this tank here? Is this, um... Uh, fertilizer. Uh, herbicides herbicides herbicides. Herbicides. Oh, does this thing fertilize too? Yep. And wait. fertilize it. Yeah. Wait, how? You know, i show you. It sprays it. Like the fan, the fan blows out the. Uh, oh, out of the back the it fertilizes. Oh, I was thinking there was something on the on the front of it. Uh, how do you have so much money? Oh, we're just good at YouTubing. We're very good YouTubers. This is a uh, link to Raptor's bank account. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, oil seed radish. That's the thing I was thinking of before. That's what you can break in the uh, to create more fertile ground. All right, well let's drive this big thing. Oh, this thing is awesome, dude! Look at that. <laughs> now we're like we're we're high harvesting uh, imaginary fruits on uh, the Mars Martian surface. Be you there? Oh boy, I think I have a max speed of 15. Harry, please don't go too fast. I don't want to get lost. I'm in France. I don't want to like. This little thing has a max speed of 26. <laughs> Harry, please, no. Bye bye. Oh, you're picking up stones, Rick. Yeah. Nice. Now, wait, when you pick up stones, Rick, how. Now, how does this work? Uh, are you stone picking? Are you just gonna drop them in a pile on the ground oh, and we have. That's so sick. Yeah. Oh, and then we actually have to. Wait, can we bring over like a. Uh, like a JCB or something, and pick them up and put them in a bu uh, in a trailer. Yeah, I what? imagine so. Harry, you know what to do. Grab a little scooper and a little trailer or something. Bro, look at this sprayer. Nice, you did very good, but we can't use it until later. Oh God, it's in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's a low suit. Right. All right, buy let's jump back order. to the to the shop and see what else we can get. I, oh, while you're while you're making a, a purchase on what you'd like to buy, I want to see. That's an expensive purchase. Paige, thanks for the five. Hope you're enjoying the game. Thank you for streaming it to us. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is the stone picker. Yeah. Those. Um, oh, there like they are. Uh, Hope you're the enjoying the game. Like claws Thank you out. for streaming it to us. Now, uh, Harry, didn't you tell me that you could uh, sell the stones too? Yes, to the crusher. It crushes oh. them up. Oh, what's the whole production chain for the crusher? We're going to build a road? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. See, now, because this is here in vanilla, imagine the amount of mods that mod makers can make. Like, they, they might actually be able to make a construction simulator out of this. Because if they if they change certain items to be, you know, like if they put in concrete... I mean, we had so much stuff before. We had concrete, we had all sorts of crazy stuff. Let's see. Look, I will now... There's the stones. 
Oh wow. It actually goes up for us. It's a high tipper. Oh dude. I hope for sure you just high tip that into a trailer. Uh he did it into a onto the ground, but yeah, I think you can do it into a trailer. Can you pick what them up again? Pick oh up look, again, like it this. actually terraformed a bit. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, if you drive over uh, heaps, it actually like flattens out like silence. See if you can pick all that up again. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, maybe a, maybe a bucket can pick that up. Yeah. All right, well, let's get our field done, and then let's plant grapes. You actually made a lot of progress, Rick. What'd you make, like eight passes? Yeah. Uh, you missed a, f a few spots, but it's not too big of a deal. Plus, we're working with I, grapes, I which will be like off the, the ground. Uh, should I put down the grapes, the grapevines? Mm, well, I think Harry's bringing over a thing, so at least fill him up so we can see the uh, the production chain on that. And then okay. then let's put down some grapes. I, I want to see grape harvesting, too. Dude, that's really cool, because then, like, if, if you're just interested in only doing a, a vineyard, you know, for a while, then you could do the grape-only stuff. You come in... You use you subscribe to the channel so that way you know how to get that much money up there in the upper right corner. So that way, once the time comes, you and friends can uh, make a, a lovely little vineyard. Oh, I want somebody to make a custom little tiny cozy map. Like, not too big, but just for vineyards only. Keep in mind, these maps are made so that way, you know, pretty much every crop in the game can be grown. But, man, it'd be, it'd be nice to make a little cozy, like, up here. Oh look, it's I'm Alex's sure car. It's every French car ever. Uh, Citroen C2. Or CV2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we can... Oh, this would be perfect. Delete delete these fields and make these... Oh, actually, these are a little too big. Maybe 24. No, even 24 looks too big. 17? I don't know. Pick a small field, put some, put some grapes in it. I'd like to see a lot of little fields, and then boom. Make that money. I'm loving it. What's up, Rudy? Good to see you. Is Lude in chat? Where's Lude? Oh, there you are. What's up, Lude? How you doing? Hey. Welcome to Farming Simulator 22. You have to subscribe in order to find out how to get that much money in the game. Well, I say hey, that because I'll be releasing a video on Monday on how to do that. So if you want to know how to get oh, yeah. that money, just, uh, just let me subscribe. Check your buckets. And it'll yeah, come I'm just out. Trying to line up. Well, can you do it that way? Can you offload directly to a bucket? I think that's too cool to work. Oh, really? There's no way that would work because it's too cool of an idea. Love the JCB yeah. you chose. I go. love these small to medium sized vehicles, dude. They don't break the bank, and sometimes there's not. It's not necessary to pick that many. Oh, wait, it freaking worked! <laughs> it worked! That's Poglad. All right, Rick, finish finish up the field. All right, two more minutes, and then we'll start planting some uh, some grapes, and then we'll see if we can harvest them. And then we're going to go do logging, and that's going to be cool, too. That's amazing. That's Poglad. Hey, Rick, you want to go try the bigger stone uh, harvester? and see? Is this the big one? It's the biggest one. Oh, that's the biggest one. Okay. Uh, want to try the smaller one? Uh, they, they Hell no. They have a different type of sheep. Wait, what? They look a lot different, the smaller ones. Oh. Um, Harry now? Uh, oh, wow. What if you uh, use this one, Raptor? I'll get a smaller one to help. Okay, I'll, I'll take over. And we can uh, have a look at that one too. Roger that, brother. What's the max speed for this thing? Uh, it'll just like limit your max speed. Oh, okay. Five. Well, I'll go do a few rounds. That was about like 9 miles an hour. Well, not too bad. Safety initiated. Okay, I will be honest, the fact that you can remove stones is pretty cool. You don't know why you're watching this? No regrets? That's good. Uh, this game is just starting to get more and more, like, uh, satisfying, like, how uh, Transport Fever and those whole logistics simulators are s satisfying, because, honestly, Farming Simulator was getting exhausting and boring because of the kind of... It was like... It was like same stuff, different maps, like slightly different stuff. But this this is a big jump forward. I like this. It's just a lot of fun. It's a great game. 
But once it comes out on Monday, it's dead. Now we gotta look forward to farming some 24. What do you think they would even do in the next next game? Uh, I I'm farming on Mars. <laughs> I, I'm wondering farming. like what they would end up doing. Slicing the moon to pieces is made of cheese. Like I'm wondering how they would do it. I don't know. Anything's possible. That's what Millennial Farmer has. Well, that's true. Yeah, cross-platform is a thing, and um, there's a lot more options now for placing down pig. And like, what I want to do now, like I, 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 I'm enjoying streaming this for you guys, but I also want to like stop and go build a farm, and just like do a time-lapse farm build. Oh, here's the. Um, oh, that's interesting, Rick. Yeah. That's the smaller one. So that's picking it's up stones like too and just tossing them into the back. It's that's like the small one. Out of the ground. Uh, this is the, the middle side. That the seems just. Um, is the same but just smaller. That thing's cool. Yeah, this will yeah. be crossplay. We're not playing crossplay, but the game is. Yes. All right, well, I'm gonna go work the edges. I'm not sure how important it is to uh, get stones out of the ground of a vineyard because the vines will grow off the ground. But yeah. you know. I don't think it's very important for a vineyard, but it's fine. We'll do, we'll do a couple more passes just to fill up uh, Harry's bucket, and then we'll go see what it's like to go sell to the Stone Crusher. Which means, is there a quarry on the map, Harry? Um, dude, Farming Sim needs to have mining and construction. And Dude, could you imagine if you had to build a barn in the game, so you had to go to the forest to cut down your own trees, to then make lumber, and then bring it to the construction site of your of your farm? Oh, you, just, you just sell it straight to the Debris cr Crusher. Hmm. Dude, imagine making your fortune in stones. Oh. oh. I think that idea really rocks. <laughs> uh, do you make do you make money for helping another player with his or her farm? Uh, I don't think you can like give money like between farms, but you can do contracts for like AI, AI uh... quests, or like a, a an NPC in the world will give you a quest to help them with something. It would be kind of cool if you could give money to other. Yeah, that'd be a nice little feature, to give money to other farms. Damn, the cabin's so smooth, too, with the, like, the bumping up and down of... Like, just that suspension is just lit. Damn, there's a lot of rocks here. This thing's gonna be full, full. <laughs> Harry driving around. I wonder if I can do, like, can I do a mid-air refueling, Harry? Do you think I can, oh, like... let's try, let's try. I, I doubt know. it, because it won't allow you to pick up anymore. Yeah. I have to do... Uh, I'm coming to a stop. Stand by. Three, two, one. Stopping. Okay. Um, how did you offload, Rick? Is it just unload here? Uh, yeah. No, it unloads here. It actually brings it to the... Uh, throws it on the ground. Um, if he's got his bucket correctly, you can just hit I, but it will also notice you if that's... Oh, yeah, you're right. That is so cool that they thought of that. No need for an unnecessary, like, tipper trailer or something. That's so cool. How full is your bucket now, Harry? 27%. Wow, okay. So you could actually have, like, uh... A field this size, you could be, you could get the large one, probably 100% it, and then go off load to a bucket, and then boom, drive it over to the... I mean, it's kind of a little tedious to drive that, but gives gives a purpose for small trailers. There's all these small jobs and stuff. I love it, dude. All right, uh, Rick, would you like to have the honors in making our first vineyard here in Farming Simulator 22? That uh, load of Harry. Huh? There we go. Oh, you're offloading to Harry? Alright, I'm going to go take us to the Debris Crusher. Alright, let me know when you're at the Debris Crusher. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Goofing off detected. <laughs> oh, man. I okay, Harry. Yes. <laughs> grow pumpkin, rice, beans, and strawberries. Well, you can grow strawberries inside the greenhouses, and that's required for making cakes. Uh, pumpkins, I don't think, are in the game. And rice would be cool. I'd love to have a little rice farm. 
And uh, cranberries and stuff would be cool too. No help, Rick. That's probably what they'll do <laughs> next is water. That, okay, Farming Sim start. 24 or a DLC will be water based farming. So, like rice and cranberries and things like that. Ooh, that would be really interesting. I agree. That's a really cool uh, machines for that stuff. Yeah, rice farming okay, is very see. cool. There's some really interesting little, like, paddling machines that they have for that. Cranberries, Thanksgiving's coming up, chat. Oh. One's in chat if you're a person who uh, celebrates Thanksgiving and you're excited. And or Canadian and already celebrated. Canadians have theirs in October. Man, I'm excited. Can you all show off the corn maze? Yep, we'll go back to the uh, America uh, map. Right now we're in the European map, and this is pretty nice too. It's beautiful uh, to be here. Planted in August. Oh, should we switch the month? Yeah. Or wait, let me turn off the season restriction. Oh, or wait, okay. Harry, how do we? How should I do this? Yeah, Harry? you can't do that. Should I turn off seasons and then turn off? I think you just have to turn the top one off. Okay, that way we can grow in August. There's a Farming Sim 19 mod for uh, rice fields. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's see. So, where is that option, Harry? Uh, under the tractor. There we go. Seasonal growth, no. Yeah. Looks like there's three options. Yes, paused, and no. Oh, and then you can modify days per month, fix visual month, snow on... Also says that snow falls on the ground and can be moved by vehicles. I wonder if you can actually collect snow. Yeah, you can. You can pick it up. Oh, like in a bucket? In a bucket, then... yeah. Oh, okay. Do we need a truck to haul that stone? Well, apparently Harry can just drive it from the bucket to the uh, debris. Where, where is that, yeah, Harry? Yeah. Oh, you're there? Hold off. Yeah. Let me, let me see. I want to see the hot debris action. Where are you at? Where is that? Top of the map? Uh, it's like the middle. I think I found you. Hot debris action. They don't even like make a road to get back here. Nope. Alright. This is why you need the loader. I wonder how much money. Oh, yeah, you do need the loader, yeah, because. $240, that's all we got? Some stones. That wasn't any even enough for the fuel for the telehandler over here. Oh, wow. That is a ripoff. At least you made money, though. And it yeah. seems realistic. You're not going to make a lot of money from stone. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's no fortune in that. We're not building no a medieval castle. Stones. <laughs> yeah, there's no fortune in stones. Poor unfortunate stones. Well, that's something else. Okay, uh, Rick, have you begun? Did it work? Oh, you yeah. did. Oh, I see it. Oh, there goes the vineyard. So how does this work, Rick? Did you just place the rows, or how does that work? Uh, I think it should start growing from here. Uh-oh. Yeah, you Wait a minute. Yeah, you just have to sleep. Wait. Until it's, until it's ready to harvest. No, 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 no. Hold on. Rick. Yeah? Are you sure we can drive the tractor between these rows? Some yeah. of these look a little tight. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's uh, such a small tractor. Oh, cool. So there goes the grapevine right there. Okay. Well, keep keep on trucking. Let's do like a full uh, full set. Harry, what else might we need for grape production? Uh, also do olives, maybe. Best olives. Well, grapes or and olives will kind of be the same, right? Like they've both grown vines like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm with you. Like, I definitely would like to do olives sometimes. I think most of southern France uses olive oil, and north they use butter. It's kind of a cool separation between the two for right, what they prefer based like on what's there. available. Huh? I don't believe it's not. So, production... Selling points. So, farmer's market, pizzeria... Restaurant. Oh, the restaurant, of course. That'll take grape juice. Biomass heating plant, fast food restaurant. Oh, you can buy your own debris crusher, Harry. 
Oh, nice. That's cool. Ten thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna make any money from that. Okay, but that that would be another cool reason for like landslides to happen in the game, or some sort of a job where like you know. Yeah, you go pick up some stones. Yeah. Yeah, where somebody's like, hey, you know. Yeah, the uh, the small tractor is supposed to go between those rows too. Well, actually, yeah, we'll, I'm doing it right now. We'll do a little test to see if it fits. Does it fit? Yep. All right, perfect. I'm spraying it right now. Yeah, I just wasn't sure how much like. Uh, he had to do to get it to work, but h how does this work, Rick? Uh, basically, I just pick a point. Oh, you're just drawing I, like, lines? Click, and I'm drawing lines, yes. Oh, that's tedious as hell. So you gotta go back and forth. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess that's how it would have to be done in real life, too. You'd have to have uh, probably like a laser a thing to make a straight line and then have somebody walk it and then putting stakes X number of meters or centimeters or whatever. God. Olives grow on a small tree, not a vine. Well, what I mean is that, like, the grapes kind of... The grapes, when they grow, kind of create, like, a little bush, and it'll be the same with the olives. The only thing is that the, the grapes require, like, a... Well, grapes are a vine, so they'll grow like that. Olives will be kind of the... You know what I mean. Like, they're like olives little trees. Olives require a different uh, a harvester, actually. They're like mini trees. Okay. Well, this will be interesting to see. So let's get all these planted, and then we'll do a harvest and see if we can do that. Anything else we need to, like, take care of these? Harry seems to be very excited to do f fertilization for whatever reason. Yes. Tractor's there on standby. So here's our harvester. So I guess we'll bring this up to the top. Now, we don't really have to speed up time anymore. We, what we can do now is we can sleep and it'll change the... Um, it'll actually change to a different month. So a massive amount of time can be passed once we've done everything we need to do. Do we need to fertilize now, Harry? Or are you I using pesticide? No, I'm using fertilizer. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, fertilizing now would help. Is there like a way to view that on the map? Hmm. I think so. Let's see, filters. Yeah, it shows that I'm fertilizing it. Soil composition. Fertilized will turn blue. Yep, you're doing Let it. Let me just um, huh. fix this weird ground in between the all and... Oh yeah, the field over here needs weeding too. Is there new any, any new technology for getting out weeds? Um, there was. Oh, that's for grass fields. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> Wait a minute. Was that you, Rick? Yeah. Yeah, I was minute. so confused then. There's new packs. You, you yeah. notice the packs? So it, yeah. it separates it by, like, job type. That's if you just yeah. want to know. Like, yeah. But that's really helpful. Oh, there's. did you actually know there's a... A road salt machine? Yeah, that's what I yeah. had set up in the storm cleanup. Oh, yeah. So they have a recommended tractor. Oh, dude. That's really cool. If you don't know what's what now, you can just, like, oh, how do I make packs, chaff? Yeah. Boom, here. Here's some here's some things that do chaff. Oh, I want to do grapes. Boom, there's your grape set. Oh, they have another, uh... They have a smaller, another small tractor for that. Unless that was the one you bought. No, that's a different one. There we go. Wait, what's this, this like thing, better. then? Uh oh. That's a mulcher. Oh, is that for cutting them back too? Is that the same as the one you bought? I think that's that's for crop stubbles. Instead of um like tree tree stumps. Oh yeah, here it says uh, oh there's a subsoiler. <laughs> wow, there's a subsoiler just for grapes. That makes sense. Uh, mulchers can be used to crush crop stubbles. Uh, tools perfectly for grapes and olive farming. Okay. That's cool. Let's take a look at olives. Oh yeah. Okay. So some tech goes, okay, so yeah, if you're going to do grapes, you can do olives with, like, little, uh, just a little extra investment, not too much. All 
Ah, yes, of course. Boy, this is an appropriate music for what we're doing. Wait, how did the whole field just turn to grass? Uh, I did not Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine that rocks or stones would matter in a grape field, but we just did it just to show that off. Okay, now where'd that tiny tractor go? Oh, it, oh, you're fertilizing with it still? Yeah, you can do it if you want. You tab. Uh, sure, I can tab over. Uh, what trucks and trailers do they have for the transport of machines? Well, there's a lot of Mack trucks for transportation, and then there's a lot of uh, flatbeds and low boys and stuff. It really depends on what you want to transfer, because honestly, I mean, this little tractor that, I'm ha that I have right now, you could put this on a, like a tiny little trailer and haul it around if you wanted to. It'll save you some trips. Now, Harry, how would I know? Is there a way to change the minimap to know where I've uh, no. fertilized? Oh, that would be helpful if they did that. So I have to look manually then. Uh. <laughs> I can fit down here. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, oh I my god. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> I don't think... I... I I don't think that's how they do it, Harry. Oh, you never know. Uh, I can't see the fertiliz... I can't see fertilized anymore. No. Will the sim... Yeah, Harry, I can't put my grapes, fine at, grapes on anywhere because of your... Story. Will the new farm sim have community play? Yep, there's crossplay and such in the game. Oh yeah, I think it's because Rig covered it all with grass, I'm not sure. Oh. It's reset the fur, the fur fertility. No, I'm stuck, no. Alright, let's see. Well, I'll just, even if this has fer been fertilized or not, I'll just do it once and we'll call it good. Set a cruise control for this one. That's probably about yeah, eight, eight, nine miles an hour. Oh boy. Uh, that actually works. Oh, actually works. That's amazing. Oh, that's cool. Man, grape, grape harvesting is awesome. Yeah, there's uh, Mack trucks. There's also a man truck too. So if you're, but you can also use the dolly to haul things with a tractor if you'd like to. So if there's a piece of equipment that you want to bring around on a back road and don't really want to buy a truck and only have a tractor, you can do that. What the hell is that, Rick? What is that? Uh, that's Harry uh, spraying with the oh, well, not the right type of sprayer. That thing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I wonder, um, when we buy fertilizer or pesticide or whatever, do we have to buy, is it just fertil fertilizer's fertilizer, or do you have to buy it specific for each crop? Uh, fertilizer's fertilizer. Okay. I'm, I'm filling up a similar sprayer as you have with uh, pesticides now. Now, wait a minute. You know what would be really cool here is uh, to do an electric. Can we do, is there a little electric tractor? Will the electric tractor work here? I presume so. Maybe. Is it small? I don't, fit, I don't think it will fit between the rocks. Honestly, I don't think it's strong enough to pull this thing. That thing seems to be only good for like little. You know what I mean? Is there a way to check a tractor stats that we own? Uh, yeah. If you go to P and then go to garage and then you can see what you own. Oh, okay. So let's see. The horsepower of this thing is. Oh, we have two of these already. Wait, what? Yeah, Rick's got one. Oh, there's a. Yeah. There's a two. Oh, there's one that's 114 and one that's 79 horsepower. Am I in the 79? Yeah. Uh, I got the, the 114 one, I think. Okay. How much is the electric tractor? I, I'm just curious to see if it'll even work. Uh, small tractor. So this one's 80 kilowatt hours. So that's... Is that... Um, horsepower. Okay, so that should be about the same, right? 
Is it too wide to fit down the rows? Is it too wide? Oh yeah, it I looks so. pretty extra thick, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's got an extra Monk. it's got an extra Monkey seat void. in it too, yeah. Although it's small though, so it, it might be possible. But I think you're right. But honestly, look at how thick this uh fertilizer tank is, right? Like yeah. if it's the same thickness, I just want to test it, because it, it just seems to me really yeah. cool to be able to like use electric vehicles on a yeah. on a vineyard. It just seems cool, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, me myself personally, I think that's amazing. You do? Oh wow, you can do you can do dualies, <laughs> <laughs> bro. You can do dualies on the electro. Awesome, that's nice. That's really cool. Oh, that's 107 horsepower. Chat says. All right, I want to I want to try the electric one. That just seems cool to like use, just a little electric uh, tractor. It seems, it seems, it's obviously a little thicker, but I don't think it's any thicker than the, uh, than the, um, fertilizer. Alright, so as soon as we're done planting, we're going to then do a harvest. So we're going to do a grape harvest, so first time ever grape harvest. And then we can do... We're basically just practice, practicing for the videos that eventually we'll do too, because you know some people will see a four-hour, ten-hour, or hundred-hour video, and they'll be like, "No thanks." But we'll do specific videos on all these extra features too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, as we continue to show off all the new stuff of Farming Simulator 22. Can't believe it, Harry. Can't believe we can actually say it, and then that we're actually playing we're here. it. We're here. Yeah. We're not waiting three months ago. I still remember that. Still feels like I was, I'm waiting three months. True. Oh yeah, this tractor's still much smaller. I thought this tractor was small, but damn, that grape tractor. Imagine trying to start... Dude, gr great... The, the tiny tractor only challenge. <laughs> like running a farm with just one of those. Yeah, so this definitely works. Uh, yeah, so this will definitely be a thing. That's cool. I'm going to start at the bottom because I'll know that's not fertilized. So how many rows can you do at a time, Harry? Is it like one on each side? or? I think it's just one. And then it's like... One row at a time? Okay. So much more than farming simulator, this easy I setup? You True. Can, you can miss a row because you already do it at both sides. Oh, I got you, yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Oh yeah, these mirrors would be, these mirrors would be just clapping the side of those, uh, of those wood thingies. Even though this tractor is small, I still think it'd be better to use the other one now. However, I will say that any excuse to use this little uh, electric tractor is pretty cool. Because if you're gonna, if you want it and you're gonna buy it, you may as well try to get every single use out of it that you can. Maybe hire a worker for this? Let's actually see how they do. They just come to a full stop. They, they don't do anything. The worker gives up. I tried. Yeah, the mirrors pass through the... Uh, yeah. But I, I guess... Can you fold in mirrors, Harry, on tractors like that? You can. Uh, what, in IRL? Well, IRL I mean... You can. In game, I don't think you can. Uh. IRL, you can. Yeah, IRL, you'd probably be able to tuck them in. I, you wouldn't really need mirrors on something like this if you were paying attention. Oh, this is so mischievous. Yeah, I would say use the other one. You're not being realistic. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, just tuck the mirrors in. Just imagine that they're tucked in. But I hope they add more electric vehicles and stuff to it. It'd be really cool to see smaller equipment working like that. Hi, Jerry. Good to see you. Jerry. Oh, Jerry is here in time for Jerry the Jerry Red. Where did Rick go? Rick's here. Hi, Rick. Hi. Rick go. Where did Rick I rolled. go? I don't know. All right. Rick should rolled. we forward the seasons and do some harvesting? Yes, do we to teleport to the house? Are we making wine? No, Alex, that's you when we play games. Love you. 
The electric tractor is cool. You want to see me use the dually? I don't know why you would use an electric tractor with dually. I, I want to see the reason <laughs> why. Like, why? Rick, why? Why would that... I have no clue. Why would, why would somebody do that? Chat, what would be the reason? something light with a lot of... Um, something light and, like, still a lot of... Well, traction, not traction. What's it? I don't know what the word is. I was fertilizing here for an entire month. <laughs> Just oh, sitting in one spot. That's a pretty good battery. This battery lasted for an entire month. <laughs> you, see to to go again. you can see the vineyard appearing. Wait, you want to sleep? Hold on, not yet. Until they're grown. Oh, I just wanted to see what they look like while they're growing. Take a little closer look. I don't think they've changed. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, they have. Notice how there's actually leaves now? Before it was just a, like a vine. Ooh. Ah, yes. Soon, my children. Soon. Oh, look at this. I Because I have pesticides, you see the weeds and the grass disappearing as I spray. Ooh, chat said it could, it could be uh, useful for compacting silage. That's true. Uh, it's too light for that. Too light, yeah. Huh. Hmm? Although, Raptor, look at look at as I uh, pass through with my pesticides, the weeds disappear. Oh, you're driving with pesticide, or yeah. uh, well, that wouldn't really be pesticide, but it'd be uh, uh herbicide. Herbicide, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it seems to be yeah. Okay, you'd have to do that one row at a time. That's interesting. Yeah, electric tractors aren't really light at all because of the battery. Yeah, true. You want some? You want me to? You want my raisins, chat? Well, now you hold on. We're working on it. All right. Uh, should we continue? Now, obviously, so what you'd want to do is like you'd obviously want to take your time to set it up. Uh, you'd have to um, do your fertilization. Then in the next month, do your your weeding. I obviously stones don't really matter for uh, this this type of thing, but. Yeah. Should we continue, Harry, to the next month? Grapes and stones might break my bones, but Can't pesticides do. will never hurt me. <laughs> On to the next one. Ah, nearly a thousand likes. Wow, chat, a thousand people like this? No way. No. no. No Impossible. way. Impossible. Impossible. In Impossible. Impossible. Ooh, look at the trees and stuff now. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh that's awesome. Wow. What, what is harvest season for uh, grapes anyway? Don't they do some stuff with them in, as well in the fall? I think so. I remember yeah, there was they, some... They prune them back. There was a, a, a game that I played... Um, about harvest, like planting and harvesting uh, wine and grapes and things, and it kind of teaches you some of it. But planting and harvesting wine. Fall is the harvest season for wine, okay, or for for grapes. Late September to early October, as chat says. Okay. Oh, I think we're a little behind on this one. <laughs> oh. And our seasonal requirements are. are but don't off, worry. Yeah. Uh, off. Our season will switch to uh, winter. You you'll probably see snow, but it'll it'll act as if it's just the, whatever Summer. correct month it should be. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go again. Yeah, let's go again. Let's see what winter looks like, which will probably be after. It'll probably snow in December, I'm assuming. Yeah. I like that. I don't know what took them so long to add seasons and stuff, but everything I've wanted is here, and the stuff that I would have wanted is also here. So I would say that this game is even more worth it than ever before. God, there's so much stuff to do. What I really like, too, is that, again, boys, I want to stress ah, this yes. for all of you guys. It was getting boring to do the massive, big, crazy farming and stuff. What's fun about this Grapes. is that it's all small and medium-sized stuff, too. Which Grapes feels more appropriate for a, a like a family business. And so for, like, with uh, Rick and, and Harry and stuff, it, it just feels perfect. Like, this feels perfect for a group of, like, three or something to have their own yeah. vineyard with all this equipment. And yes, Rick, you're right, it's looking damn good. We're gonna have to go another month, then. When do you typically plant grapes, then? Must be... March? I think that they're always there. You just prune them back. 
Well, yeah, but if you're planting them for the first time, what would be the best time to plant them originally? But you're right, then, then you'd prune them I for presume, the next year. I would presume the spring, I presume. Hmm. Oh, you plant grapes in the summer. You get, no you get novella wine to sell on the 5th of November. Oh, really? Ah, we got snow. <laughs> I thought this was the Mediterranean. Look at how the lighting has changed based on the season, too. The sun's position has actually changed, too. Yeah. Great demand at the debris crusher. Oh. Also, I don't know if it always was a thing, but your um, your wipers work in rain. Oh yes, yeah, they turn on automatically apparently. Yeah. From what I've heard. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Turn your lights on, Rick. Oh, my accent. I want to. I want to see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, true. We're not. We're not necessarily a uh, a family farm. This is uh, content farms. We're we're farming content right now. So every episode and every video that you see going out on the channel for farming simulators is part of content farms. We're just farming that content. Plant it, grow it, do it again. Wow. It's harvest season on farming sim 22. Wow, look at that big old battery. Damn, that is a big battery. Oh, you prefer larger fields? Yeah. If you if you want if you want big old fields, the America map has it, and this does too. A, li a little bit. There's some bigger maps here, but we're not talking big bud size, no. But right, uh, I think it's uh, at least one more stage or two more stages till they're ready. A couple. Here you got a big one. Field 26 is massive. 30. Well, let's make sure to send Skinner there. These are a lot big. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Actually, let me let me quit take a look at potato farming. Just to make sure. Let me let me check out potato harvesting. Let's see. Just to make sure everything's there. For ready. Okay, we have a two... Wow, a three meter wide. <laughs> a three <laughs> meter wide on that one. What is this? Ten winkle? Oh, it's a, a weight. I do love the small scale farming. I want some small cozy stuff that I don't have to like worry about spending or earning a ton of money. Uh, the transport trucks are just man and mac. If you want to see those, you have your uh, TGS, your Superliner, Pinnacle, and Anthem for Mac, and then your man truck over there. So these I are the four. We sleep more. Yep, we can sleep again. I love how the lighting changes. Yeah. Because of the uh, the season. That's a really good transition for all the leaves and stuff to change for the game to update that. I can see grapes. Yes, they're ready. Mm. Uh, not every bit of... Oh, no. Every bit of grapes is ready, yeah. Is it ready for harvest? Yeah, it's orange on the map. Uh, should we get a second harvester, too? Because it's a sure. lot of stuff. If you want to start from the other side, grab one. Yeah. And then, uh, Harry, after we're done with this, do you immediately trim, or do they have to, like, die? Uh, I'm not sure. Or however think, that works. Uh, we can we can try immediately trim, see what happens. Well, let's try the good old-fashioned grape harvest, eh, man, brother? You have to unfold it, remember? Chad, this is your first look at some grape harvesting. In Farming Sim 21. Stream end. That's amazing. Wait, how, why did the back lights come on before the front lights? That's weird. You were lifting up. Well, that's, that's when it feels threatened. It does that. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. Now let's fire it up and let's go. I want to see how this thing is to offload. That's going to be cool. Oh, here we go, Poglad. You ready? take a little getting used to but yeah all right how do we know how fast we can go uh whenever you're harvesting it already like the max speed you can go is the max i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go just five miles an hour because i don't i don't trust anything faster than that oh god oh boy harvesting from first person is gonna take a minute to get used to all right i'm gonna try pruning them no but it's working Jerry, I saw you hop on too, so if you want to join us, just uh, come on in. I'm just going to do five miles an hour. This is cozy. This is nice. Making some wine, boys. It's raisins. 
No, I think you might have to wait for a bit. The cabin looks so weird from the front. Oh, you have to wait to trim? I think so, it's not doing anything. Maybe it's the next season. Meaning the next uh, month. Maybe you need seasons enabled for it. Oh, maybe. Wait, um, Harry, if you go to the um, the map, you know how you can see like fertilized, unfertilized? Can you see yeah. trim, not trim? Or whatever they call that? Harvested. No, it's not showing anything. Bum, bum, bum. What do they call that anyway when they do is it is is it is it is the term just to prune or is it something else? I think it's to prune. Okay. But don't quote me on it. What's the machine called though? Like it might have a specific term in winemaking. Not sure. Oh, oh. Yeah, off a little bit. Yeah, winemaking. Uh, doing the vineyard though is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like this can't hold a lot of grapes. So by by the. By the time we're done with this one pass, we'll probably be at almost, probably closer to like 35%. So, like three passes and we're good. Mmm, grapes. That wasn't far enough. Hmm. Now I notice there's a little camera. Actually, wait a minute. Does that work for any reason? I don't think so. Oh, it's just the shadow. Okay. I, I was looking at the computer screen above this to see if that camera was actually doing anything. It would be cool if it worked. Yeah, it would. It would make things a lot easier to have the camera to see whether Reminds or not you're on it. Reminds me of some lots that uh, actually had a working camera on the sides of the headers. Because some really large headers have like the pop-up cameras. But What's a low loader? Uh, it's basically a trailer that's low to the ground that you can typically load vehicles and, and or other equipment supplies onto. Someone will make a mod for that screen. Yeah, it'd be it would be helpful to, you know, have a camera where a camera usually is. I mean, that's why it's there, so it's all good. Can you remove unwanted grass? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Actually, what do they have for lawn? Anything new in the mowing technology there, Harry? No, sadly yes. not. There's only one Actually, new mower. Well, there are the cylinder mowers. Go on, tell me more. Um, basically, they kind of act like mulchers. So oh. They get rid of like, roadside grass. Oh, is that what the Raptor 300 is for? Is that what you mean by uh, cylinder? We'll have no, to use that no, when we go up to the forest. Okay. Now, chat, in a little while, we're going to be doing some uh, logging shortly after this as well. So stay tuned for that after we're done with our grapes here. We'll, we'll go, do a, go do some logging. Yeah, yeah, you have actually, like, two types of grass rollers, too, and a HP, APV. Um, I think it's a sewing machine, or if you want to, like, rejuvenate across. Hey, what? Oh, a sewing machine. <laughs> For a moment, yeah. I thought, like, actual, like, sewing. I was thinking clothing. I'm like, why would they have that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mowers. Um...
Now you can actually see it vibrating the... Uh, that mulches, yeah. You can see it vibrating the vine on the inside and then all the extra stuff coming out the top. Extra stems and stuff, that's cool. If you look at if you looked at this the under Milchers the speed max and the maxi cuts. Those are like the cylinder motors you mentioned to me earlier. I mean, uh, yeah. a while ago. Yeah. And that that stuff is all new. I think the entire mulcher section is new. Yeah it is, yeah. yeah. I don't recall having any mulchers. Oh that looks really cool. Damn, look at that. Now, uh, Giants, the, the developer of this game, also sent me a copy of the Collector's Edition, which comes with some neat stuff. I don't know when that'll be here. I'm, I'm assuming probably next week if it didn't, if it didn't come today. I'll have, to, I'll have to check outside, but... Can we hire a helper for this? Yeah, let's see how the uh, helper will do. Let's try. Uh, let's see. Open worker menu. Oh, I don't know if I can... Can we hire a worker? For these? I don't think so. I think some things still have to be done by person. But from what I understand is that the um, apparently the AI can drive on roads or delivering stuff via truck. Is that right? Yeah, they can drive around places now if you want them to drive somewhere. So you can load up some, let's say you loaded up a bunch of uh, uh, flour from the mill and then you want them to drive it to the bakery. They'll be smart enough to navigate there? Yeah, yeah. And we'll see about that when they bottom out a, a Mack truck. Uh, Harry, do you have the trailer? I do. I think I need it over here. Yeah, I'm gonna come over to you too. I'm maxed out. Will I wear the beacon after enough lights? Tell you what, chat. I'll set up the beacon so that way it'll blink every time somebody becomes a new member. I'll, I'll set it up so that way I can hit a button or do it that way. You boys know this is a road, right? Yeah. So how does this offload? Uh, the back the tips rear. up? Yeah. Oh, and that little thing can close. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of grapes. Yeah, wow. I like squish grapes now. Wait, does it squish them? No, it doesn't. <laughs> ah, now you can make wine the old-fashioned way, Walter. <laughs> Alright, my turn. How full are you now, Harry, after one? 23%. Oh, so four loads and you pretty much gotta go. Yeah. Do we really want to block the road, boys? Yeah. I don't know why your guys' methods always re require this. Also, Harry, while we're working on this, are you also working on setups? <laughs> no, I'm not. What? I'm You're basically Pinto now. You're basically Pinto. Alright, that's cool. Well, let's finish up with this, uh, let's finish up one trailer, and then once Harry's full, we'll go look at the production chain for that, and then it's time to start some logging. So, uh, Harry, once we, uh, I guess once we head towards the production building, who wants to be in charge of logging? Who wants to do the logging setup? Uh, Harry, it is. Uh, <laughs> not me. You love logging, though. I don't. You love it. I don't. You don't love logging? What happened, man? You ch wait. You don't. You really don't. No, I never. I never did really from the start. What? Uh, by the way, Raptor, I don't know if you've noticed, 
but if you look from the front of the machine, uh, the machine keeps perfectly level on a hill. Uh, how many times you need to... Wait, what? Uh, can, can I ask how, ma how many times you need to play? Um, I'm not sure what that means, but how do we have that amount of money? Uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'll be doing a, a video on Monday to show how to get all that all that money. For hard work. I got like stuck there. <laughs> yeah, yeah the Bu wheels, Buford Logan. Um, the wheels like uh, aren't level. They like keep the machine level. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, look at that, Chad. The, the, like, uh, straight the left wheel flights. higher than the right wheel, or well, you see what I mean. But yeah, because they're because they're in a vineyard. Oh my God, Rick, that's a pog lad. That's a pog lad. No wonder it's difficult to drive. No point in farming when having all that money. The nice thing about having money in this game like that is that now that we don't have to worry about making the money, we can just kind of worry about having fun and experimenting. And if you're doing mods, it's always recommended to make sure you have money too, because you could, I mean, imagine like doing a legit, like, full playthrough of Farming Sim and then downloading a mod and then spending $200,000 on a, a tractor or something like that and then, uh, you know, it not working or something like that. Yeah, this row is finished, but we're kind of like a... It's like being on a train. We can't just, like, you know... We're on the on the tracks right now. We can't, like, just turn and go left or right. Beam Jerry up? Okay. Harry, can you grab... Harry, grab Jerry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you guys will not be able to pl download or play Farming Simulator 22 until Monday. So all of us uh, Gary, super talented content Gary creators Fred. get a chance to play early. Hello. What's up, Jerry? How you doing, man? Good. Is Jerry also quiet? Could we turn off the harvester and get out quicker? Uh, well, regardless of doing that, we'd still have to go to the end of the row. It's, it's fine. I'll make sure I don't miss any. We probably got them all. This would be a lot easier to drive with the camera on, though. They should put a little mirror in front instead, then. Just so you can see. Corn harvesting? Yep, we'll definitely do that. So make sure you subscribe for the Big O Corn... My mandatory Friendship Corn Harvest here at Friendship Farms. A division of Content F Farms Incorporated. But also see how big of a silage... Uh Uh, Jerry, the password is Harry, and you can join anytime you're ready. Capital H. Alrighty. We're going to be doing some big O logging here soon, brother. You ready, man? Yeep. Hey, how'd your thing go today? Was everything cool? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Did you find your name tag? <laughs> yeah, I found that. Oh, good. I didn't want you to forget your name. Motion. My ribbons broke. Uh oh. That's okay. Yeah, make sure you guys shave the password because it's hairy. Yeah, good one, Alex. <laughs> That's a two-day ban. <laughs> come and join us, Alex. Yeah, keep down download faster, Alex. Yeah, come on. Your opinion, farming da da simulator or farmer's dynasty? Uh, farming simulator. Farmer's dynasty is good if you're si if you want to play single player, but. If you can if you can get on our Discord and find a few people to hang out with, it's it, it's so much better. Thanks for streaming this. Excited for your pre-order. Awesome. I hope you uh, end up enjoying it as much as we are. And we certainly have a lot more to learn, and we're like definitely rusty from the previous games. But man, I was just I was just not feeling it anymore after farming Sim 19. Like I was, 
it was like 14 was great 15 was even better 17 was like oh this is still cool and then 19 was like oh, man this game's never gonna change yet here we go doing some lovely grape farming in France bigger and better it'll be so beautiful to actually plant these in the spring and then do like a like to focus on one crop at a time I honestly feel like you're going to have to if you want to play legitimately you're not going to be able to do everything and you're going to have to have several games where you focus on different things because like I don't think there's any way you could do like a sugar beet, dairy farm, sugar cane, vineyard, uh, cat, like a uh, chicken farm uh, that also tries to make cakes by making uh, eggs and, <laughs> you know, like it, it becomes super complicated. Just focus on one thing. Like if you're going to do logging, just do logging. And then maybe another side thing where you can use that equipment. You know what I mean? Maybe we don't have a proper logging map yet. Like one with full on forest. Yeah, true. I don't. Yeah, that. I don't know what happened. To, like that Svost Novka one. I don't know. They must have done some quality control and found out like not a lot of people. Like they kind of scale back the logging more and more, and it's like no. I mean, the way they want you to do it is kind of be more picky about the trees, but that's I not. I did see a video of um, some of the FTR mods uh, that are coming to twenty two. Oh really? Yeah. And they have some really cool looking mods. They did look pretty cool to be fair, yeah. Tell me. Uh, well, you know um, you know the Discovery Channel uh, logging program they had? Like that large log stripper? Are you talking about Big Big O Amen Logging or Logging Amen Brother? What show? Yeah, yeah. Or, or are those. you talking about that new one coming out called Amen Amen Brother, My Timber Brother, Amen? Um, yeah, that one. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. They have those, like those low, um, log strippers that yeah, you pick up the log. Um, Clear cut like logging, brother. Hey, man. <laughs> you know what we should like do? That. We should try to. When this comes out, we should do a few different funny things. Like, for example, get everybody, as many people into a server as we can, go out to a forest, like in this France map, and see how long it takes us just to clear cut it. I'll just, I'll just stay away from a distance, tell everyone to start clear cutting, and with everybody with a chainsaw, see how long it takes us to cut down every tree. And then we'll just chip them all up. You know what we still need to test in this game, Harry, is how it, what it's like to actually um, load up a timber trailer. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Like actually handling logs. We'll have to see how that goes. Alright, Harry, I'm coming to you. I'm full. Hey. Corrupt slacking. Uh, yeah, when I, when I finished one of my rows, I was like halfway done, so I had to go to the end of it. That's right, I'll just drop off the rest I got, and we'll go see what it's like to, to make grapes. I'll be at like 70%. Alright, let's go see what it's like to uh, make uh, ra raisins and... Uh, I wonder if you can pick. Wait, how do you set it to, to pick? Pick what? Well, like, when we bring the grapes over to the to the grape thing is a great how do you choose grape juice or raisins like are there two oh, different buildings true. yeah I'm not sure because it's one crop with two different out wait figure that out Harry yeah it looks easy to keep a straight line but without that camera it's a little little tricky Plus, I feel like it moves around a bit being on a hill Okay, let's take a look. I want to see these these lines. Did you get in there, uh, Jerry? It's loading up right now. Hey, man, brother! Is. Welcome green. aboard. Jerry's cool green. Oh, okay, so there's uh, there's the grape processing unit, then there's a farm shop, and then something called the Marison. I don't know what that is. That must be like a restaurant or something. Hmm. How full are you, Harry? 74%. Okay. So wait, just where, do, for Raptor. where do we sell... Uh, I'm just looking at raisins and stuff. Uh. Oh, wait, chocolate. <sighs> chocolate? Wait, how would we sell chocolate? How would you make chocolate? Well, you need cocoa and cocoa sugar beans. and... But where do you get cocoa from? <laughs> well, I don't, we would have to import that, but... I guess ma maybe get? there's a way where you can... Maybe you can deliver it to a 
uh, a place. Maybe like milk and sugar and stuff, and I don't know, maybe eggs. Maybe maybe it goes to make a pie. I don't know. Neither do I. Okay, where is this thing? Where is the raisins? It's not alphabetical. Where is raisins? Hmm. So at the processing unit, that must be the way to determine it. All right, I'm on my way. Purchasing land. Uh, you know what? Just trading, you buy the chocolate and sell it later at a higher price. That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, where's the uh, tractor for the offload for? Uh, down the other end. Oh, okay. So much wheat to be harvested. Yeah, I'm not sure how the chocolate's gonna work, cause but do do we? Uh, there's no way for us to make chocolate, so oh, the, great the only thing I can think of is providing milk, or maybe something else to make the chocolate into something else. I don't know, cause it looks like we can buy the chocolates uh, or sell the chocolates. So it's like, okay, how do we just plant chocolate trees? Chocolate! Spongebob reference. Chocolate? Yeah, there you go. Do the snipes like chocolate? Oh, Where Alex is in my rear view. He's trying to get to his private island. Hold on a second. Yeah! Amen! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was harvesting cars. This is the Carvester. <laughs> Alright, Jerry, if you would kindly get into the, uh... Where... Uh, where is that thing? We can work together on this one, Jerry. Um, yeah, that one. The, the green tractor there. And we're gonna drive that to... Oh, are you in it already? Yeah. Oh, I can't see Sweet. names from a distance. Okay. Oh, yeah, literally... <laughs> yeah, literally just climb in there. There you go. <laughs> Play in there, Jerry. Get in there. You're gonna have a little shower. Shower of grapes. Making wine. Yeah, he's making wine. Yeah, he, he's making wine with his bare feet. Well, that must be close to 100%. Looks like it's over. That's well, gotta be pretty close. 94? Yep. That's well, pretty close, okay. Alright, drive it over to the grape uh, producing thingy and we'll figure out what we'll make of it. Good job, boys. Proud of you. The uh, Giants calls those the French cars the Ducks, yeah. It's a cool car, man. It's a very iconic French car. We, uh, we call it the Ugly Duck. Carpentry. Okay, so the Carpentry building in the north. Nice. It's up on the top left, though. Bakery. Great. Yeah, great processing unit. Okay. Yeah, by field three. You got a ways to go. All right, I'll follow you and take a tour of the town. Nice. You just put in a cruise control of like 30. No rush. Big rush. Oh, I found a sawmill. Door of the middle. No, I don't think we can plant cocoa trees, no. I don't know. We can also make canola oil, olive oil, and, um... What's the last one? Sunfle sunfl uh, flower oil? Sunflower oil? Is that, is that what you call that? Yeah. Okay, should we go with Bonsi, Komatsu, or Rotna? Um, well, there's four of us, so why don't you do a double team? Two, two, you know, two different teams. Yeah. Might need a gre greenhouse for cocoa? I haven't seen an option for that. Harry, can you confirm? I don't think so.
Wow, what a pretty little village. Now, oh, look at the boats down on the river. Yeah, there's supply chains now, so yeah, there, there, there is a supply chain for lumber where it's like you bring logs to the... I think you can bring them to a... Uh, like a lumber mill and then maybe bring that lumber to a carpentry building, but it's our first time playing, so we'll, we'll see more in just a moment. We're about to do some, uh, about to do some forestry here in a little bit. Do we have seasons sh uh, switched off? Uh, yeah, for now we were just doing this so we could plant grapes without waiting the whole year. Wanted to see some grape farming. Boy, Jerry picked a hell of a time to join with the uh, the logging. Mandatory logging. Amen. Burr, 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 burr. Logging is expensive business. Okay, so we're now at the great processing facility. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. You have to offload into this little tiny thing? Oh no. Doing it oh, you can just put it right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it is an auger. Oh, it's an auger. It is. Harry, are you spilling everything on the ground? No. Wait, did we make money from that? This is a processing plant. It has uh, an out, doesn't it? It makes things. It's Wait, do we get to pick now? Uh, Wait, how do we choose yeah. whether raisins are made or... Oh, you can activate and deactivate. What do we make? Raisins or grape juice? Can we split? Can we do 50-50 or anything? I think so. Yeah, they're both running. Do you want to like, skip a day and see what happens? Uh, boy. What... Uh oh, wait a minute. What are we making? Oh, do you do you think it's gonna come We're out in a barrel? Both. I'm not sure. I wonder what it's gonna come out as. Yeah, we could skip a day. Oh, yeah. Grape juice is so good. Alex, you hate wine. That's why they kicked you out of the mainland. Oh, I've lost connection. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe it had something to do with Harry switching time of day or so. I mean, I don't know. Come, come, on, come on back. Come on in. This water fine. <laughs> snow can do. Wow. There's snow on the ground. Whoa, oh, wow. The? Okay, wow. <laughs> wow, it legit snowed. Wow. Oh, okay, so it gives it to us in pallets. So we have pallets. Hmm? Rick. Where's your forklift? Hey, uh, not on this map. Oh. I right, just take a second. So it looks like he gave us boxes for raisins and boxes for uh, the juice. So the juice probably goes to the grocery store. The raisins can go to. I guess it makes both. Like it makes the raisins from the the rest product of the. the... 
No, I don't know if that works like that. Yeah, that's actually probably true. Yeah. From the grape juice it makes the raisins. I have lost my connection to the game. <laughs> Rick. Oh. Grapes, raisins. Oh, so wait a minute. We made... Wait, we made three to one. That's cool. Raisins That's take close. a lot longer yeah. to make, so yeah. Because raisins have to be dried out in the sun and such. You can squish them up easily and get the grape juice, but... Oh, that's great. That's grape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But now I'm, I'm wondering, like, okay, so where would be the... I guess the best place to bring that would be wherever, wherever the price is highest, which in this case would be the... Well, raisins need to go to the farm shop. Grape juice can only go to the farm shop, too. So, oh, what? Only one spot to sell those? Oh. We have to bring it to the, uh, the farm shop, yeah. Alex, what does this mean? Is that, like, a family name? Wait, do we have a second? Alex de Hange. It's the orange. Cool. All right, should we do some logging? Although it's going to be February. Well, it'd be kind of cool to do some winter logging. How about that? That's what people normally do in the winter, though, don't they? It means That's the farmer's farm garden. Doing. Okay, thank you, Alex. The farmer's garden farm shop. Okay. Thank you, Alex. You were as smart as you are. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, plow the snow. Oh, I don't know. You guys want to see a little snow plowing? Mm, okay. No. Let's do a little snow plowing. Well, we'll give it. I'll give. I'll give it a try. You can do the. How about, how about this, Rick? What are you doing? Are you doing? Wait, are you in the game? Yeah. Uh, what are you doing for a uh setup for? Did you decide who you wanted to? What what brand you were going with for the logging? Uh, it just just like some of everything. Okay, you keep doing that. Harry, you can help him out. Let Jerry know if you need, and since there's one tractor for snow plowing that they recommend, I'll take that one and see how it goes. I'll, I'll go plow. I'll plow. <laughs> I'll plow a way out. <sighs> well, I do want to try something first. We got a lot of equipment. Should we start selling some stuff we don't need? We want to do a little house <laughs> housekeeping. Ooh, I can uh, see the setup. <gasps> oh, dude, these things are ridiculous. Want to snow plow with this? Yeah, I kind of do, actually. I think that's amazing. Dude, this thing is sweet! I'm glad they put me in the game. These things look like freaking battle tanks. So, wait a minute. This is... Is this the thing you were talking yeah. about? The, the that's mulch the all? in front. Oh. So, wait. Does the, If you left a bunch of logs on the ground, could this just make wood chips on the ground? I'm not sure if it, it, just it leave will it there, make right? wood chips, but it will eat the logs. And we can do some salting, too. Excuse me. Uh, uh, assaulting. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Well, here, Jerry, Jer you want to come help me out? We'll take some turns using the big boy and the the salter. We'll go. We'll go find a location that needs to be plowed. Okay. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> this is something they use like in the Arctic. All right. So uh, let's see, Jerry. If you want to grab the little red tractor with the thing on the back. It dumps salt out the back. Or you can put it on the front if you want to. You have to buy salt as well. Oh, you have to buy salt? Yeah. Okay. It's on the big racks. So, where can we plow? It looked like we... Could we plow it, like, the, at the, um, at the base? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go home and... Wow, that's actually really cool. Man, look at this thing. It lights. It's like a military vehicle. Oh, this thing's ridiculous. It's two lanes wide. Uh, my kibatsu fell off. You didn't use straps, brother? I haven't strapped it down yet, no. Can't be trusted, Harry. I, I wasn't driving.
This thing goes at a whopping seven. <laughs> speedy demon. Yeah, speedy McDemon over here. Look like we could do some plowing at the. Uh, there's got to be a way to lower this thing down further, right? Or does it only do? Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Oh, now I'm doing some plow. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Snow plowing, brother. Where'd you go? There's no salt down here. Uh, I think you have to buy it at the shop. I can't buy anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, you're part of our farm, aren't you? Yes. Oh, chap. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry there, Jerry. Boy, yeah. All right, Jerry, you should be able to... There we go. You should be able to buy some stuff from the shop now. And I think you could buy, like, a forklift and stuff, too, and load it in. Yeah, you're right. We we probably have to own the land in order to plow. Uh, it was kind of the same deal with trees. That's going to be interesting. Oh, go ahead. Who's that behind me? Wow, showing off with the double. Wait, what? Oh, the piston bullet. That's <laughs> what are you doing, Abby? I'm drifting. The piston bullet blades. Uh, mm, I guess it's not really made for plowing snow. Definitely not made of iron snow. <laughs> we gotta, so we can do we're gonna plow. Plants. We're literally plowing our fields, Harry. Snow plowing. Oh, getting a bit icy. Oh boy. That's cool, but I don't know why you'd ever. I don't know why you'd ever need the plow. I, I guess you could do. You could do plowing around your base, just in case your vehicle, yeah. so your vehicles don't get stuck. That's kind of nice, though. It doesn't make it too tedious. You can take a little bit of time plowing out your your farm area, just so your vehicles Hoping. can pass through. But you can drive over the snow anyway. Hoping that will give the ability to like plow roads too. Yeah, I'm hoping that as well. That would be cool for like a side job. But they've made it a task without making it too tedious. Like yeah, you're supposed to, you should probably plow your farm so you can bring your vehicles and stuff around. But there's not I mean in the winter like this, like what what would we be doing? Taking care of chickens and like minor things, it wouldn't be anything major. In farming sim nineteen you didn't need to own the land to plow it. Oh, the fields? Well, I think you did. You had to own the fields, right? I don't think you could just plow a field that wasn't yours. All right, time yeah. to do some uh, some logging, brother. Do we try road salt? I've never tasted it, but you can if you want. I'm not going to judge you. You haven't <laughs> tasted it. All right, I'm back. Yes, perfect. Ooh, look at that big old heavy equipment load up. Oversized cargo, brother. Amen. Literally, Rick, is this really the best you could do? <laughs> I, I swear you do things because you think they're funny. That's what you do. Yeah, see? It's not that he did it wrong. He knew what he was doing. I wasn't doing. even trying it. I know. I loaded up the... Oh, um, did you get your salt there, Jerry? Yeah. Did you, were you able yeah, to load it? On. His name's Green. Yeah. I loaded it. Yeah, he's green. But yeah, these Jerry's trucks, new, so he's the green guy. He's the green boy. Here are also new. <gasps> Harry, if you the, if you and Jerry straps. if Jerry and Harry start a farm, it'll be Greenhorn Farms. Would not be Greenhorn for me. Yes, it would. Oh, oh is oh. I nice. I noticed the yellow straps. Have you? Yellow straps? Yellow. Oh, yeah. Does that come because of a different trailer? I'm not sure. We used the trailer the other day. It was orange, wasn't it? It was. Well, these are strapped down, by the way, so these aren't going nowhere. Big O heavy equipment hauling. Big O crazy. Million wow. dollar. Whoa. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and start doing some logging for the first time. Shall we, shall we uh, get our 
feet wet on a little bit of that. Yep. Take our first look at logging and farming Sim 22. Wow. Once you take the other truck. All right, uh, jury. Yeah, I got a wood chipper there already. Oh, nice. Okay, Jerry, you want to drive this truck with the crane? The crane? Yeah, there's like a little... Me and... Uh, I'm next to it right now, over here. You can drive that one. And I'll take the other big O truck and we'll go over to... Uh, we're going to the north one. Big old truck, big old trailer. Yeah, it's uh, close to the... Um, oh, mill. Oh, boy. Uh... uh GG to French roads that are about to have to take this am am American freedom. <laughs> what up, Rick? You stuck already. No. Have a push. Oversized low brother. <laughs> no. no, Jerry. Stop. Jerry, did you drive into a light, a light bulb? Oh no. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Jerry. Jerry's not gonna drive. How is this possible? Oh, to be fair, oh, what are you doing? Navy, uh, I don't know. <laughs> they see reckless me rolling. Driver. They hating. Raptor, the reckless driver. This is fine. Reckless. I think it's the. Uh, however, Rick loaded these vehicles is pushing <laughs> on the back of the cab, and it's in making some interesting uh, features. <laughs> Harry is trying to mount my trailer. I don't know. I don't know why he loaded things up like this, but I'm. I'm not <laughs> going to question dispatch. I'm just going to do what I told. Oof, that lamp post. Look, so if, it, if it looks silly, but it works, it's not silly. Yeah. I'm just driving slow and safe, safely in the snowstorm. Ah, should you use the man? Yeah, we should get one of the man trucks. Actually, yeah, I don't. Well, we can do that when we haul out logs. Do we do we have um, a logging trailer oh, the, at all? The log haulers are... Yeah, we have a long one. But the log haulers are uh, mats already. True. Oh. Oh, the way he loaded this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was loaded really nicely, but the... Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, that was until I like put the ramps up, because the ramps pushed the Raptor back into... Uh, I don't think this truck's gonna get there because the wheels are lift, lifting up off the ground again. We're gonna have to have uh, the uh, the dolly. Yeah, I'm being pushed by uh, by Harry at some points. All right, I'll come back for that. Or maybe I'll try the man. We'll try the off-road man. Uh, we should probably also do a little vehicle cleanup too. I oh, cut that with Harry. What a knobhead. Whoa. All right. Green, green where are you going? Hey, we green. got some more um, vehicles at base. Are you guys planning on doing some more of those? You are. Oh, we could probably also use a tipper up there for um, double chips. A tipper. Oh no, this ain't good. I'm stuck. Oh, not a tipper, not a chipper. Ow. 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 Ew. Oh, well, that's not this truck gone. Okay. Well, yeah, I noticed there's the uh, the H21D. Here still is that was that one you guys plan to use? Yeah, I'm not sure if we need that much. Got like one woodcutter and one um, load <laughs> up here. It's not like that far, trucks. so you could always you could always drive there too. Yeah. How did the salt work out, by the way, Jerry? Did it just delete the snow underneath it? You can't use it on the road. Oh yeah. If you don't own the land. Okay, well, I'm unloading. I'm unloading the truck here. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Komatsu is a brand that we that we 
haven't had yet in this game. Oh really? Has it come out through the first time? Yeah. Wow, the man is just superior. But it's probably because there's not uh, two two wheels close to each other, so all the. Uh... Oh, look at this! There's actually like snow drifts. There's this large snow heap by the side of the road here. We need more equipment, more chat. We need more. Smash like, we'll keep it coming with this hot farming action. Available only in Farming Sim 22. With Raptor. Does it feel like we've been streaming for five hours, Harry? Yes. Does it? For a mandatory yes. friendship stream? Yes. I'll, I'll remember that. Luda just asked me the same question on Snap. Are you still streaming? If only there was a way to check if a channel was live. Oh, yeah. Alright, everybody, buy the man truck. Don't use the Mack trucks. They seem to be low on their torque or something. Oh, uh, for God's sake, I need to wait for the truck. This truck only has 300 horsepower. The man trucks had like 450 plus. Timer release on Monday? Um, not sure. Uh, it's 11, 11 p.m. on the 22nd for UK. They put they post an announcement for the release time. Oh, are you excited Discord. for the release, Harry? Are you are you ready to play when it comes out? <laughs> <laughs> Good mandatory. Oh, uh. a good one. That was a f frightful shriek you just pumped out there, Harry. That's it's a me, Mickey Mouse. All right, make sure when you guys do your oversized load hauling and stuff, make Oops. sure you make everything look nice. All right, we're coming up on the logging site soon, boys. guys doing? <laughs> that was rude. Come on, guys. I got the truck stuck. Oh, you! Wow, you actually made it up here with the Mac, or is that a man? I can't tell. It's a Mac, isn't it? A man. Is it a man? It's a man. I wait to dish the Mac. Oh dear God! Damn AI! Would you like a tree wreck? So you guys just abandon everything there? Yeah. <laughs> we just loaded everything on the spot. I'll try to get back on the road and then. Look, I cut, I cut it down for you. Can you cut that one with the other one? Yeah. Yeah, see this. T oh, dear God, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> <it's> <laughs> hey, the truck stayed on. All right. Those are some badass straps. God, you two idiots! God, my the, the beeping is really representative of this stream right now. God damn you two! That'll uh, that'll buff out. How the hell? Oh, it's still twitching. Oh, the poor thing. 
Oh my god, the exorcist. I wanna get a gun so I can put it down. God! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even go near it. Like, it won't let me near the site. Like, I can't. <laughs> it's cordoned off the area. I can't, I can't <laughs> move near it. Damn it, I knew that would happen. <sighs> Jerry, what are you doing? Wait. Wait, I can't. Wait a minute. You two. Wait a minute, I got kicked out of the map. <laughs> you two pushed me out of bounds of the map. <laughs> I can't I can't go back into the Wow, I have to go into no man's land now. Oh my god. What? That's actually sick, you were kicked out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh you two <sighs> Just press tab. Yeah, but now my <sighs> <laughs> You too, I swear. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were saving the tra <laughs> train crash for another stream. Mm hmm. I was. Anyway, Jerry, where are you? In here. <laughs> oh, you're here. Jerry is here. Okay. Uh, let's see. How, how can we be of help? Oh, did we buy chainsaws? Oh, yeah, we yeah. got chainsaws. Cool. Oh, now we don't hold them at each other anymore. Oh, we have oh we have multiple cho choices. Very nice, very fancy. The McCulloch jeans. Oh, it looks like Lude all of a sudden <laughs> when he was wearing his outfit. <coughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Okay, so one of the things we plan to do in a future episode is to actually now now we're gonna start some logging here, but we got to be a little more. Um, We got to be a little bit more like uh, clean with our setups and such, because if you guys are going to drive it in the, if you're getting bored or whatnot, you know, you don't tank traction in other ways. What was the idea up here? Can't you guys park? Why can't you guys be normal? Please. <laughs> All right. So how does this mulcher work? I want to see this thing in action. Can we uh, drive it over yeah. to? Yeah. Is it? Use it on the stump. Can you use it on the bushes? I'm curious to know. Yeah, let me try out the stuff first. I'm going for it. Oh, it's removing the grass. The floor. Oh, oh, it what? actually look, removes look. grass too? Look, 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 look. It's made it like a cultivated soil. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, that thing just deletes everything. Oh, wow. Oh, not, not even like a second. Wow. Now, how about that tree? Can you grab that tree? That's interesting. Okay, so you can't really do the tree, but what you can do... Oh, I'm sorry, it looks like somebody... The uh, thing is in your way here. Let me move that out of your way. There we go. I will try to cut down some trees and stuff now. Well, let's see if we can make some money with log. Um, well, actually, so we're going to do medium-sized logs and then load them onto the trucks, right? So maybe it would be best to... Is there a vehicle that could bring the uh, logs down to the trucks? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry's uh, picking up the whole well, tree. That, that's the one you had on your <laughs> So there's like a little there's like a little winter road that goes up here. This is cool to see all the winter stuff. <laughs> this is really cool. Take out, Jerry. Right, I'm gonna go a little further into the into the uh, woods. I think. Oh, it's too hard. To, it's too hard to drive around things. Oh, am I on a stump? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so this this truck here is specifically designed for the mul it's got the mulcher attached, which is awesome. Yeah. The chipper. Oh, that's so cool. You don't have to mess uh, with the, the trailer anymore. Turns. Oh, the cabin turns? Yeah. Oh, so the operator can then Oh, that's way better than haul oh, because it used to be this thing too, the gens, didn't it? Yeah. The uh, the chipper. Now the now chipper. it's just a track to uh, attached to a truck. A combination between the 
gems in a man. That is beautiful. If I can actually, uh... Look. I wrapped her. Oh, you can stop in the mid... Oh, you can... Oh, you're just reversing the process. I want to see this thing uh, work. That's cool. I can, um, I can turn it how I want. Okay, I want to try to move this truck out of the way. Yeah, let's get some chipping done with that thing. That'd be cool. That's the coolest chipper I've seen. Yeah, I really love this thing. Uh, where, I need to, I need to uh, where did that 300 go? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Fire up, Rick. Didn't turn it on. Oh, there she goes. Okay, I'm gonna try to push this one out of here so it doesn't get, uh... It's gonna be really hard to log here because there's not a lot of... We'll have to cut an area for flat land. I'm just getting this truck clear. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. So is that thing, is the Raptor 300, is that used in, in the logging industry? Or is that like a multi purpose thing? Seems like you could work on ski slopes, but it looks even, it looks super mega heavy duty. Like, it's like I military. Do, I reckon just sink in ski slopes. I think it's mainly used in the forest, forestry from what I can see. Okay. Specifically with those vultures. Alright, I'm gonna go into the forest a bit and see if I can, like, load up a trailer. Oh, nice. There's some actual flat areas out here. Yeah, the 300's like a dozer, yeah. It looks like a cross between a bulldozer and a... Oh, you guys should've went further into the woods. There's some really nice area here to... Oh, yeah, you guys should definitely come into the woods. Or don't. Actually, on second thought, stay. Stay where you're We're at. coming. <laughs> Uh, but Jerry, if you want to come on in, uh, too. Uh, are you doing anything, Jerry? Are you looking for something to do? So you can have a good... I want to make sure you're having a Baja Blast, Jerry. Are you having a Baja Blast right now? I did check some floating truck. Okay, he's having a good time. That's good, then. Oh, hold on. I can actually, um, attach a trailer <coughs> behind this one, so I can, uh... I'm gonna get a trailer for the wood chips. Oh, right, I forgot how the... Does the, um... Did the trees always fall to the left in this game? I forget how it, like, programs the, the tree fall. I think they changed it. It's not based on physics, is it? Or how's it... Well, the other tree was pushing that one, so I don't even know. Oh, that cut through the whole tree. Okay. I love how the Ponzi machine goes flying in the air. Power Aid and Mountain Dew mixed. Wow, that's a. Is that a new type of jet fuel? Oh, yeah, this tree seems like it's weird. I'll set that aside for chipping. Oh, no, yet again. Oh, 200, oh, it tells you the weight, 211 kilograms, but yet again, a small object in this game can't be moved. Oh, there's a house in here. I cut oh, it down. What the hell, why has it got bread outside? Oh, that That's what Baja Blast is? So, there's a train coming, and there's AI traffic on the track, so I wonder how that will... It'll just clip through it. Oh. Cool. That's neat. I like how that unfolded. Okay, I'm just gonna have I to like, like the little cabin on that truck. Yeah, the well that, that chipper truck is just a real cool thing. I think this game could do more in terms of, like, having more missions based on, like, vehicles where you have to clear, you know, down tree and stuff like that. Like, those, you know, they should see what the 
creator community is doing and then just take those things and then just put it in the game. It's really cool to be able to do that stuff yourself. Articulated trailers, you can actually turn into a bail trailer configuration. Oh, really? Yeah, like the um, Branter. Another thing I've noticed too is that the game seems to take into account thickness of a log or the time of cutting. Like sometimes he'll just cut through it right quickly if it's a smaller branch that has to be cut. And other times it'll take a little longer to cut through a trunk. That's pretty yeah. cool. Clean that up a bit. Ah, oh, yeah, this is going to get messy with the branches and stuff. Okay. This is cool. It's like a survival simulator now, like being out in the woods with just a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so now how do we cut that length? I guess you just gotta eye it up, huh? Wait, 24.9. Oh, okay. So how long is this truck? Let's do the math. The truck is... Oh, there it is. Mm, doesn't say, but I judge it's probably about half that. What do you boys want to do next after this? Because I know logging for you guys is like kind of meh, but I really like it, especially with the new, really like new equipment and stuff. Yeah, I like the logging a lot too. I know Harry hates fun and enjoyment. Yeah. Um. yeah bro. I'm just kidding. Who put Harry on a potato harvester? Then I stick on hard work. Should we change Harry's name to Hired Worker 1? <laughs> right, let's see if we can load up a couple logs. It'll take a minute, but... It's probably the most tedious part of the game where you're kind of sitting in one spot for a while, but... Oh, right, we're going to go back to the American map and do uh, animals and such. What's uh, what's a good livestock to start with, Harry? Uh, I'll probably say sheep. Sheep's probably the easiest. Okay. Pretty, I think they only need like grass and water basically. Oh, that's true. Yeah, for cows you need silage. The um, oh, no, we could probably hey, start making that. The uh, American map doesn't start with any, like, there's not a spot where you can. No, you have to place. Them. You have to place where they go. Okay, so there's yeah. no more like paddock for them. No. You have to do it manually. Go okay. The American map. You can probably start with the sheep and then start start building up uh, silage, hay, and straw. Oh boy. Stuff like that. This is gonna be a nightmare. God, I still have to kind of like do this with the mouse. Oh yeah, this ain't gonna work. That's way too long. But you get the idea. Uh, logging has always been one of those things that just takes a while. Just to, it just takes a little while. But anyway, you can imagine what it's like if we cut down a bunch of these trees. We'll come back and do an oversized haul. Uh, we'll probably load up a few trucks with the uh, things you just saw and drive them around town. What we'll probably end up doing is, um, you know, Harry, what may, might be a good idea is if we take a look at the map. We could, you know, start with these things at the bottom side of the map, at one of the roads down there, and just do a drive up the main road. Yeah. Oh, that'd be perfect, yeah. We'll drive up the main road, swing right into town, and then head up that, uh, actually, no, we could just drive around. Eh, whatever. But anyway, I got some ideas for us loading up. It'll be cool to do a heavy equipment load up, driving it to the forestry site, and then trying to do probably the chipper. That's the coolest thing. We can bring everything, but, you know, it's hard to use everything. Alright, cool. You guys want to go back to the American map now? 
do some livestock? Can do. All right. Mandatory fun. It, it continues. Jerry, can I get a woo? Uh, no. I thought you were about to say halfway there, living on a prayer. <laughs> Whoa, living on a farm. Wait, did, how did you... Wait, did the game... Wait, what happened? I reset everything. Oh, you reset it? Okay. And the boys, of course. This shows you their attention span at this point. Like Some things are definitely related to the game, but the moment you ask them to load up some equipment... Uh... Rick Harry syndrome kicks in. Both uh, Rick and Harry are suffering from Rick Harry syndrome. Also got ADHD. How, how the hell do we exit this game, dude? Like, I'm uh, not seeing any of the menus having escape, exit. Oh. Settings? Yeah, one of the last menus finally has it. I was looking to, like, escape. There we go. All right, luckily it's saved. I still don't there, know so. why they put it there. Yeah, I don't know why we have to click around to a random menu. All right, boys, we're going on back to the American map to see our first look at livestock at Elm Creek with unlimited money. We're going to go do some new stuff now. We did logging so far. We've done grapes. We've done some basic farming. We've seen some of the uh, epic big O load up of grain and some harvests, too. And, of course, we hauled some grain over to the big O mill. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's take our look now at um, livestock. So, Harry, you seem to know what's going on with that. I do. You do. You're a man who knows. I'm a man of many trades. A man of many trades. That's true. Well, a couple of trades. We haven't done too many yet in this game. No. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Wrong passwords. What? Oh, yeah. You don't got these passwords, Rick, are you? It might be the lowercase one again. The lowercase and then all uppercase. It may have saved a... Maybe it keeps it in each save. I'm excited to see it, though. Let's go. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 Oh, Spencer bum, TV. Bum. Oh, I can't get the password right. Someone has an open game. Let's go join it. Oh, look, doggo. Dog's game. <laughs> I'll join and see what happens. Oh, Wait, there should be a ball. Oh, there it is. I can't get the password right. Uppercase, lowercase don't, doesn't work? Bro, there's dog mechanics in farming sim. Check that out. He'll actually play fetch with you. That's cool. Good. Yeah, you're the best. Yeah, you are. Alright, I will reset the password so you guys can... Actually, can I change it in the midst of the game? I don't see an option for that. Oh, you can actually change the name of your save game, though. This is my oh. save game, but, like, I, I guess when you load it, it still says the same thing. So, okay, let's go back. By the way, everybody in chat, where are you all watching from today? I'm curious to know where everybody's watching from. Let me know if you have any requests for what you want to see in the game. Let us know what your favorite thing has been so far, too, uh, in terms of, like, uh, you want to see more trucking, you want to see more trailers... Loading, on loading, you like big old crazy million dollar. All right, we'll do it. Uh, the password will be Jerry, capital J. How about that? Let's jump back in. Germany, Ohio, Michigan, uh, Blaine, Washington. Job number oh, two, Harry. Tennessee. Yes. I was at John's game. I'm destroying that game right now. <laughs> All right, let's see our first look at animals now. Other than Jerry, who's oh, a party animal. Oh, I just banned you from the server. <laughs> you got banned? I tried to join someone's open game. Harry got banned. First day banned. Wow, day one banning of farming sim, Harry. Oh, 
that that's got to be a record, man. You've been you've been banned in le- before the game came out. Wow, <laughs> banned from farming sim. Uh, uh, commit. Uh, what is it? Um, accused of a crime he didn't commit. Guilty of a crime he didn't commit. Innocent until proven guilty. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, boys, load on in. Yeah, can we show off the corn maze? Let's do it. I'll go over there right just for you. Let's go over to that corn, corn maze. maze. There is a, a corn, corn maze. A corn maze. There is a corn maze. Corn maze. I'll go take a look at the corn maze. Where's the corn maze? Corn is maze. So is it a maze maze? A maze. Or a corn corn? Where's the corn maze? Yeah, yeah. Harry has committed a crime of making a YouTube short. A corn maze. Shorts are cool and all, but. YouTube's just putting way too much focus on it. All right, so there's. Should we actually do the corn maze? We'll, we'll try it. Oh, there's a watchtower up there. I didn't know that. I think this is the corn maze here. If there's a small barn around here, then we're in the right place. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. Corn maze start. Can we harvest the corn maze? Corn maze rules. No cussing. Remember, the corn has ears. No running in the maze. If lost, do not panic. A team of experts searches the maze every day, every other Thursday. <laughs> oh, you can actually see the maze before you go through it. That's actually cool. No, I got banned from John's game. Oh, are you still salty about it, Harry? Yeah. All that salt well, the, and butter. Let's go, the squad. It'll let's go good go. with the horn. What? I'm gonna go join the squad. Whoa! And this happened. Harry. I, I made $38,412.16 and this happened. I'm joining them. Oh. Wait, why are you mad at me? I didn't even do anything to you. Oh, look, there's a tractor. Wow, like we can them. see the whole... Oh, this is beautiful, man. Being up here is gorgeous. Oh, I'm in the squad's game. Like, you, you literally want... Are you... Will you quit harassing other people and get in my game? Leave them alone. <laughs> are you going in there? Leave people alone, Harry. Why? Leave people alone. Come into this... Are you bored? You can leave if you're... You don't have to... I'm playing with the squad. Okay. Well, I just don't want... I just don't want you to be bored. I feel bad now. I feel responsible. All right, there's the corn maze chat. Hopefully we can make it through. <laughs> I'm the squad right now. No, you're in this game. You're in here. <laughs> you're just messing around. Don't bother other people. They love me. I'm sure they do, but also... Oh, you're in here, you jerk. They love me. Damn it, now you made me hit tap at the... You made me hit tab at the top of the corn maze. <laughs> uh, oh, it's green. Like uh, green. Witty, if you've been watching the stream, you'd know we used both. How are you doing that? What? How are you doing that? Doing what? He's in the T pose. Who, Jerry? <laughs> yeah. He probably found a clip that's uh how, how like a pose that's glitched him? out. Is there are there emotes in the game? I don't know, he's in the T pose. Are we gonna do any animal work? Yep, we're working on getting some sheep, oh. but uh, there was a request to go see there's a corn maze in here, so we're gonna be we're gonna go through the corn maze. A corn maze. Corn. Corny, that's pretty corny. Gary, how are you doing the tea pose? Alright, I'm going through the corn maze. Also coming to... Oh, dead end. Band. be funny to like have someone chase you with a harvester while you're going through here. It's like it. Uh, it's funny like... that you mentioned it. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I knew you guys couldn't go ten... Okay. Are you guys bored of farm sim? He's oh. goof off central now. Oh, that's what happens. Well, that's why, a, that's why, a pop. try to get through the corn maze. The corn I'm maze. having fun with you guys. I want to continue with our mandatory fun. The corn maze. I oh, run into a tree. All right, I want to get the sheep going. Okay, thank you, Harry. <clears throat> Let us know if you need any help. I'll uh, be in the corn maze. I'll be out shortly, though. I am. I'm gonna buy a 71 and do it in there. I don't know how I find my way through corn mazes.
Hmm. My god, I can act. No, I can't. I don't have access to this land. <laughs> Bro. Well, this is a crazy corn maze. Oh god. <laughs> Man, this is a long corn maze. Jeez. Oh, it's pretty, I love that they made this in the game, though. Yeah, it's cool that they threw it in as kind of a little side funny thing. But it seems like it would exist. They do that a lot in the Midwest, where they do do corn mazes, and then they have uh, people come out and you pay. And we start doing some, um, getting some like corn ready to for spillaging. Uh, we could. Well, we're gonna do sheep too. first. So, do you want to do okay. grass? Uh, you could show off that new. Uh, what do you call it? The rectangle. What was it called again? Cylinder mower. Uh, yeah, but that's a mulcher, so it won't leave any oh. grass. Well, what's the purpose of gun. that then? I'm taking a get... big mower down to field seventy-one. Okay. That's what someone could bring for some windrowers and a loading wagon. Oh yeah, we may as well do that. Windrower loading wagon. What? I think I. You do corn, yeah. There's corn mazes everywhere. If you do them, they're pretty. They're pretty cool. It's a good thing you go out with the kids and go get a pumpkin, go to a corn maze. I can't even find my way through the corn maze. Wait. Oh no. Jerry, did you find your way through? Yes. You did. Yes. Good job, bro. I was waiting for you at the secret spot. There's a secret spot where. What's the secret spot? Secret spot. Right here. This is where I play farming sim. Oh, cool. <laughs> I must be on the right track then if that's there. Oh yeah, you're supposed. To, those are collectibles, by the way. You got to pick those up. So if you're looking for uh, to 100% farming sim, just go ahead and look for those collectibles. You can look at them. Uh, there's also one at the train spot at, at the north. Okay, Harry, do you need any help? I've spent too much time in this maze. Yeah, uh, I need a water bowser, a uh, wind rower, and a a loading wagon. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Oh, we did it, chat. Yay. Congrats. That's the exit. All right, cool. We did it first try. All right, uh, let's see what you need. Coming on back. A little, oh, little break. Can go in here. That's pretty cool. So what do you need from the shop? Uh, a loading wagon. A yeah. wind rower. And a I got the wind rower. You got the wind rower? Okay. Let's get Jerry a tractor to haul that. Uh, what was the other thing? Wind rower and... Water bouncer. And a loading wagon. Loading wagon. Uh, this grass has not grown either. I'm trying to see if we have a tractor that might be best for, for using that. I think we'll go with the... We might have to do a little cleanup. This would be fine for a loading wagon. I cheated. I did not chat. I did not. We'll go uh, with this tractor. We might just skip a few days so the grass grows. Oh, did you plant grass? No, it's just not grown. Uh, if we're... By the way, we don't need a wind row because with the big M you can actually have it... Um, That's true. Wind row it for you. Oh, really? Oh, well, we, we, yeah. That's like uh, augers at the backside to uh, heap up the grass. Remember, yeah, we just, we Thank just you sleep very much. once. Yeah, Thanks we for got becoming a member. Anyway, so we might as well use them now. <laughs> so you guys want me to get one of the what nows? It's called the... What's the thing called? Loading wagon. Loading wagon, okay. Okay, so or that's the one that sucks it up off the wagon. ground. Forge wagon? Yeah, that's it. Manure, slurry. Oh, there it is. Okay, yep. And then what, do you want a particular size? Uh, 
well as big as possible because it's just goes it's just gonna go straight into the trough. Mm. Get like a medium sized one maybe. Uh, you are actually cutting a little bit of grass. Yeah, but that's like nothing. Let's try this one. It's only on one side. Oh, this Ooh. is a sweet tractor. <laughs> what? Oh. I'll be over I'm in a minute. Rick. Oh. You see, the McCormick is stronger than the Crone. All right. So, if we're going to do sheep, oh, uh, Harry, don't we have to pick up the sheep? Uh, yes. Okay. If we want to, or, or we can buy them. Uh, well, why don't we transport them? Good. Could we get Jerry to buy um, yeah. a sheep tran like what, some sort of an animal carrier, and then tab over to one of the semis and try to grab that from the animal dealer? Yeah. And we can we can try to figure that out together, uh, Jerry, because I don't remember anything about that, or where we get animals. But we can buy them, load them up, and then drop them off at the paddock. Have we placed the paddock yet? Yeah, I placed it. Did you pick somewhere nice? Yes, in the grass field. Oh, so that's nice. Oh, here. nice. Well, that's good. Then we can let them out into the grass field too. Now, where is that? Uh, field seventy-one. Seventy-one. Alone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We could super realistic if we drive seven miles per hour on a one lane road <laughs> and block traffic for eight miles. Yeah. Go, Rick. <laughs> uh, Harry, do we need to give them water too? Are there little yes. water tankers? Okay. Yes. So is you there can one buy we a semi can... version as well? Oh right. Well, we could probably buy like a little water uh, storage tank, right? Like a stationary one that we can fill up. Do you remember there, there was one farm map where we, we had to go get water from like a, a lake or something and back the trailer? Yeah, just any way you can fill up the water. You can fill up the lakes and stuff. Alright, I'm going to go sleep uh, so across the ground. Okay. okay, stand by. I'll get you uh, permission. Okay, Harry wants to sleep. Jerry, I'll give you permission as soon as we're done. That was a quick sleep. Uh, it done. That was really quick. Yeah, that was uh, fast. It's getting faster. We need another one. Another one? Okay. Another one. Another one. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Yeah, ready. Okay, Jerry, I'm gonna give you permission so you can purchase things. Another one. Grown. Okay, you should be good. <clears throat> man, look at how beautiful the town is in the fall. That's gorgeous, man. That is just beautiful. This just makes me want to have, like, pumpkin pie and go on hayride. Oh, I guess that time's now. What a beautiful little town. Boy, we got so much stuff around. This is what happens, too, when you're experimenting and doing your first run. Again, I would say it's the best thing in the world to, like, cheat in money for your first time and just do all the things and go look around. Maybe you're spoiling things for yourself, but... Uh, how fast are season set for? Uh, it should be one per day by default, but you can change it. Uh, Jerry, I noticed there's a uh, trailer here. Did you... Uh... Oh, then if, if you want to tab over to a semi or buy one, you could do that. Although we have quite a few on the map. I love how I'm j just doing pointless work right now. Yeah. 
Oh, this is cool. We need hay for sheep? No, just grass. I think. Yeah, just grass and water. Okay. And we will need a thing to load their uh, sheep shavings onto like a flatbed to bring to the spinnery. Okay, so field 71, where's that, Harry? In the north? Uh, that's where I am. It's down <coughs> in the south. South middle. Ah, down there, okay. Oh, I see the sheep. S sheep barn, okay. So take a left and then head down. You're watching from the Netherlands? Awesome, welcome, Mad Dog. Uh, playing Farming Sim 19, waiting for release so you can start on 22. 22 is just... It's really awesome. And this is just beautiful. This is a, just a wonderful little... Uh, those fall colors like that, that right there just makes me want to, like, permanently stay in the in the fall season no matter what. It's beautiful. And turn on visual seasons. So you oh. can uh, permanently stay in the fall season. Oh, really? Visually. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm down with that forever, then. I'd love to have a year-round, like, autumn vineyard. Oh. Go to... Game settings. Turn on visual season and you can set what season you want. Dude, look at how cool this is, man. Alright, Rick, I'll give that a try. Thank you. That guy's not going to like me. <laughs> the guy behind me. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming down with the uh, the bin. Sweet. Oh, don't tell me there's a low bridge up here. That's awesome. This is incredible, Pog Lad. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love that bridge crossing right there. That's awesome. Is that a is that the railroad bridge? It's the woodchip bridge. Oh, it is. It is a railroad bridge. That's beautiful, man. You want to see the animal animations? Oh, that's that's a good idea. Hopefully, they're uh, they got some liveliness to them. That is beautiful. Favorite farm sim activity so far? I really just liked, um, lo you know, doing a harvest and, and bailing with the guys. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but animals seem like they'll be a lot of fun because they'll require, uh, like, you could do 24-hour care for them where you can, at any time, just stop what you're doing to go mow grass or whatever. Okay, so we're here. The boys are doing mowing then. Are you guys mowing? You are? Yeah, it's on the left hand side. Okay, and there's our sheep paddock. And then, uh... So, Jerry's gonna load up with sheep then. Yep. And I'm gonna load up with grass. And then we'll need water too. Okay, let's go ahead and lower this down and get it started up. Let's see. Okay, so we need to bring this down. Oh. oh, I'm controlling the front. There we go. No, that's the back. Um, Harry. Yes. I'm in the uh, forge wagon right now. Yes. How do I bring the uh, how do I bring the front of it down? It. I thought so. 
press X. Looks as uh, well. X to unfold, thank you. Yeah. Oh, then down, got it. So yeah. unfold, drop, and then pop. Cool. I knew I knew there was another step. And this tractor's great. Yeah, did you find some sheep there, Jerry? Yes. Were they cheap sheep? No. Uh-oh. They were expensive? You were supposed to keep the cheap sheep in tip-top shape. Chip shape, cheap sheep. Wait, how many sheep are you buying? Oh, 38. Eh. That's fine. Yeah, like 100 would be fine around there. Wait, how many can you haul at a time? 38. Oh, 38. Okay. Alright, so Jerry's at the... Now, where's the... Uh, where's that store, Jerry? The storage for the animals? Yeah, the animals... Uh, what they call it? Dealer? The animal dealer? Where's that? And it has the icon. It's like northwest-ish. Northwest map? Okay. Oh, look at how beautiful this is, man. October is just so beautiful in this game. Yeah, Jerry's being bad. That's right, Chad, yeah. Is Rick still alive? Yep. Oh, is that the... Is it, oh, that mower's been in for a million years. Yeah. It that has. mower has been in for a million years. It's so good this way. Yeah. I kind of miss the the class cougar. A twelve meter mower, I think. Also a self propelled one. I'm glad you guys aren't feeling sheepish. This thing's only 66 full. Another thing is, too, is we can use these wagons to store. Is there any other way to, to store the grass, Harry? Not yeah. sure. I don't think so. I think you just keep you just, it in the uh, trailer. Dip it on a pile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that, too. Oh, and then, then you can use the skid steer to just dump it in, right? Yeah. yeah. This reminds me, there are actually some machines that are good for grassland. Grassland care. Yeah, dinner's on us. We're working on making dinner right now for all of you. Uh, making bread. You're not vegan. Arrived. You can bale grass. Uh, can, actually, yeah. can you do can you do that in this game though? Like, yeah. But when you feed the sheep, you need to wait. Oh yeah, because then you put you them in the bale shredder. Way. Yeah. Oh yeah. For things like TMR and stuff, it's for like cows and stuff. Yeah, TMR is total mixed ration for cows. Yeah. yeah. Jerry. Jerry's turned up with the sheep. 
But Jeremy Clarkson does not like sheep. Looking very sheepish. And I have all the grass ready to go. Wow, oh, that was uh, 46,000 liters just from what I did in that small section. Keep it coming, Jerry. I wish we could make... Is there a way to make roads, Harry? Like, can we make, like, nice little dirt roads for ourselves? I presume you can. Because it would be nice to, like, you know, around some of these fields to make our own little dirt road. You should take the 8S. It has a bit more power. Oh, look at the sheep. Okay, chat. I'll do that with our next one. Harry, you just picked him up again. <laughs> oh, is uh, Jerry dropping off the power. sheep? Amen, right. brother. I think she knows it. Oh wow, that's a lot of sheep. Is that is that the medium size, big size? It's the big size. So we back in here to feed them, right? Yep. Ooh, it has a nice little. Wait, why has it got like a pink glow? Is, are those warming lamps for them? Yeah. Wow. Even warm, yeah. That's cool. Why don't we just give them a wool sweater? Where do you get wool from? I don't know. The store, duh. Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take that, Harry. There you go. Uh, bah. So that only takes 25% of this uh, I don't even trailer. Need it was only 25% uh, percent to feed them. Yeah, so they don't even need water. Oh, really? Yeah. Roads will cut into profit? No, no. Building dirt roads will keep it cheap, but also maximize due to travel time. Hello. Oh, good. They're not all, like, standing around and stuff. Some of them are actually, like, laying around. Health is 0%, though. How do we get that health up? Does it, it just come up? up? It just needs, just needs to update. Oh, okay. So over time, it'll go up based on... Um... Oh, yeah. The animations yep. are great. This is full now. And then they also come out here to eat a little bit. That's great. So we don't need to give them water? Nope. There's an automatic trough here. Wait, what is this? A little office? Yeah, you oh. see all your stats and stuff in there. Oh, you can go in here. Oh. Uh, looks like it's done by a damn mod. <laughs> the hell? That's mod style. That doesn't seem like it was made by the devs. Yeah. Okay. You're impressed with the animals? I think they're great. Although it looks like some of them are like trying to eat grass while they're in here. But, you know. Not that big of a deal. It's cool to actually hear them eating and stuff, though. No, apparently they... Yeah, apparently sheep don't drink water. Well, there's actually water over here, but they don't... Uh, it doesn't seem like it needs to be filled up. It looks like it's automatic. There's water in these green things. Okay, very good. How about chickens? We don't have to transport chickens, do we? They're just automatic? No, do we have to try and buy one? Buy we could. A, um, thing. We could get... I, uh, I think you need grain for it. All oh, right. Well, we do have a lot left over in our uh, one of our trailers, don't we? I think so. All right. Well, how much how much grain do we need for them though? Just a little bit. It wouldn't even be worth getting one of our trailers, would it? Chat, look at how beautiful that looks. That is Poglad gorgeous. That is Bob Ross Poglad. The game really does look gorgeous. New member. I put it in between my chrome. Bon, bon, bon. Jen Shu, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Thanks for smashing that join button. Welcome aboard. Well, let's try let's try chickens next. I'd like to I'd like to do that. You guys want to keep on trucking? You can get three hundred and sixty yeah. chickens. What? Three hundred and sixty chicken yeah, this, dino this nuggets from Chat. Chat, you better get working. Harry said we can get three sixty. Oh, where are we gonna put our chicken coop then? I've already placed it. Oh, you did? Where? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> next to the sheep. Oh, next to the sheep. Okay. D so how do we feed them? Is it grain or do we just buy like a seed bag? Which uh, would be weird, but I could see it w making sense yeah, in the game. Yeah, it's just grain. 
Okay. Well, I'll go grab a little bit Wheat, of grain. Barley, or sorghum. All right, I'll go grab some wheat for them. Oh, this is just freaking beautiful. What a beautiful game. Uh oh, what? Our f wait, how does our... <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, we skipped a couple of days, didn't we? I was going to say, how does one of our fields already have weeds in it? We just harvested, but I, I forgot we... I like... See, I really like how you can almost have it be the same time... Of, like, you can set your game to look like fall, but to go through the seasons, but then to also have it look like the same time of day all the time. Which is cool, because it's like, if you, if you just want to play at a certain time all the time, it just gives you options. And that means it's going to help everybody else to have a good time. Are you guys having a good time? One's in chat. Well, there's just six more hours left on your ship, Rick. Yeah. Your, to your 20-minute break. That has now been pushed down to 10. Yeah, options are good. Because sometimes you're in the mood for it, you know, maybe you'll, you'll just want to uh, do, like, some connection. winter activities. Why is it only happening to me? I don't know, Smiley. Look at that. <coughs> I'm kind of tempted to to also join John's game. <laughs> See you guys need to leave John alone, okay? <laughs> John, John is Gerald. Yeah, join is Jerry. Get get banned. Get Jerry's account banned. <laughs> get green banned. Oh, look at that load up oh. though. That's nice. <coughs> I got a feeling we might need Ooh, a lot of green. What That's is it? Really Did you hear about the crossover content between Don't Starve and Terraria? No, I haven't. Terraria. That sounds really cool. Terraria. This is really cozy though. Like tonight, I think after I'm done streaming and stuff, I'm gonna go make a, a farm and I'll show you guys a time lapse video of me building. I, I hope we get to put down our. Do, do you guys know if we get to put down our own custom trees and stuff? Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to be able to build my own farm. Fences, gate posts, and everything. Actually, I think I should have stayed on that road, but that's okay. Look at that. That's awesome, man. That's what it's like in the Midwest. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys should visit. We have Wendy's. Okay, I'm coming. Actually, they have Wendy's in the UK now. Here, have you gone yet? No. Do you want money? I'll, g I'll give you money. You can go to Wendy's. Do you want Wendy's money? Yes. Well, you can have Wendy's money, Wendy's. Okay. <laughs> I've lost connection again. Wait, Rick, what is going on with your internet all the time in every game we play? You even bought the, be the better internet now. What happened? It's it. I don't think it's my internet, but it, it must oh, yeah. be because it's only me. I don't know. That's true. Nobody else has had issues. I got issues. You got them too. I shouldn't have uh, come over here. This was. Oh, this was regret. Good. <laughs> Well, we're you gonna can do see it. the train comes anyway. We're gonna do a Clarkson's farm. Oh, you've seen me in trains. Are well, then true. You guys aren't blocking me. This oh god. Oh, now we gotta wait for the sink. God, the sinking takes forever in this. Ever. Game. Oh my god, eight seconds or la actually like four, five. Six. Well, to be to be fair, it's Rick's internet. Yeah. <laughs> Rick, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need Harry's so Harry's Nan. Internet. <laughs> on both his mom and dad's sides, and also two of his cousins to become Raptor Ultimate members, all wait. <laughs> like we all are, waiting for you to join. Taking that long this time? Is Rick Dutch? He sounds like he's talking English with a Dutch tone. And no, he's uh, using a Dutch tone phone. He's actually Canadian. <laughs> wait, now we're stun locked. Hey. You've. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna no, cross here. Yeah, Rick, I, Rick's Canadian. Ah, I crashed again. Oh, this is a horrible idea, horrible idea, horrible idea. Okay. 
Yeah, I might be Dutch. You're actually Canadian. I mean, my game rig is actually Wi Fi. Canadian. Canadian. A. Hey, Putin. Snow. Huh? What more Dude, Canadian? look at that. Our that style. is beautiful. Are you nearly here yet? With the grain, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. There's 350 chickens there waiting for some grain. Are they hungry? Yes. That's a lot of dino nuggets there, Harry. Yes. Harry, what are you doing tomorrow? Could not connect. What? Playing farming sim, again. cool. Work. Yeah, that's what I said. No work. Screenshot. Look at that. Damn. Yeah, screenshot. That's pretty. Pretty. Pretty cool. Where's more grain? Pretty chat. Bob Ross, beautiful. The Swedish Postal Service approves this video. Eh. Tax it, make it, dude. Cheaper than musical chairs. Ah. Yeah, coming, dude. Bad, dude. Thanks for like clicking, dude, and tapping right fast. Goofy Lord, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Rap Pack. So if if you guys look at this and you're and you're not really liking how it kind of looks bland and it looks like Harry just plopped down two buildings on the grass, he did. It's true. But the cool thing is, is that we have a construction option to be able to like paint all the ground, so add some details, some fences, you know, maybe like a little grain silo, and maybe um like a uh, See, there is a grain silo. Yeah, there is a grain silo. If you add like a solar panels or something like that out here, some windmills, oh, it'd be really cool. Again. So, if you're not liking the detail here, remember you can always add more stuff. Wow. I hope restarting the game will have helped. Yeah. Do you guys know the hotkey for hiding the UI? I think we looked for it, but we didn't. Uh, we couldn't find it. Well, we'll look. We'll look again. Wow, chat! Almost one thousand two hundred likes. Thank you, everybody, Impossible. for all the support. One's in chat. If you're a subscriber, I've lost connection. What? All right, Rick. I think. Okay, Rick. You can you can stop acting. We get it. You don't want to play anymore. Have a good it's night, time dude. For a wrap. <laughs> we get it, dude. You've had time enough farming for, for one day. Just as long as you don't play with Rick. <laughs> time wow. for a wrap. Maybe for you. Yeah. We'll be after you dump the grain. Oh. Well, then I'll see you later. <laughs> Why is it not working? Yeah, but this game is uh, very realistic and it has a lot more features than any of the other previous ones did. It has some problems too with traction and a few other things, but honestly, I don't know if those are things that they're going to that they're already aware of that they'll buff out by the time this comes out. That this comes out, who knows? All right, where do we dump this stuff, Harry? I need to uh, by the silo there. Okay. Well, I hope it's a time. thing they have already fixed in the um, release version. I agree. Hey, I mean. Oh, this is cool. So for the chickens, you can actually put the put it in a silo. That's nice. And that grain is going up. Wow, that is wow. It's taking a whole trail. Okay, so this could actually take a couple of trailers. But that's cool because like the chickens will basically be on auto mode then. Like once you feed them, you can just basically leave them yeah. alone. Is there water here either or no? Uh, no. It's uh, the water's already sorted. No water. But you said there were water tanks. What would that be used for? I mean, I guess the chickens wouldn't really take much water. I mean, they do, but not really. All right, well, that was one full delivery. That's pretty much full. Oh, it's pretty full? Okay. Yeah. I wonder if they're profitable at the start. Like, if you do, if you do your first harvest, buy chicken. How much were the chickens? You guys remember? Uh, like 50, 50 pound each. So 50 times. How many did you buy, Jerry? 300? Or wait, no. You didn't have uh, to ship yeah. them here, did you? Yeah. You had to pay for shipping as well. Oh. But can you pick but them up? Chat was asking. 
Is there an option? So. Oh. oh, I don't think so. That's that's re. Wait a minute. Under farmland, can we buy farmland? Yeah. You can buy fields. Oh, and then you have to buy the land separately. Oh, so there's certain areas you can't take ownership of. Yeah, that's what I mean. But like, by the bridges. Oh, and chat saying waters for the greenhouses. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Let me do some painting so our area doesn't look Water. like trash. What are those? Okay, that's gravel, grass. This will make things look nice, chat. We're gonna make things look poglad. Animal Harry, mud. I got something better than a foraging wagon. A forage harvester. Wait, these are the only options? There's gotta be more options than this. No, there's got to be more options than just this. Animal mud, asphalt, dirt, forest ground, grass, and gravel? There's got to be more than that. Oof. If you guys go to the um, landscaping tab under construction, is there... Are there other options for you guys? By the way, N and M, uh, you could change your brush size. Yes. True. Okay, let me do a little painting. Some of you might not like this and think it's boring, but honestly, we'll keep in mind it'll delete stuff on the ground. Oops. Oh, that's okay. Some of you might think this is boring, but honestly, it'll add a little... It'll make it look cool, trust me. I think I'm going to go. I need to go. I have work tomorrow. Uh, no, we're, we're at work right now. Are you? Yeah, going? work tomorrow. Gotta we're go. content farms. We're creating content and making my wildest dreams come true. Yeah. Content I'm kidding. Harry, anyway, thank you very much for all the setups you did over the last couple of days. I can't wait to see what else we come up with. Thank you for being yes, here for the sir. inaugural first stream. It was a pleasure to have you with us, and I'm glad you came. Thank you, sir. We'll see you uh, tomorrow then, lad. Yes, that's fine. Let's get Actually, some Pog Lads in the chat on Pog Lads Way Out. And I'll keep on, we're keeping on trucking. Pog Lads his, over and out. In his absence as he takes his leave for nappy uh, time. I've lost connection. Okay, okay, Rick, we get it. We already gave you an out twice, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I don't want outs. I shall see you lot tomorrow. All right, dude. We'll see you. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. Bye. So, Chad, this will look a little nicer. It won't be too much more fancy, but... Check plants for actual grass. Ah, yeah. Oh, nice. Good job, Chad. Yeah, so we can add uh, grass there if we want to. Some bushes. Baked beans? Question mark? Hey, I'm in again. Oh, look at how nice it is to make... Oh, dude, that's really easy. Keep in mind, we're doing this like... We're doing this like fast mode, right? This like speed build mode. But look at that. You can make some nice hedges. Throw in some trees then. You can imagine if somebody actually talented made their own farm. <laughs> how good it would look. Yeah, I know. Well, and then and that's the thing, too, is that there's a lot of customization you can do in the farming for things like the um, solar panels and stuff. That's going to be really cool. You know, like if you make your own... Yeah. Ad, in fact, I can add that now. And go into uh, production generators. So then we can add, like, a big windmill nearby. Like, this area could be powered. Wow, this windmill even has a solar panel on it. Damn. When you get that meta where, you're, <laughs> where your solar panel's on a windmill, that's crazy. And we can also do some more over here if we want to. Oh, we actually own this uh, land here, so we can boom, boom, put a windmill right there. 
Well, would you look at that, chat? So now we got a, uh, as you can see, it's continuously spinning. It's generating, <laughs> it's generating power. Oh, but there you go. Like, look, that took 10 seconds. It looks a lot nicer. It's not perfect, but you know, like I just, I barely did anything and it's way better than it was. It actually looks some, something decent, you know, and we can keep on improving. Now, the only other question I have is, can we actually add stuff to the road where we go up to the edge? Let's see. Like, what if we made a dirt road coming in here like this? Holy crap, we can do it. Check that out. That looks pog lad as hell. Just add a little dirt around the edge. I'm using 0% of my network. Oh, and I lost connection again. <laughs> You're checking your network's the problem. Every time you open that thing I, up. I just pulled up uh, Task Manager to see what's the problem. But... Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. It's funny how you tried to fix the issue, though, and it only made it worse. That's how life goes, yeah. though. That's how life goes. Yep. That is amazing, chat. That's that's freaking Bob Ross. That's really Poglad Bob Ross. Like, seriously, the combo. Because now we have a nice little uh, dirt path coming in here. It's kind of mud, but, you know, we can repaint it, however. Hopefully tomorrow it will be better. Like, I look should at probably also gotta go off. Abandoning when to needed tomorrow. most. No, it's cool, dude. Have a good uh, one. Salt Jerry. It's, no, not Jerry. Salt Harry Salt. <laughs> no, it's fine. You both have been, had a big old, what, six hour day? How long have we been playing? Uh. Well, let me refresh your stream. Oh, stream has uh, been going for yeah, six, six hours, hours and 13 minutes. Wow, boys. That's been a long... Ooh, look at the decorations. Let's actually make this look nice. <gasps> dude, look at how they made the fences work. I is it point to point? It is. Oh, dude. Yeah. No waste of time with the whole, like, you know, trying to line things up and whatnot. Oh, my... Oh, and the, f the fences, bro. Look at the variety. Look at that variety, man. Oh, dude. Oh, well, let me go fun, over guys. here. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, man. Take care. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Oh, look at, look at how close they let us build to the road. Oh, that's very nice. That's very cool, dude. There's a lot of fences. That's nice. There's got to be more options, though, for painting ground. There's got to be. Maybe it's uh, limited to each... Um, maybe it's limited to each uh, map type. Well, Jerry is here now. Jerry, are you here? Yeah, Jerry yes. is here. Yes. Valued, valued viewer and longtime member... Jerry. How's it going, Jerry? Good. What are you thinking about the game so far? Is it your cup of tea or nah? Oh, yeah. It's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. The voice <laughs> of confidence, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Excitement is here tonight. <clears throat> with a vote of confidence. Yeah, I can't find grass. a fence. What'd you say? No more grass. You don't want any more grass? Nope. You've had enough? Hi, Chad. Billy Nelson here, and you're lucky I'm here. Well, luckily, Billy Nelson's here. <laughs> Those are some nice little fences. That, dude, see, look at how cool that looked. You can make your own... You can really start your nice little own f old farm. It'd be cool to start with, like, a chicken coop, a small little grain field. I'd love to do some challenge maps. That'd be awesome. You start with a little grain, uh, like a little wheat field, some small equipment. Do all small-scale stuff. Fit as much stuff into a small area as you can. That's awesome. Harry's still in the game? Yeah, looks okay. That's weird. Oh, look at how beautiful this map is, dude. I'm, I'm f just hardcore pog right now. Let's check some more decorations. Oh my god, there's lighting. And there's tiny little unnecessary buildings, like a wooden shed. Oh, that's so cool. So we can put a shed next to the thing to look like it's storing stuff. All these set pieces, dude. A little garage. That's awesome. You're hyped for the game? Oh, it's that's cool, dude. This means we can like put extra little set pieces down if we want to. However we want to do things. Garden shed. Or here, we can do like a f quadruple floodlight. Which I think was Jerry's uh, nickname in, in college. <laughs> 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 Why 
Wow, medium floodlight. Oh, look at that. You can put it right in the middle of your farm. I bet it works at nighttime, too. I'm sure it'll light up the whole map. Or the area that you've chosen to have lit. And dank. That's kind of cool. Let me put that near the... Uh... That's so cool. Let's put that there. And then so we can notice it, let's put a... Maybe we'll put a building next to it. Nah, I don't know. Uh, your stream made me buy it just by the f just by <laughs> the fences is what sold you. That's good. Yeah, the lightning's gonna be cool too. I think at nighttime. It's too bad we can't just flip on and off night, but it is cool that like this is one of those games where sure you get a lot of money and stuff, but it's nice that it's not about just vehicles anymore. The game just used to be big vehicle, big vehicle, big vehicle, big vehicle, and now it's actually like you can put care into building a. Uh, there'll be a lot of wowa this week of people driving on the side of cliffs and. You know, building a cliffside Wawa pit farm. You know, they'll build a hole and they'll build a farm. And I built a farm of perpetual misery and this happened. Wawa, I spent $13,822. Yeah, that's totally fine. Like, you enjoy it any way that you want. But the cool thing is now there's more options to enjoy it any way you want, which is lovely. Let's see. Well, let's do a little bit more landscaping and then we'll, we'll move on to something else so Jerry doesn't lose his sanity. Because Jerry is here. Isn't that right, Jerry? Jerry is here. Jerry is here. Sure. We'll add a little mud there. Oh, too bad I can't have like dirt go out onto the road. But look at that, chat. We made a nice little. Uh... Boy, I kind of like would would like to design our little own, our little old farm. What, what do you want to do on a farm, Jerry? What do you like most about farming? <laughs> Long time farmer, Jerry. <laughs> You know, uh, kill monsters, get loot. Killing monsters and getting loot. Oh right, yeah. that that's a type of farming. Yeah, loot. <laughs> oh, we gotta we gotta make a, a cryptocurrency barn. So let's make a a crypt crypto mining op. Let's see if we can put down. Actually, is there? I, I think there's set pieces for buildings that are just dumb. Oh yeah, like farm. Okay, so you can put down a farmhouse. Oh, they only have one design for it, but that's okay. But they have containers. See, now look at this. This is great. Water tanks, petrol tanks, uh, fertilizer tanks. A vehicle workshop. So yeah, you can put a vehicle workshop out here. Or way station. Dude, electric vehicle thing. Oh, this is like a little weather monitoring. Power washer, nice. Put that down over by the barn. Actually, I think the whole side of the chicken coop doesn't really have anything going on. What can we do for shelters for vehicles? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, there. Wow. We can buy a, a shelter that's the size of the entire area we worked on. Then there's also small stuff we can buy, too. Like, uh, probably. Holy crap. <gasps> this one has solar panels on it. And it actually gives you money. $60 per hour if you build that. It'll pay for itself. That's actually cool. If you wanted to uh, store your vehicles, that'll help to pay for them. That's really cool. Do we have a small storage, please? Oh, here we go. That's that's more like it. Oh, and it actually uh, it's the same like art style. Jerry, can you like see me moving stuff around the map, or what does it look like to you? Um, only when I put it in, right? I, yeah, only when you place it. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, clearly, yeah, obviously some things are going to be larger than others. But it's cool. You have all these options for all this stuff. It's really cool. Silos, silo extensions, containers, tools. I really want to put in a small building, but some, some of these shelters are just too big. I think we can also store things in these, too. Like we can dump potatoes on the ground underneath or something. Well, let's put a... I don't know. Let's put a container here. We'll put a container for a large petrol near the chicken coop. Just to say we put something down. And I'll put a little building by it. 
Okay. Make it look a little more than just something boring. Overlaps with another object. Oh, they want clearance on either side. Okay. Well, that's a shame. You're only going to be pulling up to one side of the pump, though. Can you move something? Oh, you can rename something. Or sell it. I want this to look nice. Dude, we should... Oh, chat. One's in chat if you think it'd be cool to see us build, like, a custom farm from scratch. I really... I, I don't know, I feel like... Jerry, you're, you're liking this, right? You like you you don't have to like it. It's not mandatory like like with the others. You can be honest and open with me. Uh oh. Jerry knows that's a trap. He doesn't have I to like answer. You. Hmm? I like you. Well that oh my god, thank you. We should bro, we should start a farm together. <laughs> bro, we should start farming. Um. I want to make it look nice, dude. Like I actually care. <gasps> I got some, one person gave me a one in chat. Oh, that's wonderful. The biogas plants. Oh yeah, biogas. Oh, <laughs> that'll actually generate electricity and give us money. Man, this I I'm just this is heavenly. I love this. Okay, let me go back to buildings. Others production. There we go. Oh, now I can place it down. Interesting. So I can place the gas tank next to the I can place the gas tank next to the building, but not the building next to the gas tank. Okay. So it's possible, you just gotta do it in a specific order. Okay, let's add some more lights and we'll call it good. That's a hell of a light. Ah, of course, I can't place it there. God. So weird how they don't let you do that. You can customize buildings too? Oh, really? Seems like we can rename buildings, but I don't see options for customization. Let's sell that. I just want to... Yeah, it looks like it won't let us build near the fuel tank, which is very strange. Can we? Uh, I'm not sure. I see the option to sell things, but I, yeah, I don't see too many options in that. We'll move on from this in a moment. I'm just pretty curious about customizing my own stuff. It's, it seems to be very fun to actually build a... You know, Rick and, uh, Rick and Harry are pretty good at getting things done at a price of your sanity. <laughs> but Cherry and me are very... Uh, uh, get her done. I wouldn't say goal oriented. That wouldn't. That wouldn't be truthful. We're get her done oriented. <laughs> oh, biomethane station and electric charging station. Jerry, we should do like a little a little chicken farm with a little electric tractor and a little farmhouse. <laughs> we'll call it Old McDonald. Click or tap join. Okay, that's really annoying that you're you're allowed to put things down, but you have to do it in a specific order. So, like, according to the game's logic, we weren't allowed to put the uh, the shed or the light next to the gas tank. But if we put the shed and the light tank, uh, the light post down first, the tank can go next to it, which is like okay. But then that means if I want to put something here, I have to delete the thing, and then there's like th there could be a nice storage area here. Like we like we could put some nice stuff right here. 
Like, I don't know, we could put an implement there or something. Which is cute. Oh, it looks like it changes the style of landscape around it, too. I like that. Lady Shiva with the big O two O. Thank you very much for all your support. Chad, look at this. That's that's me. I, I made this. With Jerry's help. Build a Empire Raptor style. Uh, I'm going to do Empire Carpets. That's about the only Empire I could get. Oh, Jerry. Welcome back. Use the chicken droppings to power the biofuel generator. I think the only thing I can do that is cows for biomethane. So you Thanks can actually use that. the entertainment while I went through nursing school. I'm officially <gasps> done in a week. You did it? Oh, you're almost done, Lady Shiva. Congratulations. Much love to you. Let's get some Lego hearts in chat. Not only for you, but the fact that you put in a buttload of effort to become a nurse. Good for you. Good luck to you as well. Hope everything goes well. Well, well, well. All right, Jerry. I want to do some more stuff. What do you feel like doing, man? We could do cows. I wish we could do, like, turkeys and stuff, too. Thanksgiving's coming up. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to do a little turkey farm? Turkeys would be cool. I like turkeys. The only other time I have turkeys with turkey sandwiches. <laughs> the 8S time? All right, I'll I'll drive the 8S. Do you want me to build just like a per, like a private base, <laughs> like a military fortress for the for the uh, Massey Ferguson 8S? I think you should be able to change time uh, because it's 8:04 all the time. Yes, you can you can continue time, but we're playing in real time, so that way it kind of is always daytime. If it goes night or whatever, it's a little harder to see for some people and whatnot, so. Okay. I'm loving this. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, you can you can basically buy a field and put a whole farm on it. And as you can see, farm 11 here is, or 71 is a pretty good spot to actually build like a whole farm. Size-wise though, I think I'd go with probably, mm, and location, I would go with field. Maybe like Field 11 up there would be a good spot. Let's go take a look at that. I want to see. What does this field look like? It's probably Oh, it's all rounded. Yeah. Uh, you could definitely flatten this out, though. All of this landscape could be deleted and flattened out. We'll probably try that at the start of our next stream. Which would be kind of cool. I like that idea. What do you think, Mandatory? Uh, attendance, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, dude. Okay. Yeah. I want to actually go take a look at the trees on the left side. I'm going to run over there quick. I have not seen this logging section on the left side. Do you want to do some more logging, Jerry? It could be a good two-man yeah, op. Do log. You want to do logging? Okay. How about you buy us a... Maybe we could get a small track. We could use the small methane tractor and a little trailer. We can cut down some trees and uh, see if we can bring it back to the lumber mill. Buy whatever you'd like, Jerry. And we're going to go logging, brother. It's good for a two-man op. As well as um, also taking care of animals is pretty easy. Once you've got them, uh, once you've got something to harvest, it's pretty easy to take care of them. Hmm. You need a pallet or something to collect your eggs and wool. Uh, yes. Well, they actually will spawn on a pallet, I think. And then we can load them onto trucks and stuff. All right, this is going to be really cool. All right, Jerry, I'll meet you at the store. And we're going we're gonna to do... We'll do a logging company together. A, a small time logging. What should we call it? We gotta come up with a pun for our, our logging company. Chat, me and Jerry have started our own logging company. What do we call it? It's gotta be funny. I wanna get like, oh, I love this little tractor, dude. The one for grape farming is perfect. What is the size of that one? The Woodchuck Wood Company. Uh, let's see. Uh, forestry equipment. We can sort that under packs. Okay, so we have some good old-fashioned log trailers. Oh, yeah. There's the Anderson, the old loading method. That one you used to have to sit in that, and that was a real mess. The old way to do it. The old way. Oh, there's a John Deere. Oh, they actually have weights. Specific weights for that. 
I like how the game gives you suggestions on how to get started. Like a lot of a lot of it can be overwhelming. So, but I would like to see the uh, biofuel. Yeah, the methane powered tractor. Let's do that. Although I don't know why it's so shiny. I, I do there. I do not like that at all. That is way too shiny. It's powered by methane. That's pretty cool, actually. I want to see how this works. Let's try out this methane-powered tractor. I also would like to try one of these smaller tractors. This one's for the um, for the vineyard. This one's got 112 horses. This one's got oh, good too. Oh, they suggest this one. Let's get it in red. Oh. Gross or blue? Oh. Yeah, we probably want that. And too bad it's green. Now we'll get the plus 11 variant. Oh, Jerry's buying everything he wants. Nice. Jerry's going <laughs> on a spending spree. Yeah, that's right. His first time. He wants to goof around. Let him do it. Alright, let's listen to this engine. Now oh, this is methane. Oh, it sounds like diesel. Well, kind of. Well, it certainly doesn't sound like a regular motor. That's cool. Deforestation Incorporated. That's cool. Okay, let's try the smaller... Oh, wow. Jer okay, well, Jerry, I was going to go with... I was thinking about starting small, but... Uh, <laughs> you do you. I'm going to go small, because I think it's cool for solo ops. Do whatever you want, my man. All right, let's try a log and trailer. Does the game have like? Do they sort it by small trailers? Oh, m maybe miscellaneous. Oh yeah. What the hell is this thing? Oh, this is for pa uh, pallet transportation. That is that. That's a Minnesota license plate right there. They went with the. Uh, I think Iowa has this hue too. It's definitely, definitely Midwest. Now, do we have a chainsaw? We do. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, we should call it Log Lad. Log Lad. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna start some small time logging operation. Oh, this is going to be really satisfying. This is really cool. Chad, do you guys watch uh, homestead-like videos of, like, uh, people who own property? Uh, you know, not necessarily always farmers, but sometimes there's people, like, own cabins and maybe some small gardens or farms. It's not even anything major. Uh, but you ever watch anybody who, like, maintains their own property with, like, some small tractors and small equipment or whatnot? It's pretty damn cool. Uh, I might buy this game if it has silos that you can put down. It does. To dispense fertilizers and such that you don't have to fill up 
from the farm shop. I think so. I think you can put down a fertilizer silo and then um, you can fill up from the silo. I'll do a quick check for you. Let me check. Uh, container. Let's say uh, stainless steel fertilizer tank. Let's put that over. Oh, we have to do it in the land that we own. I'm pretty sure you can, though. I think when you put these down... I think you can go up to them and press R or something like that. And I think I think you can purchase and then it'll auto put it in there. And then you just take from the tank, I think. It's a lot more expensive to buy the tank and the fertilizer too. So it gives you the option to do it all. Whichever way you want. Alright, I'm going to go in, out and see if I can put some logs on this trailer. We'll do some small scale logging now. It'll be, it'll be nice and satisfying. That's something 19 was missing? Oh, I thought that was a 19. Oh, this thing is zippy. Now yeah, we're purposely trying to do some smaller scale stuff now. So where do we want to go? All the way to the left. Oh, it's basically all the way at the end of this road. Oh, this is perfect for logging. Log lad. Oh, that was a mod in Farming Sim? Really? Okay, I must have... Hmm. I thought I thought there were some silos that you started with that were empty, and then you could either choose to load them up or... Huh. Okay, then. Jerry, is this ultra chill? Yeah. Brain off mode? I think it is. All right. And second thought, this trailer is like, almost, or this tractor is like, even a little too small. But uh, it's okay. It'll be nice back in the woods because then we won't have to worry about executing a 14-point turn. It's like a step up from the pickup. <laughs> Look at how tiny this tractor is. Yeah, that's what the Midwest looks like, by the way. If any of you are wondering. Uh, Iowa, Minnesota, a lot of places like that look like that with the highway having a, a big ditch in the middle and that kind of thing. Is this one person game or is it multiplayer? I'll oh, play multiplayer. Jerry is with me and J Jerry is here. And we're just going to do some smaller scale logging. As you can see, our first harvest went pretty well with the amount of money we got. Jerry stumbled upon ultra rare titanium and he sold it to Jeff Bezos for one Bezos buck, which is the new ultra crypto. Mega. Worth a lot. By the way, chat, if you're interested in NFTs, I don't sell any. <laughs> but you could become a member today if you'd like to. Click or tap join and become a member today. Wow. Bum, 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 bum. Right, this looks like the cutoff for the... Oh, it's the next, next one. We'll take the next one. Oh, Miller's Sawmill. Okay, so there's a sawmill on the other side. Ooh, satisfying. This fits perfectly. Free Culver's with every join. Oh, bro, if I could give you guys Culver's gift cards, damn. Could you imagine if I teamed up with Culver's <laughs> to give you guys, like, a Culver's shout-out? This shout-out brought to you by Culver's. All right, I'm going to use the mouse and keyboard a little bit here. Is there a deer up by the road? Yeah, it feels crispy out here. Like The weather definitely feels crispy. Don't have access to the land. What do you mean? You can't even go f log him without buying the land? Oh. $1.1 million to do basic logging? That's a scam. Oh, what about the players who want to start small? Oh. 
Man, if they made different game modes in this game, I'd love it. It'd be cool if they did quick start game modes like small logging company, big, you know, whatever, and then just let you start with a few things and some property, and then you could just go from there and do whatever you wanted. Eh, they need to do that. I can see now why the boys were buying so much land. That's annoying. Also, shouldn't have to buy the land? Maybe rent it or something? Or not, something. Yeah, some quick start modes would be cool. Because sometimes people don't, people want to play, sometimes they just don't know what to do. Can I not... Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, this tree is 148 kilograms, so we can carry... I think we can carry anything under 200. And the width of this... or the length of this trailer is about... Well, 7.8 meters, so we... The tree's probably 10. Small scale logging. Oop. What? Okay, that was weird. Can we get sugar from sugar cane? Yep, uh, in this game you can uh, grow sugar cane. They have uh, the south of France is one of the maps. It's beautiful, by the way. And it's a very good map for um, yeah, sugar cane and um, grapes and olives too. You can do it anywhere. I don't think the game restricts you from growing olives here in this landscape. Um, I'm not sure how much weather plays into that in terms of like affecting the crop. Yeah, Kyle Ridd, you could you can do that in real life if you want. <laughs> Not in the game, though, I don't think. Mods, though, mods, mods. So any question will probably end up in a yes because of how cool the modding community is. Very talented, very skilled. And they like to make more fun out of a good game. Any winemaking? Yeah, if they did that, it would make the game... Uh, the game would then become... Uh, a like uh, they would have to put an alcohol warning on it that it's a thing that you can do or make or that is mentioned in the game so they would have to raise its maturity level so they just call it grape juice but you know what it means when you go to France to make wine if nobody there is drinking grape juice unless it's like a grade school kid but that's just to get them hooked on wine or phonics anybody here ever get hooked on phonics I think Jerry was once oh yeah Okay, so anything under over 200 uh, kilograms we can't move. Damn. So we gotta go for smaller trees. So definitely go for the skinnies. Are we dressed for the part, Jerry? Oh yeah, Jerry's, Jerry's good. Jerry's in his uniform. Jerry, you got a, you got a big old piece of equipment there, my man. <laughs> this thing can definitely haul the tree that I just cut down. Phonics Anonymous. My name is Jerry, and I can read my name. <gasps> You're not going to get a lot of money from this either, by the way. Don't expect, don't expect any sort of cash. The 
hell? It might actually disappear if it's too small. Okay, let's see, where were we? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the very top of the tree disappears. So it's always a hard uh, thing to handle when you're trying to move them around. Money that you make is based on weight, too. So if you're looking to make a lot of money in the tree fallen business, make sure you, uh, well, bigger is better. There used to be a thing about how straight the log was or something, right? I think the game could calculate, like, ridges or something, and, like, the longer and straighter it was, the more money you'd make per tree. Or something like that. In other words, you couldn't get away with, like, a bunch of little, you know, they, the lumber industry wanted long, straight, uh, lumber for building and such, but you can still, you know, the small stuff, you can just th throw it in the chipper. Yeah, how much board you can get out of the one, yeah. Yep, that's true. This is a very nice, cozy stream. You enjoying it uh, there, Jerry? Oh, here, here we go. Claw Machine Jerry. That's actually a pretty decent cut. Now, a pro could probably load two, maybe three of these at a time. <laughs> but honestly, getting one into the claw is a miracle. The fact that you have that thing centered. Good luck. That vehicle is coming to SnowRunner. This one here? Hmm. I'd like to see how that would do. I feel like we're in SnowRunner in this game. Some of the... Some of the trucks have been, like, uh, having some trouble going on the roads. If you've been watching early, the e earlier parts of the stream, there was some shenanigans going on. Remember, chat, lift from the back, not from the knees. Remember. Actually, do the opposite. It's just a joke. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, chat. Safety, eighth after profits, 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 money, profits. This trailer looks like it's got leather on the bottom of it. Oh, boy. Or something. Oh, Jerry coming in for the kill. Oh, I see you placed it on the side, yeah. I like how you strapped it down, too. <laughs> well, it's it seems funny to strap down one log, but that's like... That's actually... Uh, now, yeah, that's a farm sim tactic. That ain't IRL. Alright, so when we do our next stream, Jerry, I definitely want to maybe start a, a map on hard uh, where we start our own farm from scratch, and then we'll see uh, how it goes. 
Uh, already work over how to join. Um, oh, I see you're on now, Uthris. Give me, give me like ten minutes or so. We'll get you in on the second one. And I, I actually want to uh, custom make a farm in our next stream. It'll, it'll probably take you maybe thirty minutes or so to, you know, download and get things ready. So, all right, one of the most legendary YouTubers in creativity and design is going to be joining us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. I think we should custom make a farm, Uthris. I think you showing up was perfect. We'll make a custom small-scale farm. One of the greatest things about this game, Uthris, is that there's a lot of smaller equipment now. A lot of medium, small, and sm very small things. Uh, so it makes making a farm uh, a lot nicer to not have to worry about the big old crazy trillion dollars. You know, you can just start small and do, you know, logging and stuff like this. And there's an incredible amount of tractors and trailers and different uh, pieces of equipment. And there's also electric stuff and methane-powered stuff. So if you're, you know, if you have a cattle area, you can utilize that. Small scale isn't a size I recommend. Uh, recognize as a builder. Well, you, you can start small, but small for you is like just building a parking lot out of uh, game limitation sizes. But I can't wait to see what you do in Farming Simulator. Also, Lens Island. I want to see what you do in that game. I want to see if you get into Lens Island. It's pretty, and I think a game you'd like uh, to build a house in and, and run around and do stuff in. But we'll chat. We'll chat. Give me five minutes, I promise. And then you can stream all weekend. Uthris, didn't you play this with your brother or something? I remember after we stopped playing for a while. I remember you kind of, I thought you kept playing and you played with your brother or cousin or a friend. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm thinking of Flight Sim with one of your friends that you went flying with. Maybe that's what it was. I knew it was a simulator, but I can't remember which one. Maybe it was both. Uh, leave the stumps big enough so you can find them later to remove. True. That's also a helpful hint. Or find them later when you accidentally plow into them with a the tractor. Which is also true. Oh. They're getting a little better at cutting those. Love how the game is smart enough to remove small pieces now. Oh, it's so nice. If it's under a certain size, the game just deletes it. We're going to have to do a member event, too. Uh, on Monday or something, we'll get together with everybody who got the game, and we'll do some, like, big-o, uh... We'll do some big-o, uh... Clear-cutting events. See how quickly we can cut down a whole far uh, tree farm or something. You want us to call this area the Forest, Forest Stump Memorial Tree Park? That'd be cool. Well, there's definitely some big old trees here. Let's go for the... Eh, that one's a little big. Nope. Eh, that one's... Uh, nope. There. Good. Yeah, so as a, uh, as a reminder, uh, you can only carry about a 200 kilogram tree. Anything over 200 and you can't, can't pick up. Pretty sure. That goes for any object in the game. Maybe it deletes if, if it's under a certain weight, too. Maybe that's... How the game calculates the deletion. Alright, alright. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drive over to the lumber mill, Jerry, and I'm going to see how much I make from this. And just strap it all down. And load it all up. Oh boy. Hi, Jerry. Hi.
Ooh, Jerry brought over a... Uh... Oh, you brought a flatbed for that thing. Nice. Yeah, because it's slow. Yeah, it's slow. Mm -hmm. And it's always fun to, like, load stuff up onto a... I mean, let's be honest. It's it's fun to just load things onto a trailer and back it off. Sorry, ma'am. Now, let's see how this place works. I'm going like full speed. This thing's turbo. Alright, what do we put here? Uh, wait, what goes where? Buy product point. Something's, something's created here for a later pickup. Can we turn the logs into lumber like uh, two by fours and such? Maybe. This is where we'll sell wood chips. Yeah, this says sell wood, so... Oh, okay, so you just park it right there. 1216 bucks, nice. I thought that was a load-up point. All right, well, that's good to know. So you just park your uh, trailer there, either back in your trailer or whatnot, and you're good to go. Cool. All right, so that's where you sell lumber. That's where you... I think we can... Oh, you can buy the sawmill for 100000 Okay. So we can buy the sawmill and then get money from the... Oh, you make even more money from processing the trees. That's cool. Yeah, we can pretty much buy everything in the game. Uh, in terms of production buildings. So we can, we can buy this town, see? All right, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to take an hour break, and I'll be back with a few more hours of Farming Simulator 22. We'll be back with more login, some custom farm creation, and our good friend Uthris, as well as hopefully Jerry comes back for more. And we'll see Harry and Rick tomorrow as we'll continue to play some more, and we'll see how it all goes. You guys have been amazing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in just an hour for more Farm Sim 22. Hang out in the chat, and you'll be transported to the next stream. Jerry, we'll go ahead and save here, and we'll pick it up in just a little bit. Thanks again, guys, for all the crazy support today. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here and hanging out. And we will see you all in a little while for more Farming Sim. Farming Sim 22 out on the 22nd of November for PC, Xbox, PlayStation. And uh, we're taking an early preview. And we'll continue in just a little bit. See you guys. Bye. Bye.